Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is episode 31 of No Man's Land. Um, I know we've been on March 1 up there in the corner for, uh, this is episode 3 now. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're going to try to go places today. Uh, we're probably not going to make it anywhere. Uh, there's just a lot happening, a lot of stuff changing, which is fine. It's a good thing. Um, I'm delivering our last load of logs for now to the sawmill. Um, and what I mean by that, um, I'll show you in a second here. Well, before we actually, oh geez, it's a lot of weight. Back it up. Right there. Okay, before we talk about that, um, I have over-engineered tractor, who's our one guy that said he'd come out and help us. He's out working right now, picking stones up using the other tractor, which is fantastic. It's probably going to fill up pretty quick, but anyhow. Um, this at 52,000, and then boom, 65,000, just like that. So um, that was all of our trees off of all of, well, not all of this land, but all through here, most of the tree, every tree I talked about taking out, all the ones here, um, all that stuff is taken out. So um, it's pretty much ready for us to make some fields in it. Again, we're going to make a field here and a field kind of like that. L, kind of a little L on that one. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Um, I haven't reviewed all the subscriber contracts yet. I've decided what I'm going to plant. Um, obviously, with new oats, we could do some more corn. These two fields need to be plowed because we did corn last time on it. Where's that here? Here we go. Need plowing. Um, this also needs a lime. I need to make sure I get out there and hit that whole thing with lime. I think that whole, oh, just that part of it needs lime. We'll probably lime the whole thing just to uh, be extra good about it. But then these fields here, when we plow them in, are going to need lime um, and fertilizer and all that stuff. That actually doesn't need fertilizer there. The re Most of that doesn't need fertilizer. We'll end up throwing another layer out there, but we'll get the grass planted in there so it's all squared away. And then, yeah, probably oats out here. Um, we have a small field here, so we might look at what crops we need. If there's any specialty kind of crops we need for anything here, we might take a look at that. Um, there was a contract that required a little bit of, of, excuse me, of potatoes, which I don't know if we have any cheaper, oh, this is our stuff. I was like, what is this going on here? I don't know if we have any cheaper potato stuff installed. That should probably, yeah, right here. Um, that's going to, I mean, there, well, there's some cheap planters there, so that would be easy peasy to get those babies out there. Um, now in terms of harvesting, um, I know there's the Grimby pack that came out, so I might take a look at that, um, in terms of installing it. I'm going to actually make a note so I can install potato stuff, install potato stuff. But the other thing, and I think I want this to be our goal today in the episode, um, as we're getting some of the other stuff done, what I want to do, um, probably out, maybe along the back part of right here, I think this would be a good part, maybe along here, however long we want to do it. Uh, maybe even a couple rows, but I want to plant some trees. I know I'm crazy to want to plant some trees. We have some trees here, and obviously we can buy more land and do a lot of forestry in different parts, but I don't know, I mean, how much we're going to end up buying and doing whatever with. Um, I don't know which way we're going to take the farm. Um, this chunk of land we may not ever buy because there's not a lot of usable land there, so we may not continue past it um, to do so. Not necessarily doesn't mean we're not going to use any of this land any anywhere or anything like that. Um, I think I would like to buy across here and i because because this is not this is where we stopped the property last time i did my series and we did buy i think we ended up buying i mean we went out to here and then up and probably bought all this through here and actually that was a huge farm even though it didn't that wasn't on most of the map but i think i would like to buy this chunk this chunk this chunk and then probably these four chunks here maybe go all the way up to the edge of the land but yeah i think that would be a good range for our farm um, we can have, and we can even buy like 32 back here with some forestry. That's actually a decent chunk of land right there. Maybe that's how we get over here to these ones. We build these four. But again, I don't know. Um, this chunk of land just seems kind of useless. We could buy it, of course, just to own it at some point. Um, but I didn't connect our land. But right now, it's just kind of useless uh, to us. This is, I think, probably going to be... Well, actually, this is probably going to be the next chunk we buy is 27 here, uh, quite honestly. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter that much. So anyhow, I think we should plant some trees because then we can start them growing get some big old trees happening because obviously we can make some money doing this and uh, other stuff in terms of forestry but uh yep go ahead and save that's fine perfect but yeah if we look at this in here this is doing really good it's already made 342 liters and it's just it running on half time speed which is really honestly pretty good uh but yeah so i'd like to do that and if we take a look at tree planter type stuff forestry equipment in here uh where are we at forestry equipment tree planter uh right there so yeah a little pricey obviously we're not going to buy it so if we leased it yeah 1300 bucks to plant some trees is not a big deal so let's actually go and do that because we are going to do that um we'll lease that guy right there um i think i yeah at least it right didn't buy it yet. okay perfect now in terms of what tree we're going to place 
I don't remember all the tree types, to be honest with you. So if we go over here, we should be able to look at trees. Um, in terms of good forestry ones, the pines would be good. Some of these ones are garbage trees for forestry. Uh, yeah, old pine there. So the pines would be good. Spruce wouldn't be the worst. I'd rather not do spruce, though, I think, just because pines, I think, will be easier to work with. Um, but, yeah, I'll do some research to decide what we're going to grow. i got to look at there's some tree charts out in terms of we want one that's going to grow fairly quick um, or as, as quick as possible and have some good yield for us. But, uh, yeah, so in terms of everything, today our goal, let's just go ahead and fly over here since we're in this mode, um, over towards our main farm. Yeah, so... We could do maybe some potatoes here, and then this is going to be a field here, field or two or three or whatever you want to call it. We might take a look at doing, yeah, so we could do some potatoes here, some oats here. This will be our grass field, obviously, and then we could do maybe another field of oats and maybe a field of corn or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this is working out pretty good. That John Deere doesn't have quite enough horsepower, but it seems to honestly be doing pretty good. And that, st that stone picker is cooking through that field compared to our other stone pickers, so... That is really nice, but let's go. Actually, let's check on him, see how he's doing stone wise. Uh, 39%. Okay, so he's doing okay right now. Uh, but yeah, we'll let him keep working on that. He's making it happen. So, a little bit tricky on hills, but otherwise doing pretty good. So, yeah, I think that would be what, kind of what I want to get done. Um, if we can get that done, I think that'd be really good. So, I'll do some research. I might start planting and plowing some of this stuff off camera. I might do a time lapse of me plowing in at least one of these fields. I think that would probably be um, good to have that in there. And while he's working on that, I might have him start planting afterwards. So that'll be kind of nice. I know for sure we're going to do oats here. Um, I do need to plow it first. That's actually probably what I'll get working on. But uh, yeah, so anyhow, just bringing you guys back in to take a look at what we got going on. I'm going to keep getting some stuff done and we'll keep making money and doing our thing. So hopefully we can actually sell some something today because we, yeah, we could use the money. But anyhow, I'll see you guys here in just a little bit. Alright everyone, I got a lot of stuff done off camera, so it's good to see you guys back. First off, we have oats planted in these three fields, that's what I decided to do. Um, that way we can use those for our contracts. We have grass planted up here, which we can see that if we do that. And then we have install growing, and then we also have, I'll go back to the crops here real quick. We have sunflowers here, that's just kind of a cash crop to be honest. We're just going to kind of sell those off to make a little bit extra money. Um, so that's that is. Obviously our grapes are growing just fine. Um, I think as years go on we'll probably add some more grapes. But I do want to plant some trees back here, I talked about that already. Um, we can do either spruce or pine. Um, I think we're going to do the pine trees, which are the kind of like tall, lanky ones. Um, if we go in the store here, 
Oh, well, not that store, sorry. But anyhow, yeah, we'll do this. We'll talk about that here in just a second. See, everything's planted. Um, the fertilizer on them is a little janky right now because it's new fields over here. So um, once they all grow up in their level, I'll make sure I get them all double fertilized, make sure it's all looking good out there. Um, but everything's been limed and taken care of in terms of that. And there's no rocks out there. So I got a lot of stuff that we had to do. And a lot of that stuff is now done. So it's looking really good. And it is the next day. I did fast forward the next day because it's starting to get late yesterday. Um, I added a few things. So if we go around here, this now has a little turnout here. Um, we can see it better if we go into here. But I added a couple things here. So first thing is um, I added the stone crusher. Now if we go into production um, here, this is the, not that one. Sorry. That's a beet crusher. Or no, that is the one we have. Yeah, that one. That's the stone one. It just says lime and beet pulp crusher. Um, but this is the other one in that pack that has the beets. Uh, but yeah, so $10,000. That's the one I bought down there. Now, I looked at that one, and I also looked at... Where is it at? This one right here. And I actually wanted to keep this one. This one was more expensive. It's 25000 So I ended up placing this one first. I liked the uh, ratio for this one um, because it was a little bit better recipe. We got a little bit more out of it because you put some water and the stones in there to get the lime out. Uh, but then I realized I didn't notice this. You make money off this, so I didn't want to get that in there. So I ended up switching it out for um, the one that's in this pack there. But uh, over here, I, I was, that's why my water trailer's hooked up. That's what I was using over here. But anyhow, that's all taken care of. And then over there, we have, if we go to containers, uh, it's this guy right here, I believe. Yeah, seed storage, this guy right here. So it's only $1,000. Um, and then I actually had to buy 5,000 liters of seed, which... Um, we don't have any seeds in there right now, actually, um, because we used them so high. We used 5,000 liters of seed to plant everything. So, um, yeah, I thought this was pretty good to have that in there. Yeah, it's empty. There's a little bit left in one of the cedars, I think 500 liters. But, yeah, so I decided this would be a good place for those, a good use of the space here. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but, yeah, the fields and everything are looking fantastic. Obviously, we know about this field. Our grass field goes down. I put this road track through here. And then these two fields are looking good. They just need a little bit more fertilizer work. Um, and stuff like that to get them to look uh, completely squared away. But everything on the farm is going well. Um, but yeah, so that's where I put all of our rocks in that lime crusher. And we used all the lime. I had to buy some more lime anyways to get everything lime that we needed to get done. Uh, but that doesn't matter too much. And then just looking down my list, I think that's everything that I have on here. Um, there is a new subscriber type business thing. It's not really a business, technically speaking. But there's something new that's in town that we are going to go take a look at as well. And we're going to do that as we're on our way to go pick up our, well, we got to pick up our, and actually, let me make sure the store, I have I have the store delivery mod installed. I'm going to reset, make sure that's reset because I was maybe using that for setting up my subscriber thing because um, it just makes it easier when I'm setting up subscriber businesses if I need to buy anything from the store for them. But uh, this guy needs some repairs too. Let's probably do that real quick. Get this guy repaired if we can afford it. We're really low on money, so that's also not the greatest. Um, we'll repair that. Yeah. If we have to, we'll stop by banks. We maybe just need to get a, like a credit card from banks, for like a ten thousand dollar limit or something like that. We don't have we don't have one right. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. I'm usually pretty good about paying it back, but sometimes I forget. I'm gonna drink a coffee here. We'll stop by and get some more fuel. Once this fuel tank is empty, I'm gonna talk to them about moving it. Um, that is the rust rust petrol petrol rust petrol. Um, so we can get it somewhere where it's not leaking a little bit into the soil and the water. There we go. All right, we'll drive into town. As we're driving in, we'll take a look at tree harvesters and trees here. Um, I'll put our house on cruise control and we get over to the kind of the straightaway area. It's usually what I do, that way we can save a little bit of time doing that. Take a look at the new business, we'll get those trees planted, and I think that will be the episode. I think that's, we got a lot done. Um, I know the last couple episodes, it doesn't seem like we've done... Uh, we've made it very far, but we have done a lot of work, like an absolute lot of work. So uh, nothing on sale. We need, of course, I was watching that. But if we go down to uh, forestry in here, where is that guy right here? This is the one we're going to use. Um, so we're just going to lease this guy, 1300 bucks. Not too bad. We'll make it back on the logs, no problem. And then if we go get out of here first off, make sure I'm not going to hit anything. If we go back in the store... Under pallets, it's under pallets, right? The saplings, yeah. Okay, anyhow, let's get us into the store here um, in a second. We'll go take a look at the subscriber business first. So this is by this is a subscriber business thing by Tuck5289. And I added a couple other buildings in here. I haven't decided what I'm gonna use those for yet. Um, but some stuff is getting added in um, slowly and steadily as we grow this town and make this town bigger and better. So I am excited about that. I do have a lot of subscriber businesses still to add. I'm trying to slowly add them in, uh, mostly because they do take a lot of time to do. But yeah, on the right-hand side here, I have the 
Mi Familia restaurant, but I didn't finish the parking lot. That's my bad. I forgot about that one. Oh. But anyway, on the left side, we have our volunteer fire department, but I think it's in German or some other language on there. But anyhow, maybe Polish. I don't know. But ignore that. Uh, I added a, a couple businesses or a couple more buildings here just to finish out this side before I did this. But um, I need to find a good fire truck mod. Um, this thing, I don't think we can go in at all. I could be wrong. But I don't think we can go on the side of this thing. Oh, we can. Never mind. We can't go inside this. We can open this up. I just couldn't open it from. Aha. There we go. Probably can put this guy in there. But this little guy for now looks pretty sweet. I love the, the lights on it. Back this baby into the garage. All right, there we go. But yeah, we'll leave that open just because it kind of looks like there's something going on there. Um, there's an upstairs to it. We should go upstairs, actually. We didn't go upstairs. Right? I've never been upstairs in this building. This is on the Mod Hub, too, by the way. I believe for all platforms. So if any of you guys wanted to add this into your map, you can definitely do that. Oh, nice. Not really any furniture up here. It almost looks like a... Just a little, little stage conference room type area. All right, there we go. Nifty, 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 nifty. Yeah, this is our volunteer fire department. Um, so yeah, what Tuck5289 says, Fire Cop, I'm pretty concerned about the lack of public safety in no man's land. I'd be willing to oversee the volunteer fire department as I have 20 years experience in a small one in Vermont. I'd also suggest we build a helipad at the station as logging agricultural industrial injuries could be prevalent in no man's land. Um, even if we could just get the station built now and, the, and a, get a first response kind of truck, that would be helpful to the community. Well, there we go. I think we got that. We don't have a helipad yet, but I think as time goes on, we might be able to figure something out. But there you go. Thank you, Tuck5289. I'm sorry it took me so long to get that in. That should have been one of the first things we built, quite honestly. Um, we built the police, well, kind of the police department, our little F-12 patrol station, with has, which has basically law enforcement vehicles for us. Uh, we built that before we built the fire department, which that's really not what you would build first. Um, you'd almost always build the fire department first. Um, but yeah, both very important, but fire department is probably one of the first ones you want to build. Um, anyhow, okay. So we got that. Let's go up to the store and get what we need for planting some trees. Let's get some trees planted, and then we're going to call it an episode. Uh, but yeah, I think this will be kind of helpful because, well, you know, we're just kind of reinvesting in the land. We're getting some new stuff put down, some new trees put in, um, stuff that we want to do to help... Uh, help make us some more money long term and help the environment as well. So we can use these, the purpose of these trees is to make money. We're gonna cut these down. This isn't us replanting trees to make the area look nice or anything like that. And I know these are gonna take, I think they take 24 months. So it'll take two years for these guys to grow. And that's why I really want, I'm not there. I, get out of there. That's why I really wanna get them rolling soon. Uh, pallet of six tree saplings. Interesting, we don't need that though. Where are our trees? Okay, tree sapling, that's right, we're just going to one of these here. I will do the liftable one. So, okay, I thought you could change it. Maybe it's in, is it only in this one you can change it? Yeah, okay. Pine, stone pine, I think pine is what we want. Spruce and pine are the two big ones. There's a couple, of, I mean, there's a lot of options in here. Um, but I think we're gonna go, go, excuse me, go with pine. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, and that's 20 trees right there. That's plenty of trees for us. We don't need to plant any more trees or anything like that. Oh, that's right, it's not the liftable pallet. Doesn't matter anyways, I'm gonna load it with this. This is my first time, I think, planting trees outside of a tutorial in Farming Simulator 22. I obviously did it quite a bit on Farming Simulator 19, but not at Farming Simulator 22. So we'll see, this should be good, should be good. Um, and our, oh, we should check on our productions too while we're at it. I'm super curious about how they're doing. Let that auto save there for a second. Um, get out of here so we don't hit anyone. Uh, lime's done. There's a little bit of lime. Oh, there's a little bit of lime left in there. I thought there wasn't any left. That's my bad. We did have to buy some more, though, for sure. Because that would not have been enough compared to what we used outside anyway. So, still had to do what we had to do. I put like a $1,000 here. Low on cash, for sure. Um, okay. Raisins, yeah, you guys have been done for a while. How is this going? We're not making furniture here, obviously. We're making just planks. Oh, 4,000 liters of planks. That means there's probably some out and about, too. We have a lot in there. We're going to get a lot of planks out of this whole op operation. Um, and then nothing with that right now. But hopefully we can start making some cereal of our own. We have to finish our other contract where we have to bring another 12,500 or 12,500 liters of raisins to the cereal factory in town to complete that contract out. So that one is going to be a little bit tricky, a little bit time consuming to get done. But we will get it done. Grab a drink of coffee as we're going here. 
fantastic. The first cup's always the best. Now, there should be quite a few uh, pallets. Oh, there's no pallets spawning out. That's interesting. That is interesting. I wonder why that is. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Okay, that's that's why. Well, we'll leave that to story. So you can choose how many you want to spawn. That's interesting. I didn't know that mod did that. Um, we'll actually start planting these, I think, back here. Because we're going to need to cut some of these trees down at some point as well. Let's get our map on so we know kind of where the edge of our land is. All right, if we start going across here, just like this, this should be fine. Here we go. Are we able to adjust the space between the trees? I think we are. Maybe not. like that's very far apart oh there it goes okay that's not too bad actually that's probably about right so yeah we'll just get get that help screen off of there but what i should do actually can i allow oh i can't allow creep field to this side. we should just create a field so we know kind of where they're at but that's okay after they grow up a couple stages it won't even be a big deal but yeah just along the that one's really hidden that one's in the bushes there but just along this edge here i think will be great uh, we might have to plant some more, maybe back over here if we don't have enough room. But I think we should be able to go all the way down and still be good. Uh, but yeah, this will be, I think, good for us. I think this is, what, this cost us 2500 bucks, probably actually less than 2500 So just under $2,500 to plant all these trees. And we're going to make far more than that off of uh, the sale of these trees. So this is definitely going to be worth it. It's just a time consumer. So you can't make a lot of money off of forestry. Yes, I know it's time consuming to do forestry. It takes a while for the trees to grow. Um, and even if you already have trees on the map or whatever you're doing, you're cutting those trees down. It takes a lot of work to get trees going, uh, but it does make you a lot of money. So if it is something you wanted to do, you can definitely make good money off of it. We might be pushing it a little bit. Let's see. We're at nice row of trees, though. I like that. Two. Let's see. And the final one. Boom, just like that. All right. Beautiful. Well, there we go. We got some trees planted. I think that's fantastic. So uh, right now we are in a little bit of financial trouble. We're a little low on cash. We we're going to sell some uh, uh, wood planks off. Um, so a couple things in terms of what I got done here. Um, I fertilize these as good as I'm going to get. I'm not going to worry about fertilizing these the rest of the way. So there's a little strip there and some bunches there. So just waste more fertilizer than it'll be helpful, I think. Um, so we're just going to, once we harvest, it'll be reset basically with none. So we'll be able to just go from there. Um, over here, I did a lot of work on the grapes, which we'll talk about when we get over there. I also have a, oop, I didn't want to hop out of there, a new tractor, which we'll talk about in a second. Kind of have a new tractor. It's not ours really, kind of, if that all makes sense, but it will in a second. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But I did call up, um, Kadrian Williams, who owns Williams Furniture in town, furniture manufacturer. And he said, um, just based on, if we look at the prices in here for planks, he said, yeah, they normally go up to about 1400 or so over. And he said, as long as I promise to only sell my planks to him, that he will always pay us $1,400 per thousand liters of planks. So that's a good deal for us. Um, it helps him out. He said he's desperate for wood right now for his furniture company. So since we're producing wood planks here, it's all going to work out good for everyone. But right here on the right-hand side, yes, we have... A Landini brand spanking new. You might say, why did we waste the money on that? Well, in order to take care of our grapes, we kind of didn't have a choice. Um, the grapes, the grass grew up one notch and I tried to mulch it. Well, for starters, this guy didn't have enough horsepower to run the mulcher, just period. This guy could run it just fine, but the mulcher, the, the tractor is like about as, you know, the tractor is this wide and the mulcher is about as wide as this weight on the back. So I really couldn't mulch everything I needed to, which I don't know how much it actually matters to be honest with you guys, but it just seems like we should probably do it right. And plus, oops, nope. Plus we need to run this guy as well. So we actually bought both of these pieces of equipment because I looked up how to do grapes again, so I keep forgetting. Um, but the way we're gonna do it, they're technically least pieces of equipment, but I have the least to own mod in here so we can purchase them. So we do, we do have to make payments on them every day. So they're gonna be expensive. Uh, but right now I don't know if we have enough, maybe enough for one day's worth of payment. So. Uh, we definitely need to sell some stuff off. We kind of just had to do it, unfortunately. But I also put down more manure on those guys. So those guys are double fertilized. They're plowed, everything like that. They got mulched and all sorts of good stuff. So um, let's get this trailer. 
right about there. And then let's cop out of here. There we go, open production. Uh, wood planks um, right here that spawn items. Um, we'll do three just because we have three kind of complete pallets and then we'll leave that fourth one there. And these are interestingly large pallets. I thought they were only 1,000 liters per pallet, but I could be wrong about that. But, um, oh gosh, is this one whole pallet right here? Oh goodness, do they still have that in there? Oh yeah, so we can only do one pallet at a time, really. And those are uh, big pallets. So, yeah, I'm glad I brought this guy over here. How I can't lift those, can I? I actually might be able to with, uh, no, with Yasas, they don't even work. They're 2.5 tons of, is that pallet? Oh, you know, it's a pallet of planks. Okay, yeah, okay. Interesting, is that not, because the, the base game planks are different than that, right? Uh, if I just, I'm just going to spawn in, uh, oh gosh, planks. There's so much stuff in here. Um, oh, and, P oh, there they are, planks. Wow, okay, so that maybe just changes it? Is there a second planks in here? No, okay, well, because they're definitely not that... They're not that big normally, right? I'm not crazy about that, right? Um, let's go ahead and we'll delete it. We'll just delete this guy. There we go. Like nothing ever happened. Okay. Hot, I didn't think they were that big. That's just a massive... Massive pallet right there. And also, quite honestly, guys, one of our next things we need to do, I think... I think we need... Oh, gosh, those are so stinking heavy. Okay, well, um, we're going to... Drop that off there. Wow, we are in trouble already. This is not going well to plan. 2.5, excuse me. Gosh, um, 2.5 tons is quite heavy to be fair. Um, let's grab this weight off the back of this guy. This might not be enough as it is, but... Nope, not that, sorry. There we go. But that'll be better than what we have now, clearly. In terms of weight. Holy smokes, that is just... That is way heavier than I thought it'd be. We don't probably need the map on. Way heavier than anticipated. Okay. Let's try that. That's... I'm, there's no way it's not going to struggle still. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Those are heavy. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I bet you this weight if we had configured it. Which, actually, there might be a little... We might have, like, a little cheap workshop trigger that we can put over here. Because we probably should have one over here. That's how much? A thousand bucks? I don't know if I spent a thousand. It's a toolbox? Yeah, it's a little toolbox. It's 150? There we go. I was about to say. Should be fine. Um, we can put it... Oh, gosh. I don't know where to put it. I mean, it's it, to be fair, it's not the end of the world if this doesn't work out where it's at. So I think I can probably push it, put it over here. Yeah, 250 for that, okay. Um, let's go ahead and dump that their planks off. Let's configure this weight to have some more weight in it. Okay, go to here, customize. 2100 kilo, right, well, worth the, yeah, let's, One hundred kilograms. What is that? Is that two point one tons? It's got to be enough to offset this. I mean, it's still gonna feel heavy on there, but it should be. I don't know why I'm so zoomed out either. I apologize. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I mean, that's still you can you can feel it's heavy, but at least we can lift it. I mean, good heavens. I feel like these pallets are a little, maybe weighted a little too heavily. I'm glad I brought this big trailer over here. I was thinking I was going to get little pallets out of here. I thought I was going to get nine little pallets, but this is, this is interesting. This is not what I was expecting. We'll put that center of the trailer if we can. I think it's heavy. Yeah. Wow. All right. And then spawn another one out. Uh, I guess I can just hit enter, really. Spawn items. Only let me do one pallet at a time, which I don't know why it even lets me offer to do more. That's okay. And I mean, if you look in there, we have so much wood left to go. 
three. I mean, this is a it's gonna make more of planks than the wood that's yeah, so we're doing really good on that, to be honest. We're gonna be doing just fine off of our planks. All right, let's get this guy down there. I don't know what my thumbnail is going to be, so I'll probably take a screenshot of this after I have this loaded up with some stuff. And we'll put the third one in the middle there. We go ahead and we uh, spawn items. One pallet. Beautiful. There we go. Yep, that's... Can't handle that. That's crazy. That is crazy how much. I mean, I know that would weigh a lot, but I don't feel like this tractor would in real life struggle that much. Maybe I'm crazy. There we go. Holy cow. Okay. Let's jump this weight off back here. We don't need the weight now because we're just going to go dump these off. So 7,500 liters at $1,400. That should give us a good chunk of change that we are desperately in need of. And then this could be a good thumbnail shot right here. Let me grab that real quick. And look at that, just a quality shot. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if this will be the thumbnail or not. You guys know before I know doing this, technically speaking, though I will know eventually before you'll know, but at the same time, yeah, you get what I'm saying. I think, maybe not. <laughs> when I'm recording this, I don't know what it's gonna be, but anyhow. Um, there we go. Okay, save that. Um, let's close that out. Okay. Now back to here. Let us go ahead and turn flight mode off. And let's head this over to Williams Furniture, which thankfully isn't too bit of too bad, not too bit of a too bad of a drive just over this way. But uh, yeah, we'll be doing okay. Doing okay off of this. This is definitely money we need. We had a lease to own. It's a great idea. Um, I think it was Farmer T79 that left a comment about it. And I literally, like, right before I saw that comment that he left about it, I was I had added it into the game um, in between episodes. And I was like, yeah, that's a great mod we should be used. Because especially for this game, or for this series, and you do pay more. So it's like basically having payments on a vehicle. Um, so it's it's really nice. Really nice mod. Really nice feature. I think that's going to be very helpful to us. Because it allows us to buy bigger equipment sooner and then start paying it back and you only pay a few percent interest i believe um on it based on what i read on the mod like maybe two to three percent or something along those lines so which is to be fair like two or three percent of the vehicle price which is a few thousand dollars more depending on how expensive whatever it is is but at the same time it's just nice to have that as an option i think and very realistic to be fair i think we could strike those sort of deals with uh, equipment equipment manufacturers in the real world if we wanted to um, but yeah, okay. Now this might actually, no, 1204 in the bank. This might actually pay me for the things. And if that's the case, then, oh, whoops, I hit that right there. Oh, geez, I hit it again. I am so sorry, Adrian Williams. I am just smacking into your stuff. Okay, it's not good. It's not charging us for, or not paying us for it. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're gonna pay ourselves for the 7,500. So if we do, let me get my handy dandy calculator out. 10,500, which is money we need. That is for sure. Okay, good. We made some cash off of our wood and then uh, William's gonna make even more off of that furniture, I'm sure. So yeah, what is the recipe for furniture? I am just kind of curious now. Um, how is he doing? So he bought that for that price and then he sells furniture for how much? Um, okay, 2200 so not that much more. Um, how much is our furniture recipe? We can make furniture really cheap as well, but regardless, we're just going to make planks. Cause I'm, I mean, there's no way we'd actually be able to make furniture. I mean, we could in that little workshop there, I guess, but um, I think planks for us is just more realistic. So anyhow, if we go to, we switch over to businesses. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we take a look at their production. So they got a lot of them in here. Yeah, all sorts of stuff going on. Um... Furniture from planks. Five planks gets a seven. For, okay, so he's probably doing all fine. He's doing fine with that. Um, and actually, we probably should go ahead and uh, activate this in here. So he actually starts using some of the planks. So we go ahead and activate that. Um, this guy, we actually can activate this as soon as it gets the stuff going. 
be able to actually start making stuff. We might have to talk to Rusty about getting maybe some ingredients over to him for some donuts. I think he might want to, he might talk to us about some of that at some point. Morgan's Bakery, got all sorts of different stuff we can do. And that's the large sawmill, which is across the street there, which we're not, we're not concerned with because that's just, we're not. So <laughs> there, there we go. Hop in that guy, get back on our farm. Um, there we go. So yeah, we got that sold off. We'll end up selling some more off. In the meantime, we're just waiting for harvest to be ready. Honestly, everything is squared away, good to go. I'll keep an eye out for weeds if they pop up and deal with them if they need to be dealt with. Uh, but in the meantime, we are just waiting for uh, harvest to come. So yeah, on that note, I'll see you guys uh, later on at some point when either something happens or we got something to show you or maybe even harvest. I might not even bring you back until harvest. So see you guys then. All right, welcome back in everyone. So harvest is underway. A few things I want to mention. Well. First off, you can see we're baling the straw from our oats. We've harvested, I'll let that save there. Harvested this field almost completely in this field. We have this field of oats and then sunflowers aren't ready yet. And our grass will be ready here in a couple days. We already baled one load of silage bales out here as you can see. So those are all baled up, good to go, which is great. He's working, we got our uh, worker, gosh, over is over engineer tractor that's our worker? Who's our worker? I think that's who it is. Um, but a couple of things. So one, we have a new fuel tank over here. We didn't pay for it. Again, it's Russ Petro paid for it. He put this out here for us. It has a little bit of, of fuel in it because I bought 2,000 liters. But the reason being, we have a little bit bigger one. So um, Russ Petro put in, if we go over, let's just go around here, put in if we go to containers. He put this guy in right here. We used to have this one and we used to have it sitting, if you remember, over next to the water, but it started to kind of contaminate this area. So we moved it inland quite a bit. So we shouldn't have the same issues over there. And I think that'll be a good spot for it. Uh, but yeah, so silage bales, we actually got a boatload like, I'm serious, we got an absolute ton of, an absolute ton of bales off this field. Tons, you can see how many bales are down there. That is a lot of bales. And I mean, our farm is looking really good from up here. And again, I've been doing all the straw baling as well, and we'll do it on this field as well. Um, honestly, our farm looks amazing. Really, really, really good. It's coming along really good. I'm really happy about it. Now, you may also notice our, uh, if we, yeah, there we go. Just fall to earth there real quick. Uh, you may notice our money has gone up uh, a bit. Um, there's a couple reasons for that. Well, one, um, we've been selling our pallets as we get them, our pallets of wood. Um, so we sold so far 12 pallets. So 12 pallets of 2,500 liters each. Because if you look in here in our uh, production, there's actually probably some in there right now. Yeah, there's, well, there's a little bit. So we just sold some more, I think. Um, I actually ended up having to just drop them off at the, uh, if we, at the um, furniture place because they're a little overloaded. But uh yeah, so we've been selling those as I get them because we have that agreement to get those sold off. So I figured I'd just keep selling them. I can only haul like four over there at a time. I tried to do, I did eight actually in one load and that was way too many, way too many. That trailer, I can only go six miles an hour with the Massey. It was way too much weight. Uh, but anyhow, so that's doing good. Um, we'll just sell the wood chips off once we get a, a really big load of them. We're not making very many of them anyway, so I'm not worried about it. But uh, yeah, so that's all going really good. Um, yeah, and I paid back, again, remember we, we loaned $5,000 from banks um, for just um, to be able to get a couple things done um, in terms of leasing. So I paid that back. Um, yeah, I think we'll run over to our other farm real quick here. I know we're sprinting really fast as cruising. Um, I don't think there's anything over here to mention. Obviously, the grapes are all taken care of, as mentioned before. Um, there's nothing real new over here to mention. Um, we're still paying these guys off if we go um, into our menu here. If we go, not there, sorry, into, oh, not there either, this menu. Go to our lease area. So yeah, I guess and I can hit purchase if I wanted to buy it straight out, but this that, that purchase price will slowly go down over time as we own it for more time. So that's us, our leasing cost kind of going towards that. So at any point we could buy it outright. So like I could actually buy that right now if I wanted to. And if we go back here to this guy, um, we could buy this if we wanted to stop paying the, the leasing on it. It really won't affect the price that much if we buy it now versus later. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, I am going to set a rule in terms of leased items. I'm going to say that we can, well, not leased items. Leased items that we can be with the out here with the intention of buying long term. We can only have three in there at a time that we're going to have the intention of buying long term, which I think is fair. Because we don't want just a bunch of loans out and about um, and stuff like that. Now, one thing we do, I think, I think after, especially after this harvest, how this is going our next upgrade needs to be a harvester of some kind. And I don't know what that's going to look like if we see one on sale. Um, we can't lease one, obviously, it's on sale. So we can either buy one on sale, but we could do the lease to own for something in here if there was a harvester we wanted to buy in here. Um, so there is that possibility. I mean, something bigger like that. I actually don't really want to use the twin screw. 
but something bigger like this S670 would be really good for us. I mean, um, that would be, I mean, it's already, it's already I hate that when you come in here, there's more I mean, the engine that's going to bump it up. We probably don't need the bigger engine right now. Um, and again, we'd also have to buy the header, which would be another leased item. So we'd have to buy one of those other leased items. We want to do the lease to own on the John Deere here. Uh, but I don't know. There's a lot of uh, modded harvesters in here that I haven't tried out. To be fair, a lot of these are kind of expensive. This Axial Flow, actually, this one might be a really strong case for us going towards this guy right here. Um, yeah, this could be... We could do wide duels. We don't probably don't have to do duels on it to start. Um, that's not anything extra, so sure, why not? Um, probably want side protectors. Bigger engine, biggest engine compared to, what was it, 285? Yeah, might as well. That's only extra 1500 bucks. Uh, we could do the longer pipe, which I usually like to do. Um, we want GPS in it, which I know it's 15 grand, but I think that would be worth it. Um, and we don't want, we don't need a plate. Um, I've labeled a couple of different businesses, so that'll make more sense later on. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. Let's just do no plate. Okay. But yeah, we could do something like that. Ben, we want the extension for sure. Is that the biggest one? XL extension, two grand. So yeah, look at this. $89,590 for a harvester that holds 12,000 liters of grain, 305 horsepower, bigger harvester, a good upgrade for us. And I honestly think we'll hold on to the John Deere because a lot of our equipment, I don't think I want to... Uh, this this guy actually really needs to be replaced. Um, I've noticed that over 100 hours, it pretty much starts becoming useless. You're just using so much energy in repairing it all the time that it's just not really that helpful to have. So obviously these guys are doing fine hour-wise. This guy has 29 hours on it, so it might push him to like maybe 50 hours or even more or until we really just don't need him anymore because we're not getting a lot for selling it, especially since we have a worker working for us now that can do work. Like right now, again, he's working on our field getting our harvest done. Well, he stopped actually right now, but... Regardless of that, so that's going on. Um, yeah, so in terms of everything, I'm gonna bring you guys back in here a little bit and um, I'm gonna get some more of this harvest done. And then we're gonna end out the episode by talking about some upcoming subscriber contracts um, and stuff like that. And I might, uh, we might sell the straw today, um, but we'll kind of see. So yeah, I think we'll talk about some upcoming subscriber contracts that we're gonna work on doing, um, which I think will be good for us. But um, in the meantime, we're just gonna keep rolling along and getting stuff done and yeah. Our, our farm is really uh, turning down really good or turning out really good. So yeah, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, so it hasn't been that long, but I decided, you know what? We're gonna be a while getting all this done and I wanna make sure I can get an episode out to you guys tomorrow since I didn't get a video out today. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just wrap it up since I have to talk about a few things. And we have some new businesses in town to take a look at. So we're gonna go ahead and do that as well. Uh, but as we're driving in, first off, we have plenty of oats to fulfill our contract for Sanguis NOX. Um, for he needs 15,000 more liters of oats now. He's getting he's gonna pay us 40 50, Yeah, 40 percent above because we gave him 20 percent off the last discount of oats So so far we have 34,000 liters of oats and we have a lot of oats left to harvest So as you can see by our field in here, so we have a lot of oats, which is great um, so Yeah, that's our only ongoing contract right now Now we have a couple other contracts that are kind of available So first off bank Sinatra who's the CEO of banks and Sprague the bank in town um, He said the trees are good. So he wants to have support some tree growth um, he's willing to pay us five thousand dollars for planting every ten or for every ten trees we plant. Now they can be used for forestry, but if they're used for forestry at some point, we have to replant any kind of tree or another tree in place of everyone we cut down as part of that agreement um, immediately after. So if we do cut the trees down, we have to replant trees after that. So it's not like we get five grand just to have free trees forever, and yes, yeah, five grand every time we place more trees. It's kind of a, a agreement we have. So what I did kind of think about doing is potentially we could, I mean, if we fought, we found a, that one's um, a little bit of a good deal on land, but if we found like one of these peripheral pieces, that was a really good, oh, that one's really cheap right now, actually. But if we found a really good deal on a peripheral piece of land that we weren't going to do much with anyways, we could kind of build like a conservation park, which I thought would be kind of cool to maybe do. Um, honestly, this one would be good, or even this one since it's behind our area. But yeah, we need to find a good chunk of land that we could do that on. Uh, so that would be kind of an option. Uh, but yeah, so that's one thing. And then uh, Stafford contacted us. Um, he's requesting we make him some hay bales and some silage bales because they had a fire, I guess. So that was unfortunate up at Stafford's Rocky Hilltop Farm up at the top of the hill over there. Um, so we're going to have to maybe take a look at doing some uh, silage. Uh, he's, he's needs some silage and some hay bales. We have silage bales, so we can give him some of those. But I think that would be good if we were able to do that as well. Um, Larry also gave us a call said he needs some soybeans for um, some pigs that he has. He's a little short on soybeans this year. 
um, or he's a little short on his soybean harvest this year, so he needs some more, um, and he's hoping we can help make up the deficit next year. So we're going to try to do that for him and get some soybeans planted. Um, and then the final one that we have in here um, that we're going to take a look at doing is uh, we need to get uh, to Martin Broders. says he's short on barley, so he needs us to plant some barley. Now, barley is an interesting one because we're it's harvest right now technically for barley, but September's when we're going to have to plant it. So um, as we're getting ready to get ready to harvest our sunflowers and our grapes will be harvested probably by that point. Yeah, they will be. But um, yeah, or I guess while well, we're doing that grape harvest. But yeah, so in here for barley, we're going to try to plant some barley down Um this year to try to get some barley out on the fields um, we can do a big barley harvest and then next year we'll harvest it here so basically that'll just be next year's uh, crop but we're going to plant it right now early on obviously because that's just what we have going on so um yeah that is something we're gonna have to take care of at some point um i think we'll we can help him out by getting twenty thousand liters of barley uh, he said he pays 25 25 percent of a market value which is a pretty good deal so I think we need to go ahead and get that taken care of for him. And he said, hey, I've got a contract for you due to bad crops and political problems. I'm short on barley, so I haven't got enough to make bread and cake for the town. Can you help me with 20,000 liters? I'll pay 25% above market value. Thank you very much. I like your series on no man's land. Greetings from the Netherlands. And that's Broders M1986. Uh, so there we go. So those are kind of the contracts we have going on. Now let's talk about some businesses. Now, I use some of those signs. You can see they're kind of sketchily put up here. Now, we know we have Morgan's Bakery here. Um, this is Spears Coffee Shop. That's all I could fit on the sign there. And then over here we have uh, the honey shop. This is, uh, is it Polar Bear's Honey Pot uh, Honey Shop there. And then we have a taxidermy place here. Um, so let me go over to my, um, oh, where's my uh, business sheet here? Uh, here we go. Okay, I'll pull my game back up here. So um, on here, where are we at? Where are we at here? Let me find out where we're at. Um, so, okay. Yeah, what do we got going on? Uh, yeah, Rocker3941 says, Hey, Farmer Cop, my name is Ron, and I'm thinking about moving with my wife and kids out to No Man's Land. I've seen that it looks like a nice little country spot to live in, and I'd like to open a taxidermy shop. So here you go. I know it looks like a market, but just remember it's not. It's a taxidermy shop. I think this is just a good little area for it. And then right next door to that, we have a livestock agent, which this is from, let me scroll up here to the correct one here. This is Mark. I always can't pronounce your name. P F A U. Pafow, 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 pafow. I'm sure there's a way I'm saying it wrong, but anyhow. Uh, Mark said, Hi, FC, I'd like to an office building for being a livestock agent and no man's land uh, to check your livestock records and brands and such. So there we go. We have his office right there. And then right next door, this restaurant is also taken up. It says O'Doolins on it, but this is, if I scroll down to the correct one on here, this is uh, Dustin Doolin said, I want to open a business. O'Doolins Irish Pub. I would like to be a uh, potato farmer. Or I could be a potato farmer who makes his own whiskey or just try running a clean, authentic Irish pub that serves good old-fashioned Irish food. So as of right now, here we are. I know it doesn't look much like an Irish place, maybe, but I think this is the best fit in terms of buildings I have available. So um, there we go. Yeah, quite a few new businesses in town here. It's starting to fill up, um, which is cool. As we see more stuff in there, we'll see some more people start to move in, and I probably need to put some more residential area in. Uh, but yeah, our town is starting to grow, which is super cool to see. So yeah, I like that. Uh, off camera all i've done in between episodes is finish the harvest finish baling the straw and i did actually just sell off the straw and i fast forward a little bit of time um as well just so we could be ready to harvest some more stuff i sold it for 38 bucks it's not great um but i kind of wanted to just get it off the field so we can start working the field soon and i mean honestly it's only a couple thousand dollars difference and we made 12 grand off of it anyways and i'm going to keep track of how much we make this episode because we're going to make a lot of money today uh, we're sitting at 49,000 after selling those off for 12 grand we are about to sell some silage not for this price we are going to sell it for um i think what i'm what i'm going to do for uh, stafford our normal price that we sell it at is going to be close to the 190 i think we normally sell it like 185 and that's what i usually sell it at so uh, we're going to sell these to stafford's rocky hilltop farm for 185 per thousand liters plus he's going to pay us an additional 50 bucks a bale and i think that's fair because otherwise we would just wait the deal with him is um how many bales does he need he needs um let me see 30 bales of silage they said he'd pay $50 more per bale. So, I mean, we can, if we wanted to, we could just wait until the price is better and then sell it to them. But that just doesn't make sense. He will happily pay that extra there for it because that's what we'd end up selling him for anyways. And his goal is to pay us a little bit extra compared to what we would normally get for it. So that just kind of makes a lot of sense there. So um, this is 24 bales. Then we'll have to come back for the other six. 
Uh, but that will sell off some of our silage right now. And then we do need to finish picking up the silage bales because we need to harvest the grass and get that all taken care of. Um, we'll start driving up towards the farm. I actually think this will be a quicker way to go this way. Um, in addition to that, we have our grapes ready to harvest over here. So we need to harvest our grapes. And I think I'll do that in the form of a time lapse using our little handy dandy grape harvester. I'll probably use our little Landini there. Um, we honestly could pay off the Landini and that little cultivator if we wanted to, but I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Um, we need to plant some barley because we're gonna do some barley um, in terms of a contract. Where was that contract at? That was for uh, Martin Broders. He needs 20,000 liters of barley. Now off of our harvest of oats, we got a total of 48,000 liters of oats or just over that. So that is quite the harvest of oats there. Well, I should just cut through here. I know I'm just driving through grass, but that is quite the harvest of oats, which is impressive. So if we got 48,000 liters doing um, these three fields, I think we just need to do like maybe this one with barley. And I think we can do whatever we want with those two fields over there. I think that'll be just fine. So we'll just do one field of barley and I think we'll get more than 20,000 liters off of that, no problem. Um, hopefully, otherwise we'll be short on the contract. I'm sure he'll buy whatever we get, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that. Um, that's gonna be what we're gonna end up getting done. Uh, we do need to get some hay bales as well for Stafford. Stafford requested um, hay bales as well, I believe. Yeah, 30 bales of silage and hay. So he needs 30 silage bales and 30 hay bales to feed his cows. So we do need to get 30 hay bales done. So our current uh, grass harvest, we're gonna do some hay bales with it. And we don't have any weeds in there. That grass is clean and good to go. And the reason I mentioned that is because we have another contract. Um, I, I saw an ad online, um, the local construction company that's getting ready to do some highway work and putting some highway needs some um, certified weed-free hay bales so they can kind of use them and kind of spread them out a little bit in terms of um, getting some stuff. So 30, 72 certified weed-free hay bales. Um, yeah, so they need 72 of those guys. They're gonna pay us um, the weed-free hay bale 1.75 times the best rate. And um, they also need some lime. They need 30,000 liters of lime. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to provide them all the lime, but at a minimum, we'll be able to get the hay bales out to them. So I called them and I said that we should be able to bale those up and get them out to them. So we're gonna do just a big hay harvest, I think, um, off of that field. Um, I think that's going to be for the best. Now, the silage bales, I'm just going to put them out here. He's going to use them to feed his cows, so he's going to end up throwing them in there anyways, or at least a lot of them. And then the other thing we need to get done, we need to um, deliver some, if we go down to our production, we have a lot of planks we need to get delivered, so I need to do that as well. We'll just dump these here. Try not to be too much in the way for them, but uh, that should be fine there. And we also need to finish off that contract for Sanguis NOX. He needed the 15,000 liters of oats, which he's going to pay 40% above the market price for those. So again, we could wait and wait for a good market price on oats, but he's gonna, we're gonna end up paying, he's gonna pay us 40% above a good market price, or at least he's gonna pay us 40% above a market price. So instead of waiting until we get a good price and getting 40% above that, he's gonna pay us the extra anyways. He's willing to do that. But that's the whole point of him paying the extra. So just like I was talking about with the silage bales for Stafford, um, Stafford's Rocky, Rocky Hilltop Farm, we're just gonna get the oats delivered to him now and then we're gonna go for um, what would be a good price for us or a pretty good price for us. So if we go to oats, um, 638, if you look there is what normally, so we'll sell it to him for $600 per thousand liters plus the extra 40% on top of that. Um, we don't have that price right now. That's totally fair, so we can just get those shipped over to him. And I think what he said is, we're, I think we're just gonna, we're gonna get them shipped over here to uh, Lucky's Logistics and they're gonna go ahead and get them delivered to him. Um, so that'd be good. And again, that was from, he had a lightning storm, um, his oat field burned, his horses that he just started out doing, um, he needed to have that, the oats for feeding his horses. And obviously it was an issue that they all, that his oat fields burnt. Um, in addition to that, again, last year he bought 10,000 liters of oats at a 20% of discounted rate because he needed the oats last year, but he didn't have a lot of money left over. And this year, now that he's made some money, he's paying us a really good uh, bonus, the 40% bonus um, on 15,000 liters of oats. Uh, because we were able to help him out last year and give him a really good discount on the oats. So that's that's the whole point. He has the money. He's willing to pay us. He wants to pay us for the oats. So I think that's totally reasonable that we get him shipped out uh, right away. So that's the plan. That's the plan in terms of that goes. Um, I will get a lot of that done off camera in terms of getting just those deliveries done because that's just me mundanely delivering stuff as needed. Um, any grapes we harvest, which you'll see this on when I do a time lapse, any grapes we harvest are just going to go straight into um, our raisin factory basically is what it is or what we're using it for to make raisins because again we need to get 12 i think it's 12,500 liters of raisins um yeah 12 5 12,500 liters of raisins over to the cereal factory uh, to get that squared away so that's the plan now i'm going to grab just uh six of these is all we need to get the 30 over to stafford so and then i'll drive those up there to his 
his place up there so that way this will be taken care of uh, but past that yeah the next thing you're going to see is just a time lapse of some grape harvesting um, that's going to be the plan so I'll do that, but in the meantime, um, after I do the grape harvester, before it, I don't know, somewhere in there, I'm going to start selling some stuff off and getting stuff squared away. So that's that's the plan. Um, but anyhow, guys, I will see you guys later on. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that stuff delivered, sold off, taken care of, and then we are gonna go ahead and continue on from there and hopefully get our sunflowers harvested this year and we're gonna use the sunflowers just to sell as a cash crop for us, hopefully. So hopefully we get a good price on those as well. But I'll see you guys here after the grapes are harvested. We are making progress. I am delivering a load of the hay bales to Stafford. I already get paid us for or Stafford's hay bales there. So um, our money has gone up. Uh, but yeah, so we delivered the other six silage bales. So I have six more hay bales to deliver after I get these delivered. But yeah, basically what I've done is won't let that save there. Um, actually, we'll get these unloaded maybe first before I try to do anything crazy here. Ooh, don't hit that smack the silage bales. I thought I was going to smack those for a second. That was almost bad. All right. See if we can put them right next to, I don't need GPS on right now. See if I can put them right next to these guys, a little space in between. There we go, and that should do the trick. And beautiful, okay. So yeah, we got those taken care of. So what I've done basically off camera is I've harvested this, um, so that's no longer uh, ready to harvest anymore in, in terms of well, I guess we can do that there we go uh, so that's only ready to harvest or anything like that I get that and then we have a lot of hay bales over there so again we're gonna get some of those down to the construction company um, I called them and asked them if they'd take like just partial shipment for the the contract and they said yeah um, they said they just kind of buy whatever need they put what they needed up there they said they actually already got the lime in so they said we can uh, ignore that or disregard that but um, they said they still need some hay bales so um, any hay bales that we can get them would be helpful. So we're just, because we're not going to do hay regularly, and I really don't want to do another load of hay, because we make more off of the silage as it is. So I don't want to do a ton of hay when we can make more off our silage. So just what we got uh, left over after we finish Stafford's uh, contract here, we'll be good to go. So again, six more bales are going to go to Stafford, and then we'll take the rest up to uh, basically that construction company that is kind of based over there um, and give them all the rest. That way they're good to go. But um yeah, so we're doing good. We made a lot of money so far. We sold, again, we sold our straw off for 12 grand. Um, we sold the, the silage bales to Stafford's uh, farm for $20,900. We sold the oats to Sanguis NOX for $12,600. We sold $28,000 in planks because we had some planks. And that was two loads of four pallets. And then we also just sold $9,600 worth of hay bales to Stafford. So we're making progress. We're making good money. That's what, 10, 20, 30. Uh, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, almost $90,000 um, so far this episode, which is really good for us. I did have to lease a tether, uh, which was okay. I did lease a tether for, um, yeah, I'm going to drive over here. I did lease this guy here. Let's go in the store. I'll show you what I leased. 
this guy did lease. So I think we're just gonna hold on to him. It's only $11,000 for this, 6.1 meters. So we'll probably end up doing more hay in the future. I did think about potentially maybe doing, this would actually be a good series to do horses. And if we can get some more hired helpers, we may have to not ride the horses every day, wink, wink, if you know what I mean. Um, Cause that's usually my biggest drawback. And it's not that I don't wanna put the work into it. It's just um, a time thing for me in terms of getting episodes out and stuff like that. It's like, I do have a limited resource of time. so. I don't necessarily want to waste it riding a horse around the map when I could be doing farming things. So we might have some people. I mean, we could put the horses in right here. Honestly, this would be a good little area, this little grass patch for the horses. But uh, let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments. Um, I am curious about that. So let me know what you guys think. We're still waiting for the sunflowers to be good to go. Uh, so those are going to get harvested next um, in the uh, in the in the episode here. And that'll probably be what we finish out the episode on is harvesting those sunflowers. The one thing I did do as well is over here I did throw down a double layer, we can see it here, double layer of fertilizer. So I always forget with um, the manure spreader, which I probably can't even click on it down here, but we have um, a manure spreader down there. Not that's not where I wanted to go. Uh, garage, this guy. So when you spread manure or slurry, you can do what's called a double application, right? So use basically twice as, or not twice as much. Use the same amount of manure as you would to get two fertilizer states, but you put it both down at the same time. So basically you're doing two fertilizer states at the same exact time. Um, you just have to drive a little slower with it and it puts down a excuse me, a lot more manure at one time because you're doing the double fertilization. So thank you to Farmer T79 for reminding me that was a feature uh, because I always forget. He's like, why don't you do uh, double it up that way? And I, that's a really good point. Should have done that originally. But um, anyhow, and then uh, is this, when do we have to plant our, yeah. So we also need to plant barley. Now sunflowers are ready to harvest here. So I'll probably wait till here to plant barley. Um, the only reason being because um, well, well, we can do the, the sunflower harvest at the same time. So pretty sure we planted the sunflowers. Oh, we might plant to wait even longer for sunflowers though. Maybe we will just get the barley planted now. Yeah, how are these guys doing it? So yes, there, this is forage. So yeah, they should be ready in October actually. So that should be fine since they're almost there. They should have one more growth state coming up and that should be fine. So actually we, we probably can go ahead and do them. That is a five. We need one more bale and we'll get these over to Stafford. See, so yeah, obviously we don't have 72 bales left on the field after that. I didn't have, yeah, we didn't have 72 total. So we'll sell them what we have, I think, is what we're going to do. And then we'll kind of go from there. But yeah, so barley wise, again, kind of like I was talking about for that contract we only needed, I think, was it 20,000 liters, something like that? I think if we just do this big field over here as barley, I think that'll be plenty good. So maybe I'll actually just plant it right now. It doesn't really matter. I think I'll just plant it right now. But I'll get that planted today. And then um, I'll look through our contracts. I don't think there's anything else we need to worry about if we just do barley there. And then that'll be basically next year's crop for that field. And then um, these fields here, obviously this will be grass. Um, again, we'll probably get one more harvest, maybe not. We did plant it this year, so I actually don't think we'll get another harvest off of it this year, but that's okay. Uh, we're doing good financially um, in terms of everything goes. Um, I think next year we may look into investing in a new harvester. Not to say that we're gonna get rid of the harvest that we have, but I think that'd be a good way to go about it. So anyhow, guys, I am gonna keep getting this stuff taken care of. I'm gonna bring you guys back in when it is time to get the sunflower harvest rolling, and that'll probably be where we finish out our episode. So I'll see you guys then. All right, the time has come. Let's fire this baby up and let's get some sunflowers rolling. So I did a couple things. Um, we'll talk about those in a second here. Um, did a couple things off camera, of course, as always. Um, yeah, let's get this guy actually just hired. We'll hire our little our worker guy to do that. Over in here, tractor can work on that. Um, but over here, okay, so um, I planted all of these fields. Now, I know we talked about doing barley. So barley's in this field. Now there's weeds here. I need to deal with those in a second. But there's barley here. Canola in these two. So, and the reason for that is we have, if I can pull it up here real quick, we have another subscriber contract. Um, if I can, yep, here we go. Okay, another subscriber contract. So, Hostainer said, hey, FC, I've got a subscriber contract for you. I, op I own and operate a oil mill, and due to poor harvest, my normal, uh, oh, sorry here, my normal suppliers have not been able to keep up with this, uh, or keep up this year, and I'm in desperate need of canola. I need 82,000 liters of canola and willing to pay a premium price for it. If you could help me out, I would much appreciate that. Now, I'm assuming premium price would be like 10 to 20% over the market value, probably. Now, we're probably not going to get 82,000 liters off of these two, so we'll try to fulfill what we can this year, and we can finish out the contract probably next year. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we got going on. So, sunflowers are going, that's going. And then the other thing I wanted to mention. Um, I may or may not have bought us a new cedar. So we'll show you guys that one right here in a second. Now, it's this guy right here. It's 12, it, or not 12 meters, it's six meters here. It's six meters for six grand. This thing is also a direct drill. Why do I have super strength on? Must have been moving something in the town. Let's turn that back off. We don't need that. 
but uh yeah so six meter cedar right there beautiful cedar uh, if we go in here i did think about buying this this guy was on sale but i think our other harvester is still a better option but anyhow cedars right here six grand direct drill does fertilizer and seed i haven't used it to fertilize to be fair but it does seed um so yeah pretty sweet little cedar i sold our little um we had i think this guy that we bought on sale so i sold it for like 20 or not 2500 dollars so like sold it for like two grand so we didn't get a lot out of it or anything like that but uh yeah so we have that um i think that's yeah that's what we got going on so um yeah we bought it it is what it is now i think it's a little cheaty for the price so what i am going to do and i'm going to do it with you guys here is we're going to take an additional six grand out of our bank account for it so we're going to say that that costs us 12 grand six i think that's fair it's a good cedar i think it's a little cheap for what it is you guys might disagree or agree but that's what we're going to do now if we go into the garage as well if we ever do go to sell the cedar um, when we sell it, we get a double whatever we sell it for the price because we paid double for it. So that's makes sense. But I also don't want to just add six grand. So it's not going to be this plus six grand. Right now, we would sell it for like eighty four hundred dollars ish or eighty three sixty six, if my math is correct there. Uh, but yeah, so it's good, good cedar to have. We wanted a direct drill, and that was a good option for us. Um, so yeah, we just have to deal with the weeds now. So we have again um, over there, we have barley growing in well this field over there. You can see on the hill. This one we have. Um, canola growing and then we have canola growing in that field as well and we're getting our sunflowers harvested which is probably gonna be the thumbnail to be honest because i don't think we need anything else exciting and also i wanted to note this i know this is kind of off topic but look how crazy this hill is it's not really that crazy i guess but this is a really steep hill actually that we have to harvest stuff on and i don't think i ever really like it's kind of hard to tell from this angle but if you get actually down at the right angle that's actually a really steep hill for equipment to have to climb so i just i didn't even really think about it or notice it. i mean it's fine we do just fine with it but i just thought that was interesting and i kind of noticed it I was like why is my equipment slowing down going up that hill but that would be why uh but anyhow yeah so sunflowers are underway again this is just going to be a cash crop for us in terms of what we're going to do with it we're just going to sell it um to make some money so that's what we're going to do with the, the sunflowers we probably can move back over to this screen then i need to get those guys weeded uh sunflowers how much are we going to make off this field um uh, sunflowers um, those are actually pretty good prices right now it looks like 813 yeah 750 747 780 is a really good price um that's a really good price if it 813 is the normal price we actually might just sell this right off the bat um to be completely honest with you guys you might just sell this as we get it yeah right now we got we're gonna make some good cash off this actually which is good and we're doing good in terms of money because next year we're gonna again want to buy a harvester because that's going to speed up our process because it took me forever to harvest all this i mean it's going to take forever to harvest this as well but I think that'll be kind of our next goal. And then after that, we probably need to get, well, we need more land. We need more land, which is gonna be important for us. Um, how is our production doing for, for wood? Yeah, so we're gonna need more wood to put in there. We have more planks we can sell. Cause I wanna keep this going. This is what we're gonna keep doing with our wood cause we're making a lot of money off of that, which is great. Um, yeah, and then in terms of what we have in our, in here, we have some oats and corn, which is great. We need that for our cereal. Uh, horses, so kind of things I'm thinking about in terms of investments. Horses are what I'm thinking about investing because we can do hay now and we have oats. The second thing I'm thinking about is more land. Third thing, none of these is not in order, by the way, either. This is just things I'm thinking about. Uh, harvester, new tractor. Now, the reason I want a new tractor is because our Massey Ferguson, um, where's he at? Over here, has like 109 hours on it. Yeah, 109 hours, almost 110 hours on it. And it is costing us a lot of money to repair that. So we'll probably hold on to it for a little bit longer, but we do need to get that replaced um at some point i think because it's starting to just be a little bit ridiculous to have to keep repairing that because it just wears out super quick and it's you know two to three grand every time we have to repair it when it gets down to like 50 percent, and it gets down there fairly quick i mean in planting all these fields yeah these three fields right here um it went down to 69 percent, which it didn't take too long to plant those fields to be fair so and i had repaired it right before if i remember correctly so yeah it's something we got to deal with i think and i think we'll be able to deal with that just fine uh but yeah this episode getting this done and the other thing i was thinking about doing was and i am going to do this for sure and again we can do multiple of the multiples of these at a time uh but once we get to the planting season for grapes i want to put some more rows of grapes down like we have what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have ten down right now i honestly am thinking about doubling it because well i mean let me think it's about five thousand dollars per row that we have out here so if we do i mean that's 50 grand if i put 10 more rows in so maybe not quite doubling it but if i could add like six rows in which would be, I mean, six times five grand, that would only be 30 grand. Um, that would be, I think, fairly affordable with how much money we have now. 
Um, and I think that would be worthwhile long term for us. We're not making a lot of money off our grapes, so we need to increase the production since it's something we pretty much decided to do. So, um, how many is in here? A thousand in there. We have 2,100 in there. I wonder why those are not uh, spawning out. Yeah, it should be storing. So they should be spawning out. Be able to move this guy. Interesting. Maybe if we go in here, oh, production. I don't know if we have to. Oh, it's weird that it's, it's making us do that. Two pallets. Okay, yeah, that got it to spawn out. I mean, that's not a big deal, but we are starting to get raisins. The reason we want we need a lot more grapes is because well, we need to first off we need to get more, a lot more raisins. Uh, because one, we have to deliver 12,500 liters to our cereal contract, and I would like to start making our own cereal. And I think, honestly, we're probably going to start making our own cereal first because that's going to make us more money, which is going to help us more than that contract getting fulfilled is, and that contract doesn't have a timeline on it per se, and we are working to get that done. So I think that's kind of what we're going to end up doing. But uh, yeah, so back over here to our sunflower harvest. Everything's going well in here. Let me know what you guys think and suggestions and stuff like that. I am still taking subscriber contracts and business ideas. Just know I have like 10 pages of business ideas. So I'm not going to be able to do all of them, but I'm going to try to do some of them. And sometimes I don't do them and I don't do them in the order necessarily you guys requested them. If I have like six of the same business that was requested, I will do, you know, whoever requested it first, I'll do their business first. And if I need a second one of those, then I'll add it in. But yeah, so it's first come first serve in terms of ideas, but sometimes I move them around and do whatever is going to help for the series and stuff like that and the storyline. But yeah, and you might have requested a business on episode one and you won't see it until episode 50 or 60. It just kind of is what it is. So and you got a screaming deal at the farm shop for 814, which is really, really good, quite honestly. So I was happy about that. Uh, but yeah, since you guys last saw me last watching the episode, I got the sunflower harvest done. Um, I also had to do some other stuff here, which we'll go over in a second. Um, in terms of what I sold, um, so again, yeah, I'm just going to, I got a list here. I'm going to go over stuff with you guys. I finished the sunflower harvest, so we're going to sell that right now. I sold the remaining silage bales, which was like, I think we had 31 bales left. So I sold those. We got about 20 so or 20 or so thousand, excuse me, 20 or so thousand from that. I also sold our corn for 13 grand, which you might say, well, why'd you sell the corn? Weren't we going to make cereal with it? And I'll explain why we're no longer going to make cereal. It's not because I don't want to make cereal. I actually was really excited to make cereal. So I'm really bummed that we shouldn't make cereal anymore. Um, but that also means we have a lot of honey to sell. So we actually could look into selling our honey too because we have a lot of honey getting manufactured by our bees. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to take this in. We'll get this sold. And then with you guys in here, I'm going to kind of give you guys an update about some different stuff that we got going on, which actually while this guy is up here, I might, I'll drive him off or drive him home off camera. I'll just show you guys the other things that we want to get done. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in terms of everything um, this episode that I want to get done. So I would like to get, I think, I mean, you guys probably know what the thumbnail is, but I would like to get another harvester if we could. I think that would be ideal. And we should get quite a bit of cash actually for the sunflowers here. I'm thinking we'll do pretty good off them. So let's see here. Oh yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do just fine off of these sunflowers. Yep, twenty thousand dollars just about. So basically, what that means is our harvest off of this field is twenty grand. So that's pretty good for your harvest off of that. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, okay, yeah. So let me hop back down here uh, to our our little area down here. So in terms of everything on the farm, I know it's a little a little dark out right now. Obviously, you know, we have barley planted here, and then we have canola in these two fields. This field this year, I have, honestly have no idea what we're going to plant. Um, we could do all sorts of different things. We're going to think about it. I might look through my subscriber contracts. Oh, no, we needed soy. Was it Larry that needed soy? Larry needed soy for his pigs? Yeah, we'll just plant some soy. I'm pretty sure we can make that happen. Soy? Yeah. In April, we'll just plant some soy. That'll be a good uh, use for that field. So that's what we'll do. We're gonna plant soy. I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget uh, soy. We're gonna plant some soy in that field. That'll be that'll be perfect for us. Um, our fields did get weeds. Well, these three fields did get weeds because we didn't plow them because we used a direct drill uh, seeder, which you guys know since we bought a new seeder. So um, I did um, lease a sprayer, this guy right here, and I just held on to it. Again, it's now our... Oh, right, I'm not allowed to have more than three. Did I say three in here? I said three, didn't I? I was thinking, why did I think I said five for a second? Did I say five or three? I can't remember. Well, anyhow, let's just do this, because this is just easier. This thing is not very much money. We're just going to go ahead and purchase that. So now we don't have to worry about that. And then if we go in there, actually, the other things we're going to purchase is this. I wanted to do this anyways, because that's not very much money. And then we'll also purchase this guy right here. 
purchase for 10 to 60. Should we do that one? Well, we'll keep making payments on that one for now. Um, those two will keep making payments on it. doesn't really affect us that much, but uh, yeah. Okay. So those aren't, those are not expensive pieces of equipment. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. That's my bad. We have, we've always had the money to do it. So we didn't really circumvent anything anyways, but anyhow, I now bought that cedar. I leased it at first to do all the weed spraying. Um, and then we didn't get another harvest off of the grass field, which was kind of a bummer, which I knew we probably wouldn't because we had started it kind of this whole field from scratch last year, but that's fine. Um, I fertilize, if we go over to here, I fertilize these three fields with their second seed of fertilizer. Um, so they're good to go in terms of that. But uh, yeah, that's what we kind of got going on. Um, this episode, I would like to get a new harvester. I think that'd be good. Um, and then I think we're going to do one round of hay bales out here. And then we're going to keep those hay bales because I think we are going to do horses. Um, so again, we sold the corn that we had off of here. So we don't have any corn anymore, which is fine. Um, now I did think about doing, I know we can make popcorn here, but... Um, I'm actually going to set this to, we're not going to make popcorn. I'm going to set that to selling. We'll make a little bit off of that. Uh, oatmeal, we actually might make more oatmeal at some point. Oh, there are oats in here, but we were going to use those for cereal, which we're not anymore. So let's just go ahead and activate that. We'll have that finish out um, making more oatmeal. And we'll sell that oatmeal off because, yeah, we're not going to do popcorn anymore uh, because we make like just pennies more. Um, I mean, we don't make any, hardly anything. We make. we make a little bit of profit off that oatmeal. At least we make about a hundred to two hundred dollars more per thousand liters. So that's definitely worth running that through. This one we make like ten to twenty dollars per thousand liters. So it's not really worth the extra effort of moving it. And then our wood is actually completely done. So we need to sell some pallets of uh, plank soil. For, I'm actually just going to write. I need to write a little to do list for me and what I need to do. So we're going to plant soy. I need to sell planks off, which is going to be fine. And then I'll need to sell oatmeal once we get there, because the oatmeal normally has a great price. And then I will also sell off our honey, because we have a, if we run over here real quick, see a little zoom in over here, we have a ton of honey over here. So we have each one of these little stacks is 2,000 liters. So two, four, six, eight, ten, 10, yeah, just over 12,000 liters of honey sitting here, which, I mean, that'll fetch us a good chunk of change there. So we're starting to make more and more money, which is really cool, actually. Um, yeah, 1100 bucks per, I mean, there's, oh, we should sell it immediately if we can get, oh, rest. I mean, there's lots of good places in here to sell. Uh, we should sell the honey right away. So I will sell honey. I'm going to write that on my list because we're not using it in cereal production anymore. Now you might say, well, why aren't we using it in cereal production? I looked at a couple of things here. So first off to make cereal, we need one raisin, one honey, two oats and two. Oh, wait a second. I might've actually messed this one up. Let me think here. Okay, cereal's not as bad as I thought. I forgot to multiply this by two. That's an important cycle there. So we actually, you do actually make a profit off of the cereal, but you don't make a lot of money. You make hardly any money off of this. So the inputs cost you about, and you guys have probably seen my inputs and outputs um, calculations that I've done on different production chains. The inputs here cost you 4.873 per cycle. That's how much if you were to sell the stuff separately. And then now what we're making off it, if I just double what I had out of it, um, you're only making 5.262 off of the top end. So 40 cents, I mean, times, yeah, 40 cents times what we have 1200 cycles. So you're making an extra 480 a month. So really not a lot to be completely honest, if you're running this full time, 1200 cycles a month, which is a lot anyways, but, uh, yeah. So is it worth it? Kind of maybe a little bit. Uh, but I don't, I think it's just less of a hassle for us to have to make cereal to just sell it all separate. So we're just going to do that. I don't think it's really worth our hassle. Um, but yeah, we'll keep making raisins though. Cause the raisins are definitely worth it. Cause if you look at, I mean, that's a one-to-one -one ratio raisins sell for, I mean, up to $1,500. And then if we go to grapes themselves, um, the best price for the 760. So that it just about doubles the value of the grapes, which is really worth it. Um, but yeah, so that's all we got going on. Um, I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, and I need to also add that we're gonna add more, uh, grape, um, uh, grape vines. We're gonna add more grape vines is what I also want to do. Um, which isn't, I didn't, doesn't necessarily have to happen off camera, of course, but that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna plant soy here and get a couple of those other things done. And I think that'll be what we're gonna get going with on this episode. I think that's a good kind of place to be. So our money's gonna go up because I'm gonna sell planks. You guys have seen me sell, sell planks before. And all of our raisins that we're going to get, we're going to get paid for them, but they're going to go towards our cereal contract, or I can't talk. It is late for me. It's a, it's 1.09 in the morning for me, in case you're wondering, because I'm trying to switch my schedule to start working graveyard, which is exhausting. But anyhow, um, I need to check in over here with these guys. But uh, yeah, so our raisins are, that we're making over here at our 
uh, production facility here are going to get sold off to our, ooh, where is it at? Oh, gosh, no, it's right over here, isn't it? Yeah, we know serial production for that serial contract that we have. But yes, I'm going to get a lot of stuff done off camera. Not a lot, honestly, just a couple of mundane things, mostly just selling something here and there. And I'll write down everything we make off everything, let you guys know. But you guys, you guys don't want to just watch me transport stuff around the map. So that's just not really a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get some stuff done and I'll bring you guys back in here in just a bit. All right. Good to see you guys. So a lot of stuff, I think, I think all the stuff has happened since you guys were last in here. I'm pretty sure I didn't mention any of this. That's why I've got it written down. But, uh, uh, so I sold $38,500 worth of planks. So for where we're sitting right now, that's going to be pretty much everything we got, um, in terms of planks there. I also sold our oatmeal, all the oats that we had processed through, um, to oatmeal. So I got those sold off. Do we have any more oats? We do have some more. Yeah, that's right. Those are just the ones that were sitting in there, which we're not going to worry about. Um, I got soy planted here. I bought six more rows. If we go right here, I bought six more rows of grapes. I also mulched everything, got everything plowed in, everything, all the new grapes are fertilized as well. So grapes are doing really good down here. I uh, got that done. Uh, pruned the vines, did all that good stuff. Um, yeah, again, planted soy here. We'll uh, throw another layer of fertilizer down tomorrow. It's only, yeah, it's only eight for right now. Um, I did do, if we go out to here, I did bale this as hay. I cut it and baled it as hay. Um, so there's some bales out here and there's a load of them, um, a trailer full sitting right here, good to go. So that's what I got in terms of that. I sold the oatmeal that we had made uh, for $2,100. Um, yeah, and the grapes cost us $25,000 to place those six rows around that. So yeah, I bought, yeah, actually like four grand a row or something like that. Um, and I also sold our honey for $14,500. So we got good money off of that. But uh, yeah, so quite a bit of stuff happened, but that is where we're kind of at. Um, right now we are going to drive in, um, oops, I, don't, I don't need that there or that. We are gonna drive into town. Um, not really into town, I guess, more than anything else. But what we are gonna do is we are going to try to go talk to, cause we're thinking about getting some horses. So I kind of want to go talk and ask some questions of Morgan the deer man, since he does do horses in this area. So uh, I figure his farm is up over, up over here. He's got horses up over there. So we're gonna go drive up there, have a little conversation with him uh, because he's gonna be the guy that's gonna know about the horses and doing horses in this area and taking care of them and stuff like that. Um, I think we will end up feeding our horses sorghum at some point. Uh, once we get some sorghum done, so probably next year we'll plant some sorghum. Uh, but for now, a lot of our crops that we have growing are for different subscriber contracts. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna go out there, we're gonna talk to Morgan the Deer Man, uh, see if he's got any information for us. We may even be able to buy some horses off of him or where we can get some horses. We'll try to figure all that stuff uh, kind of out with talking with him. Uh, ooh, ooh, that was a lot of lag, a lot of lag coming in over here. Oh, you can do it. Wow, yeah, it does not want to... I guess I haven't, since I loaded into the game save this time around, I haven't come over here yet. Uh, wow, yeah, that was really laggy. That's really bad even for, uh, for... Yeah, that was just way worse than it normally is. It's still trying to render in all the map and everything, but that's okay. Once it's all rendered, it should be good to go. Uh, so we'll go up here, we'll take a look at... Uh, it looks like there's kind of something up over the hill, too. But uh, yeah, let's go talk to Morgan the Deer Man. Let's see, he's got, um, in terms, oh wow, that leg is killing me. I hate leg so much. Okay, I mean, who doesn't? I don't think anyone really likes it, but yeah. All right, yeah, let me go talk to Morgan the Deerman and see what he's got for us. All right, so Morgan the Deerman said he, uh, he gave me some good advice in terms of uh, getting some horses taken care of here. He said he'd be able to provide us with some horses as well if we wanted to buy some off of him to get going. Uh, which is really good news for us. Um, and then he did say that up here, this neighbor is a new neighbor that does, I guess, bee farming or something like that. Wow, this is kind of interesting here. Wow, it looks kind of, there's a lot going on through here. Um, yeah, let's go talk to this guy. This guy's probably got to have something to say. We'll just pull up here and then maybe we can go walk around and take a look at what he's got going on. Right, super nice guy his name was gavin um so he actually did provide this as a kind of a business for us or a, as part of like the subscriber contract or however you want to put it but uh this is what he left he said business idea and backstory um he said he said he tried to read it with a southern accent but i probably will not do that he says howdy i'm currently looking for some help and i figured since we are practically neighbors maybe you'd help i own a small wooden house placeable pack farmhouse mod i use a different mod probably but um 
I just kind of have to customize it. Um, but yeah, he's out here producing honey. You heard me already got myself a beef, a bee farm up here. He says, as of late, I've been frequently doing trips to the big city and maintaining the bees and their needs have been uh, harder. I have a proposition for some delivery jobs. Um, kind of relieved me of some of the stress, so we might be able to help him out with some delivery jobs, he said. Um, occasionally, he'd be able to give us 10, 15% of the income from honey from each delivery um, if uh, we're able to help him out. Uh, but yeah, so that is fantastic. Gavin's got a really nice beef farm uh, through here. We're just gonna, we'll just drive through it because I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, so down over here, that's his storage facility down over there. That's where his uh, his bees have honey spawn. And it's a honey spawn point. A couple of little sheds, a little mobile bee trailer up there. And then up here, this is kind of just, uh, yeah, he just bought this area and then put some beehives up here and some trees and different wildlife and foliage and stuff. But yeah, this is Gavin's little bee farm area in here. So uh, there we go. Fantastic. Gavin, there's your bee farm, my friend. I hope it is just what you want. You know what we, it really needs? Maybe some fencing going up that uh, route there. Let's just go ahead and uh, yeah, let that save. Let's go ahead and jump over to, I think he's yeah, he's part of local farmers. Um, let's just go ahead and put some fences in real quick. I think that'll be good. Nothing crazy. I think actually, honestly, that really, uh, one of the really basic fences like this guy right here would fit really well in with what we got going on, the look of this area. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Just like that, and then over here. There we go. Yeah, something like that. I think that looks really good there. On um, that, we maybe can go one more out there. Yeah, like th I like that a lot. I think that adds to it, and I think that kind of makes sense with what we got going on. Maybe do one more out that way. A couple more out that way. There we go. Okay. Um, and on that note, let's jump back over to our farm. But there we go, Gavin. There is your bee farm, my friend. Um, in terms of what we got going on, um, we're just going to kind of wait to harvest, and then we are going to purchase ourselves a new harvester. I might just go ahead and buy it off camera and then bring you guys back in and show you guys what we're going to get. You guys probably have some good ideas what I'm going to get, but you never know. So we'll kind of have to see. But yeah, we're going to drive back over to the farm, and then I'm going to see you guys when it is time to harvest. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The time has come to reveal our new harvester. I know you guys probably already saw it because it's probably the thumbnail, but look at this piece of work here. New harvester time, guys. New harvester time. Now, obviously, our money has not gone down a lot. Um, that's because we are leasing this. Now, again, I can only have three items, so I had to buy the... If we go to our shop down here, I bought this guy right here. So we own this guy flat out right now, but we're going to make payments on... Gosh, I really wanted this tractor too, by the way. Oh, there's so many good tractors. I actually, ah, oh, I might buy it because it's only got 20 hours. This one we can do, what if we do GPS then? We're looking at a $90,000 tractor to get what we got. So I think we just hold off for now. That's a good deal. That's also a good deal for that one too. Oh, we'll get more tractor deals. One tractor, and I actually don't know how good it is in terms of things um, that I, no, not in there. Um, the one that I really want to try is this the yeah farm con one this guy right here It's only 50 horsepower. But this thing is just it's just such a good-looking tractor I just really badly want to use it. So hopefully at some point especially I got to see this tractor what they scanned in real life I got to see the real life tractor, which is super cool. I actually have a video with that on my channel about that But anyhow, um, okay, so regardless of that. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet tractor but our, our harvester, it's good to go. We're going to hold on to our other harvester for now because we're not going to, I mean, if we go into our garage, I know we'll get a little bit more if we took it down to the store, but we're not going to get a lot for this thing. It doesn't have a ton of hours on it. It's not a terrible harvester, so it's just small. But yeah, let's go ahead and fire this baby up and get it going. So yeah, actually, I should talk about what harvester I actually got though first here. Uh, so I went under harvesters and then I went with this guy. So these two are very similar. They're pretty much the same harvester, except this is four-wheel drive. I decided to go tool drive because with some duels in the front, which is how I set it up, duels, good to go. And then I did the XL bin uh, down here, bigger engine, longer pipe, um, and I did do GPS on it. So 88590 was the total price, but I just leased it again for now. So 4518, and then we'll pay 885 a day, uh, plus 1860 an hour. And again, all both of those, I've tested it, by the way, every time you get an hourly fee, it does go towards the purchase there. And then in terms of headers, I purchased... Um, I looked in here, um, this one, I was like, okay, that one's pretty big, but I want to go a little bit bigger. So I went with this one, the 8.5 meter there, and I decided that this, the next one up for case, was a little bit too big. So I think this is about the perfect header size for this 
bad boy here, but let's start it up. Oh, unfold it. There we go. Come on. What? Should be unfolded. Uh, there it goes. Maybe it was just finishing. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, yeah. And we are harvesting barley, ladies and gentlemen. And this is going to be so much quicker and so much better for us to use this than anything else. And by the way, in terms of everything we got going on, um, nothing else is ready to harvest. The grass isn't quite ready. I know it says it's ready, but it still needs to go one more day before we'll harvest it. So, yeah, this is incredible. A new harvester, guys. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is a big deal for us. This is a big deal for us. This is a really big equipment upgrade for us quite honestly this is one of our, our first really big equipment upgrades in terms of getting something bigger and better for our farm so this is a really big deal for us um yeah this is a big deal i will bail the straw and probably just sell it flat out whatever the rate is just to make a little extra cash on the side uh, it's not a big deal there and the next episode we'll probably look at getting into horses i think and then yeah because we're talking about different like capital improvements we kind of talked about that uh, harvester was pretty high on the list in terms of things that we needed to get going but uh yeah we got that done oh gosh this hill is a struggle wow we're not gonna be able to get up over that hill is that well that hill is really bad actually that is a really weird the good news is about the landscaping tool in the new game yeah you can see the little like kind of nub in there if we actually go into here you can do you can smooth stuff while there's still stuff on it which is just what needs to happen here this is just so unsmooth. Now, the other ones will actually delete what's on there, the textures, but the smoothing feature is actually really nice. Yeah, look at that. We can actually make it over the top now. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's still not great. I wish it was a little smoother, but that's much better than it was. Um, and it didn't really cost us a whole lot either. So, yeah, this is incredible. This is incredible. Big harvester upgrade. We'll hold on to an old one. Because, um, again, we have a worker right now. Over-engineered tractor can maybe run the old one while we run the new one if we wanted to go that route and do that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah. So, next episode, plans. We are going to get horses going, hopefully. That's the plan. Um, hopefully add in another subscriber business. Get some subscriber contracts done. So, all these harvests that we're doing right now, we're going to get all those delivered in the next episode. Hopefully, this does this hill, okay? Um, this is where I thought about getting the four-wheel drive, but I think the two-wheel drive with as much horsepower as this has, yeah, it's doing just fine. But anyhow, sorry, I got distracted. We're going to harvest our canola, get that shipped out. That's not going to finish that contract, but we'll get a lot of that contract done. Um, then we're going to do some silage bales once that's ready to harvest down there, get the silage just sold off, get horses set up. That's kind of the plan. Get our harvest done, get horses set up, hopefully add in another business, get stuff delivered for subscriber contracts, and kind of call it good from there. So that is the plan. That is the plan next episode, and I think we'll be able to accomplish that pretty good. Gosh, this harvester is so sweet. We're going to be getting ready to fill up the uh, other harvester. This thing has a 12,200 liter um, grain tank, which is honestly incredible for us. And what do we need for barley? I think we need a 20,000 liter, so we should have some extra off us, which would be really nice, actually. Um, I did think about, I mean, if we have a little bit extra barley, we might get like a small chicken coop, because chickens are pretty easy to take care of, quite honestly. I mean, they really are. So we could just get a little bit extra and get some chickens. And you can make a lot off the eggs. Because, I mean, what... I mean, what kind of a chicken coops do we have? Oh, wow. Yep, I want to keep an eye on him. Yeah, he's not going to do well around this corner, probably. We'll slow down for a second. Let's take a look at chicken coops here. Because, I mean, we go to chickens. This little fenceless one's only two grand. 150 chickens. That one only does that, doesn't do a lot. That one does 360 chickens. That might be a good one, little 9,000. I mean, this one, honestly, $2,000, then we just put some fences around it. I don't know, it's not a bad one. I really like the look of that one, though, quite honestly. That one looks really good. This one doesn't look half bad, though. To be honest, it kind of fits with our depressing uh, decor around here. But yeah, we could take a look at maybe doing chickens. I mean, let me know what you guys think down in the chat if you guys think we should do some chickens or not. Um, I know I'm a little behind on comments for this series, but yeah, let me know in the chat what you think about us doing some chickens. Um, I'm pretty dead set on doing horses unless I see some really negative comments about it. Uh, but I think we're really set up for that, and I think that'll be good. So I'm, I'm really planning on doing horses. Um, and there's someone on the channel that's been watching for a while. Jaden is really excited about me doing horses, I'm sure, if she's watching this series. 
Uh, so, Jaden, those horses are going to be for you as well, my friend. Uh, you're very welcome. You've been asking me to do horses for a long time. So, I do want to do those. I've always said I wanted to do them on a series. I did say I was going to do them on the New Jersey Farmer series. But, obviously, as you guys know, we, didn't, we stopped doing that series. So, yeah, I think this would be a good series to do them on. I haven't done a lot of horses. Honestly, I haven't done any horses, really, in FS22 other than through my tutorial video. So, I think that would be kind of fun to do that. Just something a little bit different. But, things. Anyway. Um, off camera, I finished our barley harvest. If you remember from map, we had this field. Plant with barley, so it's harvested. If we go up here, thirty-eight thousand liters off it, which only needed twenty thousand for a contract. So we have eighteen thousand, I think, for some chickens might be in order. Uh, would be good for us. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. And then um, in terms of everything else, we're holding on to those for our horses. And then I took all the straw off that field, and bailed it, and sold it, and we got about about fifty-five hundred bucks. It wasn't a great price, but if we had waited until it was actually a really good price, it would have only made us like an our twelve hundred bucks. So I just sold it off just to so get rid of it. I also bailed silage off that field. So I mowed, cut, bailed silage. We have hay bales on that. Um, well, let me just show you here. We have hay bales sitting on this guy. And then we also have a bunch of hay bales sitting in the shed here so they don't get wet. And then if we go over here, we have another hay bale that is probably soaked now. Well, actually, it hasn't rained yet. But anyhow, we have another hay bale uh, sitting right here. So there we go. 4,500 liters of hay sitting right there for us. But right now, our, what do we plant here? It's canola, right? Yeah, canola. Our canola is ready to harvest, which we need for a contract for, uh, well, let me look down my list here, for Hassanator. So this is for Hassanator, all of this uh, canola that, we're plant that we have planted here. Uh, Martin Borders is the one that needed 20,000 liters of barley, so we'll get that delivered in a second. Um, and Larry needs soybeans for his pigs, which we, if you remember, have soybeans growing out here. And the grass is growing, and grapes are growing. Everything is great. So we're just going to keep working, doing our thing. Um, but I think right now I'm going to put a time lapse in of the canola harvest. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'll see you guys after the canola harvest is done. So, you just saw our canola harvest, and well, it's been some time since then. Um, I'll be honest, we're getting soy done now. It is October 1, so first part of October, and I'm actually just going to we'll hire our worker. We'll have an over-engineered tractor get out here and get this done. Um, we'll talk about a couple things. Yep, you keep working on that. Beautiful. So, this is for, is it Larry? Larry's pigs, yes. Um, anyhow, the grass is ready to go again, just pumped up there. Uh, we have these guys here, silage, good to go. We need to get, they're still all in the field, because I have... Hay sitting over in there in that one. And then I have a, a uh, I had another straw bale that came out. 
Um, so I got that one sold off. But uh, yeah, and then a couple other things. So one, I bought this guy, just a thousand dollar solid fertilizer holder. I also bought some fertilizer for it and I bought us some more seeds because um, we needed them because we have, and I don't think it needs plowing. I never actually checked that. Yeah, no, it's good. Everything's good. Yeah, okay, so I planted in these three fields, so this one, this one, and this one, I planted more canola because we only got 25,000 liters off the harvest and we need um, a total of 82,000 liters to complete that contract. So we'll probably ship out um, everything we can um, this year. So we'll probably ship this out this year. Um, and then again, we have oats ready to go for our horses if we decide to do horses, which I want to get going maybe soon here since it's winter time. We probably can work on that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, fertilizer silo. I planted canola. I sold the 20,000 liters of barley for our um, barley contract, which if you don't remember that one, um, that was for um, Martin Broders. He says, hey, farmer, I've got a contract for you due to bad crops and political problems. I am short on barley, so I haven't got enough to make bread and cake for the town. Can you help me with 20,000 liters? I'll pay you 25% above market value. Thank you very much. I like your series on No Man's Lands. Greetings from the Netherlands. So there you go, Martin Broders. That is good to go. We got 9250 from that, which is fantastic. Um, I also, if you take a look here at the, in terms of just field care, I sprayed these three fields with herbicide just to get them taken care of. Um, they have one le level, no, one level of fertilizer on them uh, from the cedar. I've actually loaded it up, and I also harvested um, our our grapes over here. I got our grapes harvested. We got 3,442 liters of grapes, so those are getting manufactured. Actually, they're already pretty much done. Yep, they're done. So those are getting turned into grapes. So there you go. I guess there's or raisins. Sorry. Um, so those are making it happen, I suppose. So we have. Uh, almost four pallets in here. We already have three pallets out there. So we need 12,500 liters of raisins. So probably two more years before we can actually complete that stupid cereal contract, which is ridiculous. I might actually, I'll be honest with you. So if we hop over here, um, taking a look at this guy right here, our, our orchards here, I may install course play and test out the orchard function on it. And the reason being, since we have workers now, the workers can do it anyways. And it does take a while for me to get all these guys taken care of in terms of everything I have to do for them. So, um, yeah, I think it'd be nice if I could see if a worker would do it, um, which was what course play would add on. Um, yeah, so I, I do want to do that. And I will be posting more videos about course play at some point as well. Uh, but anyhow, yeah. And uh what else we got going on? I think that's all of my notes here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get the soy harvested. We're going to sell it off to Larry. And what is Larry paying us? What is Larry paying us? Need some soybeans for pigs. He's just paying He's just paying straight out uh, market value for them. So let's take a look what we got for soy prices. Those look terrible. Yeah, 1236. So we'll wait till June probably to ship those over to Larry. Um, yeah, so we actually get a decent price for them. So we're basically just uh, selling those to Larry in June um there but uh yeah so we got martin broder's contract down let me actually just uh mark that on my sheet here so i know because i forgot about the oak contract before but um i think what we'll do um what do we got in terms of time left in the episode we're barely into it so let's go ahead and see about maybe doing some horses i think would be kind of fun um yeah this guy needs to move out of her way um yeah this is a bit of a pain obviously i can't lift it it's a hay bale we might just crash it out of the way with the truck or the well i guess we have the massey over here um you know, the one thing we need to actually buy, we have, where is it at? Where is our front loader attachment for this thing? I guess if I hop in and I have a little bit better view. Oh, it's over by the sawmill. That's right. It is over by the sawmill. Now, um, we have the money. I thought about maybe doing, well, I don't really want to buy a second front loader attachment, but, uh, what would be nice, we're probably going to need a build. Oh, that honey, look at that. We need to get that taken care of before I forget, too. Holy smokes, that is a lot of honey sitting out here. Let's make sure there's room so we keep generating some honey. My uh, walking speed there was really quick. Let's slow that back down. There we go. We probably could just stack these pretty high, quite honestly. You don't have to, I've been stacking them at that one specific rate. Now, if I just move this over here, it should keep filling that one pallet first. Let's get that out of the way. Actually... What is the price for honey right now? That's a good question. Because if it's good, we might as well sell it, you know. Uh, honey, 111 is a good price. Eh, it's not bad. Where is it the best? February? Yeah, we'll wait till February. We don't need to sell it right now. Um, but yeah, let's get this price stack maybe three or four high. Probably five, maybe. If we do five high, that would be $1,000 per... Well, if we actually stack them... Oh, gosh. Maybe with me stacking, we probably should go for maybe more than four high. Uh, yeah, maybe if I actually stack them better. 
Uh, let me slow myself even down even more. There we go. Beautiful. That's a fine stack of honey there. Let's make that a little bit better. Okay, yeah, and we probably don't need to go too crazy on it as well. Um, let's just do four high. I'll be fine. We don't need it. We don't really need the space that much. So let's stack this guy up here. Nice, beautiful. Stack this guy up here. It's like so. I think my actually my game volume. I apologize. I think it's turned way down. Um, so you guys probably aren't hearing very much. Yeah, that's uh, that's crank that back up. Where, geez, Louise. There we go. Okay. You guys probably actually can hear the tractor now a little bit in the background. Maybe not though. I guess my actually my desktop audio is also cranked way down. Let me turn that off so you guys actually might hear things. Wow, you guys can hear the game. It's like the game's real. Okay, there we go. Anyhow, honey's taken care of. Um, let's go ahead and drive over to let's drive over to the saw our little sawmill area and let's grab let's grab our front loader of attachment because what we do need to do um, and make sure let me make sure this. That's reset, because sometimes if I have that set somewhere where I was setting something up or some business up, that'll just have something pop in there. Uh, 1860 in leasing costs. Where did that come from? Oh, we might have just... What are we using right now? Oh, we must have just gone over an hour on our harvester. So we paid more of it off, which is really cool. Because uh, we go into here. I really wanted to buy that, but it's just ours. It really kind of... We get actually a better windrow than that, even though we have to go up and down twice, um, if that actually makes any sense. But... Okay, so, and actually, I wonder something here real quick, because maybe we could take, leave this, just this front loader attachment over here. And you, Now, obviously, this tractor is not strong enough to lift the pallets, but if we can hook this front loader attachment up to the Massey, then we could just have it over here with that set up, and then we could have one over at the other farm. Let's see. So far, this is not going great. Oh, I'll be darned. It will work. Okay. Yeah, we'll just leave. Nope. Attach that. We'll leave this setup over here. And actually, I can you know, turn the engine off in this guy. I don't know why I left it on. Okay. Yeah, we'll hook this up, and then we'll leave the, uh, the big bag handler hooked up to it. And what we'll do from there... Yeah, we'll do that, and we'll leave that hooked or excuse me, we'll leave the big bag handler over here. And then we'll just take this over to the store. We'll purchase ourselves a bale spike because that's what I want to be able to move my bales around. Um, Cause we don't, we don't own a bale spike, right? I'm not crazy about that. We don't own one of those front loader tools. No, we have several things, but bale spike is not on that list. So if we go into the store while we're driving here, we got on a front loader, nope, front loader tools. There we go. Um, yeah, bell spike, just something simple like that. Honestly, I like the stole one a little bit better. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and buy that. Yeah, 600 bucks, no big deal. Uh, we'll drive through here. Oh, actually, while we're in town, um, I need to throw some... We probably should throw some pallets of wood in there. Now, I have been turning on super strength to pull the, throw the uh, pallets of wood into the uh, manufacturing plant over here because we they're not our responsibility. We have to resell them to this guy, to Williams. Is it William, Williams Furniture? Yeah, Williams Furniture here. So let me just, just I'm gonna throw some of those in there. But yeah, what I've been doing is, because obviously I want the furniture to keep manufacturing and I can't lift these by hand. I just come in and I just turn super strength on real quick. Get those guys in there. Maybe, there we go. Oh, wow, and that's already full again. Okay, no big deal. Uh, okay, so the icon should go away. Then I'll just move all these guys off to the... So I probably don't need to go that fast. Move these guys out of the way. So that way it keeps spawning pallets and never gets full. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, only four. It only does like nine. Seems like that seems to be how many it makes. But yeah, anyhow, let's get... Uh, furniture is actually a really good way to make money if you do it. Not with planks, actually. I don't recommend doing it with planks. We're obviously doing it here with planks, but... That's okay. It doesn't matter for us. But yeah, let me get these sorted. Just over here real quick. Oop, my bad there. There we go. Alright, I'll do the rest of that later. That's fine. I'll just leave that alone. Let's hop back in our tractor. 
And we don't need super strength on anymore. Let's go ahead and head up to the store. Get a sip of coffee here. Fantastic. And then let's see if we can't get our horses set up. I would like to do that to get those rolling. I didn't install the mod I was going to install to have them automatically be ridden every day for a fee. I am going to install that mod um, because that's honestly, that's completely reasonable. Some people might argue, well, you're not really doing the work then for the horses. Like, well, yeah, we can hire someone to do the work for us. That's fine. That's how the real world works. And that's how, that's how the game should work too, in my opinion. Um, I think it should be an option where you can say hire a worker to do it just in the base game. I think that would be a really good feature. So that would be a feature I would like to see. We'll just drive this out like that. So if anyone pulls in front of us, we'll just spike them. But I'm just kidding. Obviously, there's no traffic on this map because it's uh, no man's land and all the stuff we had to place and build and set up and whatnot. But yeah, we'll take this back over. Our harvester is almost full, actually. So we probably should grab um, our grain trailer. And usually what I've been doing when I do the harvesting is I just uh, I just pull the harvester over to the silo and I don't even worry too much about it. But that would probably be better for us to go grab the uh, grab the uh, trailer and get that taken care of. But uh, yeah, so that's our plan. Today I would like to get horses. Probably was the thumbnail if I'm going to get horses today. Um, we can pay for the delivery if we want to. We, we might want to take a look at getting ourselves, which I should have maybe done that while we are just at the store. But that's okay. I'll put a gap in or a uh, break in and get all the stuff transported and whatnot here. Uh, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and try to get the horses set up and get them rolling. And then I would like to leave some room to maybe do some chickens next episode. I think chickens would be good to do. Um, add some chickens in. You guys seem pretty positive, at least the first few comments I saw about it, seem pretty positive in re regards to um, getting chickens on our farm um, since we have the extra barley. So I think that would be good use for the barley. We'll make a lot of money off the eggs as well. Um, chickens are a great source of income. I did them on my when I first was on here um, doing, uh, what was it? When I was playing on Elm Creek after FS22 first came out, they were a really great source of income. So um, that should work out really good for us. But let's get this over to our harvester. Now we can get him unloaded. Where is he? Oh, he's up at the top of the field, of course. I'm driving this way. That's okay. We'll make it work. Yeah, AI worker has a full grain tank. We'll get him unloaded. We can pick up that uh, hay bale, get it out of the way. But I think in this space right here, we should have room for chickens and horses, no problem. Um, I know I got storage styles and stuff set up there, but I think we still will have plenty of room in there um, to get that stuff set up the way we want to do it. So I'm excited about that. I think that'll be good for us to get that rolling. Get this parked under here. We'll just dump the trailer off and then he can keep harvesting and then we can come pick up the trailer later. There you go, over-engineered tractor. Beautiful, perfect, okay. Let's hop back over here, drive back down over here, and then we will get that set up. So um, we should have a few options available for us in terms of horses and stuff like that. Um, we don't need to do a ton of horses, to be completely honest. We just need to do um, a few, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but we have plenty of hay, for sure. We'll probably never have to make hay again. <laughs> it's going to seem like, at least, because we have so many bales of hay. Um, and I know I have them stored over in that shack. That's probably where I'll keep them. Where, where I will keep them stored, uh, but we'll, we'll kind of see. Zoom in here. Let's grab this bale. Beautiful. Yeah, 4,500 liters bales. I don't know how many they'll take. I mean, even if the horses take one every in-game day here for us, it's not going to be that many that many bales. So, okay, animals. I did think about doing like this one. That does eight. That one does two. Very small. This one does five. That one does 13. I went to 16, but those are getting expensive. 13. I also thought about doing like doing like one here and then maybe trying to see if I can't double it up right next to each other. I'm not sure if it'll let us do that or not, but this is probably plenty big for us. And then we actually might put it this direction is what I might actually do and then make that maybe a little bit wider over there. Okay, so right about that's the edge there. Let's move it over a little bit. And maybe up just a touch. Boom. Now, would it let us do that? Oh, wow, it would. Maybe we do that. I mean, I know that's two to take care of, but that's... Maybe we start with the eight. That's that start with the eight. We can always upgrade because we could do it, like, back there, and we could have some overlap here. But, yeah, that's just... That's probably a good idea to just start with the eight um, horses because eight horses is a fair amount. That only does five. Yeah, this is this is perfect. 
Um, and then what we can do, if we go to decorations, we got to put obviously fencing around this. The setup here. Um, does this not have to be any crazy fencing? I would like maybe like some like white fencing. Kind of like that really nice, yeah, I like that. That looks really good. Um, this might be a little pricey, but that's okay. We probably should have a gate right here as well. Um, yeah, let's get this. Oh, I want to let me do that. Come on. If I start it there, let's see. Glides another item. Yeah, it really doesn't want to go there. I feel like I can get a little closer than that, maybe. There we go. Okay, so yeah, probably about right like that. That would be good. And just a fence like right there. And then if I do a fence like to there and then put a gate on it. There should be a gate in here. I wish you could do, like, I wish the, I don't know. I wish it was easier to do them, but that would, yeah, that's perfect right there. Okay, beautiful. There's the gate. There's probably a wider one. Do I want the wider one? No, I actually kind of do want the wider one. Yeah, well, no, 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 no. Sell the, no, I want that gate gone. No, no. All right, well, we might not be able to grab that gate off of there. All right, that's fine. Small gate it is. Let's go back to our fencing and then we'll go out to the edge there and actually you know, no we don't need to go straight out to the edge I'm okay with having some grass kind of as a buffer for us kind of make things a little bit simple now it is is that at an odd angle maybe it's just my imagination here but I want that even with the road there so we'll do that maybe just looking down on it that's probably the easiest way to make it look Mostly good here. There we go. Okay. And then if we hop out of there, we can access the horses. Beautiful. It's $300 to transport them, which eight times three, that's definitely going to cut into our profits a little bit. So we'll do that. But we can go over here and turn off that part of it. So yeah, okay. Do that. Let's go down to our... Now we don't see them until we put any animals in there. But yeah, so we can get some hay and stuff in there. Um, in terms of what we're going to use to transport, um, let's see here. Um, I'll buy this with you guys in and then we'll take a look from there. So that does... Not horses. Not horses. Not horses. We might have to use one of these. Two horses at a time. It's not the end of the world. 16. That one does... That's just part of the chicken transport mod. It doesn't really matter. Um... Oh, that's for maybe chicken, chicken mat? I don't know. That would be the one we buy. Um, is there anything bigger that does more horses? Probably. That does only two horses still. That does nine horses? Good gravy. That would actually be great, though. And that's what? 24,000 versus 16,000. So 8,000 more, and we can do them all at once. That's probably worth it. <laughs> um, these guys, anything special? Six horses? No, that's the one we want right there. Um, yeah, we'll do, we'll do, we're going to go ahead and do that one. Now, in terms of leased items, oh, we have three leases, which is our limit. Um, how much are these to buy? Um, those are far more expensive than that trailer is going to be. So we will go back here and we will purchase um, this Joskin trailer right here. Um, I don't think we need to adjust anything. Um, let's do, yeah, low attacks are probably best. Now we don't need a wide fender. Wheel set is $4,500 more. Oh, my goodness. That's kind of a little bit of a... Ooh, wait a second. BKT is only $1,200 more. Anything cheaper? Nope, BKTs. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, that's a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but that's okay. We'll buy that. That'll be down at the store for us. I'm going to go pick up some horses, and then I'll bring you guys back in when we're putting them in here. All right, our horses are in. I got all paints because I think they are one of the coolest and prettiest horses. So there we go. Um, and we need to paint this a little bit. Now, <laughs> one thing as well. So... Uh, someone uh, who is a subscriber to the channel uh, named Jaden um, has wanted me to do horses for a very long time. So, Jaden, here are your horses, my friend. We finally got them. I told you I'd do them eventually. I did say that, but we finally got them for you. So there you go. Hopefully you're happy with that. And because you've been asking for horses, I will probably name the title of the episode Jaden's Horses or something like that. And in addition to that, um, this horse, whatever we had two embers. They're both the same name. So this horse... Whatever you want it to be named, Jaden, you just let me know down in the comments. You name that horse. That is your horse right there. 
we'll take good care of it. It'll be good to go. Um, anyhow, it'll be a base food in hay. So base food can either be the oats or the sorghum. Um, now, I did, uh, I think it was a comment from John Deere, um, or Morgan the John Deere man, and he said that it's not good for horses to have sorghum too much, so we should try to feed them oats. Um, thank goodness it's a game. <laughs> I, I do believe that you are probably accurate, but we will probably just feed them uh, whatever's easiest to do, and I think that sorghum will be easiest long term. Now, this should take bales, theoretically. Yep, it did. Okay, good. Now, how much did that do? Oh, look at that. That did pretty good. So probably only one hay bale there. Um, and then I'll get them some oats, but uh, yeah. And then also, obviously, some water. They're going to need some water, but we have our little water trailer over there, so I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, I'll... anyhow, just an update. Let's take a look at our horses. You can see we obviously bought them for 500 apiece, and then they were not worth that much um, when we got them. But now they're starting to go up in value. Um, I'm still waiting on a comment from Jaden to name the horse. I haven't checked my comments, though, to be fair, in a few days here. So she could have made a comment, but we'll name that eventually. Otherwise, we'll just leave it as that. It'll be fine. <laughs> Anyhow, our horses are going up in value, which is great. And they don't really use uh, hardly any food, to be honest with you guys. Um, yeah, they don't use barely any of this food. And this is a combination of both those. So I got to be careful not to top either one of those out. But yeah, they use hardly any food. We have a ton of oats left. Yeah, a ton of oats left. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the, the soy harvest, we've got 20,000 liters. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. We're going to wait for obviously 1236, which hopefully will come here in June, somewhere around $1,200 per thousand liters. And we'll sell that off uh, just as cash. Or yeah, that's for Larry. It's for Larry. So I mean, for Larry's pigs. That's right. It's all coming back to me now. Um, I also sold silage for $86,000. We sold a ton of silage. Uh, so everything's going really good for us. Um, yeah, we're getting stuff done. We have a lot of canola growing right now. You can see if we go back up to here, uh, we have canola growing in all these fields, I believe, if that's the case. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, all those are canola fields. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what we should plant here this year. Um, it is March, beginning of March here. So I'll kind of think about what we should plant. I mean... Honestly, I'm trying to think what we have for contracts. Let me pull up our contracts real quick, because honestly, it's kind of up to that what we end up doing here. Um, but I don't think we have a lot of uh, really big contracts or anything in terms of that um, running for us. So let me see what we got going on here. Um, in terms of contracts, oh, if I can get my mouse, see what I want it to do. Uh, there we go. Okay, yeah. so in terms of contracts, I'm looking down the list here. Yeah, I don't see anything crazy on here that we need to get done. Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything. We need Larry needs again those soybeans for his pigs, so that'll get done. Um, and then Hostander needs eighty-two thousand liters of canola, but I don't have anything else we necessarily need to grow. Uh, so what we might do, we may plant some uh, sorghum. What was I going to do? We wanted to get some chickens rolling at some point. We were talking about that, so let's talk about that for a second here. Uh, we have some barley to feed them, which I think is going to be plenty fine. But I think for feeding the horse, I think sorghum is going to be cheaper. So maybe what we'll do is we'll plant some sorghum in that field. Um, which let's go to here. Sorghum can be planted. Where are we at here? Sorghum um, in April. So in April, I will go ahead and plant sorghum in this field right here. I think that'll be good for us. And obviously, I'll keep doing all of our different stuff that we need to get done around the farm and get that sort of stuff rolling. But today, I would like to get some chickens and then uh, hopefully some new businesses may pop up today. That would be good if we can add some more stuff in. Um, but yeah, so a lot of good mods actually came out for stuff that I'd like to kind of role play into the town. So I'm kind of excited about that. But yeah, as far as everything goes, everything is going well. It's just on the move, getting stuff done. But um, yeah, you guys know how it goes sometimes. But yeah, sorry it's been so long since I posted anything. But in the meantime, I'll just keep taking care of stuff that needs to get taken care of. And um, we'll get some sorghum planted over on that field and everything else. But I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, welcome back in, everyone. So it is now June, the second part of June to be more specific, and it is a good time for us to sell these bad boys here because 1252 at that one, which I don't even know. It's got to be one of my strangely named shops that wouldn't let me put more than three letters in there. Yeah, right there. Okay, so we're, we'll take it over there to sell, um, and they'll get it shipped over to Larry for his pigs. So, Larry, we got some soybeans coming out for your pigs, my friend. Um, in the meantime, a couple things I got done. I got um, sorghum planted in this field. I also you know, got it all fertilized, everything like that. Um, got it weeded. The one thing I noticed that I totally missed, and it was my bad. Um, I also harvested the grass and got us a bunch of bales off of there because it was ready. Uh, but no, the one thing I missed was I didn't realize these two fields needed lime. So the harvest in those two canola fields isn't going to be as good as it could be, but everything's fine. Took care of the grapes and did all that sort of stuff. But that's pretty much what I did. Just took care of the fields. Um, after we get this delivered, honestly, the next thing that's going to happen is going to be the canola harvest. So 
what I'll probably do is do a time lapse of that. I think that would probably be a good call there. Um, yeah, I think just throwing a time lapse of it. I don't know what I did for a time lapse last episode because it's been too long since I posted that one, darn it. But uh, yeah, and then also in July, I think the grass will be ready again to be harvested. So I'll keep you guys in while we go sell the soy off just because we'll be making some good money doing that. Uh, but yeah, so everything's going well. And then past that, we will have some stuff added into the town, which would be good to have that going. Um, I'm not sure exactly what business I'm going to add in today. There's a business I really want to add in, but we'll see kind of how that's going to go. And that's all. Oh, let's check out my horses. Yeah, they're starting to get a little low on food, so I probably need to top them up. But 1100 bucks. they're slowly going up. We're not going to make a lot of money off the horses. Um, they're not going to be a big money maker, to be honest. Honestly, right now, I mean, obviously, $600 a horse right now. So, what, one, two, three, four, maybe five grand total so far is the profit. And we put a little bit of food, obviously, into them and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so we're not going to make a ton. The thumbnail might be chickens today, because I think I want to add chickens in. I think chickens would be a really good thing for us to add in, to be completely honest. So I'll kind of have to, add, I think that's what we're going to have to do. I think that's what we'll have to do. Um, because we do have, oh no, oh no. Oh no, it's just the worst. Oh goodness, we would have had to pick all that up. Thank goodness that's not how this game works. All right, we're going to do this. And then I'm going to say we had to pay, obviously, a tow bill for that. So there we go. We paid a $500 tow bill. And they, well, they didn't really have to tow us, but they said to flip us back over and let's turn our super strength back off. Oh, nope. Don't disconnect it. Oh, goodness. I couldn't believe I did that. Oh, I was doing so good with my driving, but it is what it is, I suppose. But uh, yeah, so the horses are doing good. I mean, I'm pretty happy with us doing horses, and I think that they've been uh, a good thing for us to do. So I've. Maybe I've been happy with that. Oh, wow. This thing's just all over the road now. Might just be me, though. But, uh, yeah, so we'll get these guys sold off. I think we'll make, obviously, we'll make some good money off of this. So, probably about around 24, 25,000, something like that, which would be good. Minus, of course, the 500 I just wasted doing that. But that's okay. Our money is still going up and it's doing good. And, I mean, I'm thinking about either expanding, getting some more land, or, I mean, honestly, the next thing we got to purchase is a new tractor. We, we got to replace this tractor. This thing is just. This road is this road is rough, <laughs> but this thing is uh, it's definitely seen some better days. That's for sure. I kind of like this little alley setup back here, kind of how the shops are set up. I really like this. This is a nifty way. I'm glad I did it this way. As much as I love the town, we had in No Man's Land season one and two. I'm gonna be pretty excited to have this one built up just the way I want it as well. So pretty happy with that. Let's see how much we get from the soybeans here. Twelve fifty. That was a pretty good price. There we go. Twenty five four six five. I will take that any day of the week. But there you guys go. I think the next thing you'll see is probably going to be a time lapse of uh, the canola harvest. So I'll see you guys after all the canola is good to go.
possible fans letting everyone know not to trespass but you're bound to break down bound to lose bound to get knocked right out of your boots when i use my witchcraft all right so the canola is harvested and it's been a couple months so a couple things i want to note if we go in here animals are slowly gaining value they need a little bit of food actually right now but i mean otherwise they're doing really pretty good um, then the other things in terms of how much canola we got 46,000 liters, which if you remember we need 56,000 So we're still gonna have to do another round of canola, which is fine But I've got a plan for that. So if you look at our, our fields here, obviously we got grass growing and I also did another harvest of bales So if you look Let's actually just go take a look. We have a ton of Silage bales so far. This is just what's off of and there's some on the trailer over there, but this is just what's off of uh uh, two cuts so far and then how's honey doing honey's doing pretty good I emptied it a little bit ago but let's go ahead and get this guy out of here while we're here a little bit further there we go get this one. Oh, oh there we go perfect okay yes yeah, we have a lot of honey which is great as well uh, but yeah so a lot of silage bales um, and my plan, we'll let that save here. Um, obviously, grass can keep going on here. Our um, sorghum is ready to harvest, which means if we have, since we're going to get plenty of sorghum off of that, what I would like to do is take our oats, put them into our factory here to make oatmeal, since oatmeal will increase their value a little bit. So I'd like to do that. Um, and then we can sell the oatmeal off because that'll be a good way to make some extra cash there. So I think we might as well do that since we have this facility up and running. Um, so yeah, I would like to do that. And then if we go back up here, I think what we'll do is do canola in these two fields just to be safe. Um, if we have, because we only need actually 10,000 more, we'll actually get plenty off of this field. Let's just do this field. We'll do canola in this big field here. Um, and then I did give, um, it was a Hassaner who were selling all this stuff to. I did give, I gave Hassaner a call and he said if we had any extra, he'd also buy it from us. He said he just needed to get at least 82,000 liters. So he'll still buy it from us and he's buying it at a rate of, 906 per thousand liters because he's paying us a decent price above um yeah so he's paying us a premium price for it so which also means we can sell off uh this stuff immediately we don't have to worry about what the uh, prices are right now because he's buying it at a flat rate um at a premium price so we can get that sold off to him as soon as possible but yeah then again the oats are going to go into the factory because we'll have sorghum to feed the horses and uh yeah that'll be that and then in addition to that we're going to plant barley in these two fields just to make sure we have enough, uh, just because we're right now we're in a good spot to be able to do another uh, kind of winter crop, if you will. So I think we'll do barley in these two fields uh, just to make sure we have enough for our chickens, which right now, I mean, we probably have plenty uh, to deal with the chickens for a while, but they're going to cook through that, I think, faster and honestly, a lot faster than the horses are going to cook through their feed. So I want to make sure they're set to go. So that's what we're going to do. But as of right now, um, I have over engineered tractor here. We're going to get him set up harvesting um, our field of sorghum over here. So we're going to grab that. But another thing, our money's gone down a little bit. I bought this guy right here. This thing has 39 point something hours on it. It has, oh gosh, can't remember how much horsepower. It has a decent amount of horsepower. It was on sale, of course. Um, yeah, 460 horsepower truck. It's I mean, only worth that there. But um, I bought it for 24 grand out of here at 50% or so off. So a screaming deal for a truck. I know we don't have anything I can haul yet. But now we can keep an eye out for a trailer on sale um, because we have the truck now, which is awesome. And I know that's quite a few hours, quite honestly, for that because we'd probably want to start selling stuff at around 100 hours. That's why our uh, Massey Ferguson is way overdue. But at the same time, the, the benefit is we're not really going to have to drive this a lot. It's not like it's going to do field work or anything. It's just going to be to transport stuff to town to sell and transport big stuff around. So I'm happy about that. But anyhow, let's hop in our harvester. We'll get it out to the field for over-engineered tractor so we can start working on harvesting while we set up some chickens. So that's our plan. We're going to set up some chickens. And then I got a couple new businesses that I haven't quite added into the town yet. So I need to do that. I actually meant to do that before I started recording here, but I forgot. Making sure everything else is ready. But yeah, I'll take a little break and add those guys in and then we'll go take a look at them. Um, I also limed all the fields. As you can see, it took a bunch of lime. I think I had to buy like almost $4,000 worth of lime from the store, which is, I mean, it's fine. We had to get it done, so... I'm not too worried about it, but uh, yeah, so that's awesome. And then what we are gonna do as well, after he's done with this, we need to get, um, our canola can get planted right now and then our barley will get planted in September. So we are gonna get ready to wrap up the episode probably today in game. Uh, but yeah, we'll get this going and then I wanna get our chickens set up. So we'll work on that with you guys in and then we'll kinda see, take a look at what we wanna do there. All right, we should be doing good. There we go, okay. 
Sorghum is getting harvested. That is good news. And also the good thing about sorghum too is if we really need to, if we just keep focusing on sorghum, we can always feed it to our chickens if possible if we run out of barley for whatever reason. Though I don't foresee that being an issue ever. Uh, but there we go. Okay, let's hop back over. We'll just hop in that guy, get out. Um, I'm really, honestly, I'm strongly considering selling this guy. I'm, I mean, if we have another worker though, we could use it. So we'll hold on it. Cause honestly, we're not gonna get a lot for it. It's just, just taking up space. I mean, the header, two grand there. Uh, the corn header, it's the only horn header we have to be fair, which is three grand, so that's about five grand so far, and then 2,500, so maybe like seven grand total for the whole setup, so I mean, we might as well just hold on to it. It doesn't honestly make a lot of sense to sell it, and I don't actually know how much we're going to get for our Massey. Yeah, not a lot of money, but we need to get a new tractor. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think for a tractor we should get. I have been looking at and really thinking about buying... Um, this guy right here. Now it says 276, but for whatever reason, if you go in here, the biggest engine is 249. I went through all the options. I didn't see a 276 in here. I think it just goes up to, oh, no, there we go. Let's see, 276, it says, there it goes, 276. 55 grand for the 276. We don't actually really need that, to be honest. What I would probably get, I wouldn't keep going through these, um, 155. 207 is pretty good. 234 is actually really good. 15, 249 for 15. That's probably what we go with because 250 is a lot of horsepower. And then obviously I want to get GPS because this is going to run our mowers and stuff. Um, we need, we don't need a front loader, but does this have a front attacher? It's got to be able to have that. Yeah, front attacher, 2,500 bucks. So this configuration, 120 grand uh, for this. This is a 250 horsepower brand spanking new tractor for us. Honestly, this has been a better deal than a lot of the stuff that's been coming on sale. I haven't seen any tractors that have been coming on sale. Uh, it's a little bit older of a tractor, but I think for our farm, it's perfect. Obviously, can't afford it just yet, but we, honestly, based on how much we sold worth of silage last year, we'll probably get another $80,000 off of our silage harvest this year. Plus, we haven't even sold that canola yet or any of that, which I actually might sell that off camera and then go that route. But uh, we have a lot of different options here, which is super cool. But uh, yeah, let's work on getting our, our chicken set up and good to go here. Okay, so, yeah, I think we'll do them, we'll do them right in here. We'll do them right in here. Now, I do think I might, I thought about the horses, because we can do, we can do more horses if we wanted to. Uh, that's fenceless, that's, that's a big one, though. That's 16, I might, at some point, we might just upgrade the horses here, and just put them in, like, right there. I know that scoots them down a little bit, but we might end up upgrading them. It's, oh, that's 100 grand, though. That's that's a little bit ridiculous. Never mind, we're not doing that. That's crazy. But we could do this even pretty close to almost entirely overlapping, and then have just a little bit of a gap here. The problem is I don't think this is super flat up through here. You can see that kind of goes up a little bit. But let's talk about chickens. That's what we're really here about. So six grand starting out. We have 30. That's not too bad. Um, this one does 360, which this is not a bad little chicken coop for 360. Um, this one's a little bit more expensive, but quite honestly, I like the look of this one a lot better. Uh, so three, so that's 360 as well. That's another just a version of it. We'd probably go with the red one. It kind of fits our very American farm. That's yeah. And then we're kind of getting in some really expensive one. The free range one's a 720, but it's 63 grand. So I think this is the one we're going to go with here. Um, yeah, I, I really like this building here. I think we'll go with this one. Uh, the problem is how do we want to put it in now? I honestly I to see all that trailers right there I might leave that kind of as just a little bit of a, a, a Pathway through there and kind of put this in right here I think that might be the way to go about it And that way we can park that trailer in there if we want to have like a little alley in between if we do that Place it, it didn't mess up with our landscaping too much. Let's get um, this trailer pulled out of there that uh, livestock trailer I think we can pull it with this not that I necessarily want to haul a lot of stuff with this uh, truck, especially using that, but we can, I think, pull that out of the way. Now, chickens, I think I have a mod installed that allows me to transport chickens. Um, and I think our thing will transport chickens. No, it will not. Okay. Now, if we buy a trailer that can transport chickens, that's one thing I do want to check real quick. Is that, is that actually something? Yeah, chicken transport is something I have installed. The problem is I don't think it's going to be worth it. Um, none of these are showing chickens on them. 
I don't know what I'm... Maybe I'm missing something here. Chicken transport. See, none of these things are showing chickens. So, I don't know. I could be doing something completely wrong. You guys are probably well aware of it. But, yeah, we'll just have to have them transported here. That's okay. That's not a big deal. It's not going to cost us a lot. Can I not pick this trailer up? I'm sure it can. Oh, it can't. I'll be darned. Okay. Well, let's get this out of the way. We're going to move this guy over here. And then we need to get a tractor, which thankfully our tractor is not being used right now. Grab a sip of coffee. Ah, fantastic. Okay. Let's get this moved now for real. Yeah, I think this will work out pretty good. This is going to be a cool little area we're going to have set up here. We're going to make some good money off our chickens. Um, and I actually have a subscriber contract related to chicken eggs specifically. Um, and I'll go over that one real quick after we get this moved out of the way. We'll leave this grass here because what I want to do, I actually think I want this to be a little gravel, little gravel pit through here. Kind of, oh, Halloween DLC. What in the world is this? Wow, I don't even remember installing this. I probably did install it, obviously. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know you could have it something programmed to be in its own uh, category like that. I didn't know that was a possibility, but that is cool. Okay, yeah, so I think... Yeah, I like that. Yeah, this will just be gravel through here. I like that. I honestly like gravel a lot better than the dirt, but um, I think uh, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. This just fits with our farm the way it's all set up right now. Yeah, right there. So just kind of a little gravel path through here. Just a place. Basically, all this is is just a parking spot for that trailer. And we'll just run it all the way out to the road. There we go. And then we can just pull this back around in there. And that's just going to be where this guy is going to park. Our AI worker is almost filled. Well, over-engineered tractor, I guess I should say, is almost full of grain. But I'll deal with that in a second after I we get our chicken set up. Yeah, there we go. Plenty wide for that. We can dump that trailer off there. We can even back one on the other side and go that route. We'll just turn this guy off here. He can sit there for a second. Now, in terms of around the chicken pen, let's do a little bit more landscaping here. Um, obviously, we have dirt through here. I would like to have this kind of connect back into there. I actually don't know if I want to make this all dirt, to be honest. Yeah, it looks kind of weird with that grass in there. I think we'll just have to do it. But yeah, just like that. That looks good. And this is our animal pen setup. And this, honestly, it needs to be a little wider. I always drive on that grass anyway, so it might as well just be a touch wider. Because all of our equipment is a little touch, is a touch wider. This can be a touch wider through here. Same with around here. Because all of our equipment drives on that anyways. But there we go. And then this just actually probably can just be dirt around there. One of the things we need to do soon, and I can't believe I haven't done it yet, is we need to get a new house. This thing is just ridiculous. <laughs> I actually think, I don't know if I'll park it. Or I'll put that park it. I'll put the house up here or not. Um, I do like these trees here. They're a good separator. I don't want to get rid of those trees. I like them. Um, but we also could potentially put the house like out here, maybe closer to the road and buy this plot of land. We might do that. Um, and then yeah, that might just be something we do, and then we can use some of it for farming. But it just kind of makes sense to have our house further away from all of this, potentially. But yeah, okay, anyhow, I'm just kind of going off the deep end here, just uh, talking about different stuff. So let's put some chickens in here. We don't need roosters. They are just completely, um, yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Now, we can wait time. We don't need to get eggs right away. So we're going to buy the cheaper chickens, and then we're going to raise them up here. Um, so we're going to go to 60. We're going to buy... Now that's a third of them. And then we'll do we'll do actually this. Okay, there we go. Because how, how much are we paying for each of those? Yeah, three okay, 360 bucks to put some chickens in there. I'm not worried about it. Matter of fact, actually, that's just I'm not I know this is gonna stop them from reproducing, but the, you don't make hardly any cash from reproducing. It's just kind of a headache. So let's just get 360 chickens. We'll raise them up right, and then we will make them just kind of produce eggs for us. We'll not make them, I mean they're just gonna do it, but um yeah. What in the world has this guy got going on here? Wow. Well, I don't know how he got in there, but we will. 
over-engineer tractor and I need to have a sit down and talk about how to harvest a field, I guess. <laughs> I'm just messing. Obviously, it was an over-engineered tractor doing it. But uh, that is his character in here. Okay, so let's take a look at what the, the animals need. They just need, um, yeah, they just need grain, which is super easy. Chickens are the easiest of the easy. Yeah, easy peasy there. So, um, and there is a mod that allows you to kind of pick their eggs up and get them distributed somewhere, but I think we'll be fine with picking them up ourselves for a while. So yeah, there we go. We got chickens, ladies and gentlemen. We got chickens. That's awesome. I will get them fed off camera, and then I'll bring you guys back in when we have a couple new businesses to go check out in town, and probably after the sorghum harvest is done. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, welcome back, everyone. So businesses are out of them. We're going to go take a look at them, and we'll talk about a few things on the way into town. So, uh, first off, we got our sorghum harvested. Actually, the tractor's out. We need to get that in there. How much do we have in here? Just at least I can tell you guys. 12, 4, 7, 3, and uh, 24. So, we got like 36,000, which is really good off of one field, actually. So, that's going to last us a while. Uh, so, I'm pretty happy about that. And then, uh, over-engineering tractor is currently working on planting that field. And he's actually almost done planting that field with canola. Our last canola field, hopefully, for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we might as well drive this back over here. Well, you know what? We have the episode time. We are way over anyway, so let's just hop in here and just keep going about our business. Oh, by the way, the chickens. So as per tradition on the Farmer Gap channel, the chickens are Jeff's chickens. Um, <laughs> if you don't know what that's all about, it's okay. Uh, Jeff has been, Jeff Cardinal has been a follower of the channel for a very long time since before. He's probably like subscriber 50 or 100 or something, like somewhere in there, like he's been following for a long time. So the chickens are always known as Jeff's chickens. So if you see that on the thumbnail, don't be surprised by that. Uh, it's very, just like it was Jaden's horses, this is Jeff's chicken. So it's just, that's just the way it is. Uh, but yeah, so that's awesome. And then, oh, the egg contract, of course. Let me read that off uh, before I forget. Gosh darn it, my mouse. I lose my mouse on all my, my screens. Uh, here we are, okay. Okay, okay. Where are we at? Where did this contract go? Uh, here we go. It's uh, from Spirit Fang. Says I, I got an excellent, excellent, of course, very punny proposition for you. I'll pay you 10% above the market value for every thousand liters of eggs. Uh, they'll be for my farmer's market, and because I like scrambled eggs, they'll be for me as well. Uh, he has that little egg tent in there, so we'll take them to there and get them 10% above the highest market value, which would be pretty cool. So we're already getting a good deal on our eggs. Oh, and actually, yeah, we'll go this way first. Um, now we have two new businesses in town. Um, there's some, they just built this new office building here, um, a new kind of commercial building here. Um, and by them, I mean me, of course, but <laughs> regardless, uh, this is added in. But the newest business is in this one here on the very end. I believe they also live upstairs. But this is TBL Homes. Um, this is courtesy of, if I go over to, uh, let me go to my businesses here. Okay, here we go. Garrett lies to me, left a comment. He said, what's up, Farmer Cop? I've been enjoying your content for a while. I'm a cop in Alabama and have been for three years. I've been in law enforcement for nearly seven years total, and I'm currently in the process of getting my real estate license as well. I'd love to bring my estate business, TBL's home team, to no man's land. With the real estate market the way it is, some home and landowners want to sell quickly and will offer their land at discounted rates based on how long they're on the market. I can send you weekly newsletter letters or when you're a good deal on land is available with special deals. Some of my clients could also use some of your services, landscaping, grass, kind of fields him to increase the value of their property. Love to be a part of your series. So awesome, Garrett. That is fantastic. Welcome to No Man's Land, my friend. It's happy to have you here. Uh, but there's Garrett's uh, TBL Homes uh, place there. And Garrett, yeah, if you get any deals on land, you let me know. I will take a look at those. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be who we do all of our real estate business through now. If we need to buy more land, we'll come talk to Garrett up here, which is awesome. I need to finish going through and getting all the signs set up for all the different businesses. But regardless of that, we'll head down this away. I'm surprised some of, the, some of these businesses might end up moving just because they're in really prime prime real estate area. And Garrett, of course, could help them with that. But uh, yeah, then we go down here. We have another factory in the district down here. And actually, I think I added this in and you guys probably already saw it, but I didn't mention what it was about. So Super Sabbath left a comment. And he said, I live out in, in the country in Southern Georgia. I'd love to have a cotton gin in your, in your gameplay. This place to take your harvested cotton to have it clean and the seeds separate from the fluff. Well, the closest thing to a cotton gin we have is probably the spinnery. So we have a spinnery here. And this is Sabbath's gin. So Sabbath's not not to be confused with the alcohol form of that, but the cotton gin, I can only put limited stuff on this. Do some uh, forestry work today. I'm not gonna do a ton of it on camera, but we're gonna make a lot of money doing it. So I wanna talk about that a little bit. Um, we have a lot of silage bales out here ready to sell and the silage is ready to harvest again. It is uh, October 1 right now. 
Um, a couple other things to note here. So first off, our oatmeal is cooking along just fine. Got, I put all the oats in there last episode, but I forgot to mention it. I also sold a bunch of canola last episode. That's why the money jumped up, but I totally forgot to mention it, so I apologize. Um, but yeah, I also bought this guy right here. Now, I know we don't really need another tractor, but there's a couple things I like about this. One, I can switch between narrows and wides without any charge. Um, so basically, it came with both. Um, it doesn't have a front three point, which I'm not a big fan of, but I can put a weight on there for a little bit extra cash if I wanted to. It was 136 horsepower and it was $22,000 and only has 16.2 hours on it right now. I had 15 something money, so I already used it a little bit. But um, the reason being, obviously we're trying to phase out our old Massey Ferguson right here. So since that guy has a little bit more kick than the Ford does, because if you look at our tractors here, medium tractors, this guy has 175, so it's our best for best. So small tractors, this guy's 136, a little bit more kick than this guy. So this guy actually might be able to pull Oh, where is it at? Our baler. This guy right here. What is this? 150. So be pushing it a little bit, but it might actually be able to pull that. So we'll try that. Uh, but yeah, so ideally, until we can, I mean, the main thing we need this for right now is because of its size and its horsepower is we need it to be able to do the mowing so it can do the mowing for us. But I think our other tractors can handle a lot of the other jobs, which is going to be very helpful for us. So we need to be able to get that going. And I think that's going to, that's going to help us quite a bit with that. Um, we also harvested the grapes. So I did that off camera um off of the field over here so we got 3,400 and some odd grapes or 400 liters of grapes and they went all straight into our production in here for raisins which actually i could hide the inactive which actually i didn't know that was a feature i don't even know what mod that's part of or anything like that but uh yeah view all sorry there we go but yeah so that's what's going on um yeah any wood we harvest is going to go in here today because we're going to want to make some more planks and then sell them to the furniture factory most likely is what we're going to do so that's what we're going to get done. I think that's a pretty good way to go. Now, I think actually we could do some, we could do furniture. I know we might, I don't know, just, I think we'll just do planks because furniture, it's hard for me to say that we as a small farm are going to be building furniture in that little shack over there. So I think that we'll just keep it to planks. I think we could just do that to be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit easier on it. So that's the plan. Um, we're going to drive into town because, well, I got a call from the construction company that we delivered some stuff to. Remember, we gave them some bales, which I was a little worried because I was like, hopefully the bales were okay. Um, but he assured me they were fine. He just had a question for me. So uh, we're going to head up there and talk to him. Another thing I want to mention, if you guys are just new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe down below. I normally mention this at the very end, but I'm not very good about doing it during the video. Um, another thing I want to mention, if you guys are going to buy any DLC for the game or the game itself, down below in the description, use the links down there. It helps us out a ton. Um, so yeah, so the channel, or it helps the channel out a ton if you use those links to purchase it. Only for PC it works, unfortunately, but it helps the channel out. We're trying to get to um, gold status, so we need to sell as many copies of the DLCs and games and stuff like that. And if you want to win a copy of the game, stop in the live springs. I usually give away two to three DLCs or platinum expansions or whatever, whatever have you. Oh, look at this. Nice little car dealer. That is interesting. We'll have to see who owns that later, but regardless. Um, yeah, sorry, on my tangent. Yeah, and it doesn't cost you anything extra to do that. Uh, let's stop in here. It's these guys that are in here. Uh, let me go talk to him here in just a second. So, but uh, yeah, so make sure you guys do that in terms of anything else. And if you guys want some merch, farmercop.com, you guys can check that out. There's some different stuff on there and a couple of limited edition items that will only be on there until the end of October. But yeah, go check it out. All right, I'm going to go talk to the guy in here. Okay, so he actually had uh, basically kind of a contract for us. Um, I know our forestry stuff is ready to go, so we'll get that done today. And I'll show you those trees here in a second. But uh, yeah, so he had kind of a contract for us, which... Uh, he's not going to pay us for, but we get to keep the trees. So we're going to do some forestry work. So that he showed me on a map. So they have a highway that's going to go this way. He said he's going to come out here and place some markers. And then just right through here, just a few of the trees in here. Not this whole area, but just a few of them. So not very many. We just got to take a couple of them out. Um, and he said we can just keep the wood, which would be fantastic. We'll make some good money off of that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. Um, and that'll be great for us, I think. So, yeah, I told him we'd get that done. He said he's going to have them marked and then... Uh, uh, by November, he should, we should be having them marked and be able to get out there. And he said next year, hopefully in the spring, they're going to start some road work. That's their plan. They're going to try to put the highway in. Uh, they've been working on paving roads in town and stuff like that. So they've been busy, but they're trying to get that done. And then lastly, we have another business in here I want to add and talk to you guys about. So this is a vet clinic. We finally have a vet clinic. So there's a little cars. I'll walk around it. And we'll talk about it here for a bit. And then I'll talk about who is responsible for this. Um, so a little door here, put a little decorative thing there, I like it. Uh, but this thing is pretty cool. It's by TFSG or TFS Croup. I'm modding. Gosh, I can't talk. It's all over. There's some cool features. 
come in here you got some dogs barking and an alligator which is just kind of funny uh and then if we go this way kind of comes out to this garage where we got a cow we got uh this right here so we got i think this is just a big i think this is a big x-ray room i think so based on what's going on here the little examination table so it's pretty cool i also added of course some extra detail to it around the side and stuff like that we got of course some little they're of course not facing the right direction but that's it is what it is um open the gate here little loading ramp there and then back here just some decoratives and some details and different stuff around that you'd you know expect to see around the area and stuff like that a little electrical box kind of the employee entrance we'll close that or the back entrance there some different trucks and stuff they got a lot of vans out here so i kind of set this back building up this kind of shop area so it kind of would look like it was part of the main building but it's a different building entirely there's nothing in here or anything like that but i just wanted because obviously the bet place would be a little bit bigger probably than that and this little shack right here with all their little vets, so they do a lot of call outs and stuff like that. Um, and then over here, they have a little yard tractor, I don't know, a water truck to haul water for the animals. I know they look a little bit run down, but let's pretend like they're brand new or whatever. I don't know, it doesn't matter. A um, little truck here for deliveries or bigger jobs and then some other tools and stuff. And then a few different pens. I just thought, I don't know why I put that up there to be honest with you, but it's there. <laughs> and then just a few other little pens and animal pens and stuff around the back. And then back here, a little area for barbecuing. So the employees can do a little barbecuing um and yeah well that one's in the right direction so the pumpkins all look great out here well all these ones aren't great they're not really facing the right direction but yeah that'll teach me to put stuff in and this obviously opens up to be able to get your cow in and out and this actually technically speaking is a production you input one cow and get a cow out it's it's so funny uh yeah it's just it is entertaining but uh yeah so that's their bet clinic which i think is pretty sweet now let me get um over to my little sheet here, which is gonna have um, all the businesses that this is gonna talk about. So a lot of people thought we should get a vet clinic. There's a lot of people that wanna be involved in that. Um, so Mark uh, PF, PFAU, or FAU, it's spelled P-F-A-U, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry, Mark. But Mark has been around the channel for a long time. And he said, hey, I've seen a great episode. You might add a large animal or small and small veterinary clinic to the town for your animals. So fantastic, I thought that'd be a good idea. Then we have several other people that made comments about it. Um, that wanted to join here. So what the kind of the role play aspect is, these are a group of vets in the area that kind of decided to band together and go together in on this big vet clinic here that they got set up. So they invested in this thing together. Um, they're all partners in it. And the way it's kind of going is they can do vet work in all the surrounding areas. And this is kind of a good central area. So they still go out and do house calls and emergency calls and stuff like that. But this just seemed like a good area for them to settle down. Uh, Honest Dad Review said, Hey, farmer, my wife is a livestock vet. We've been looking to relocate to Eastern Washington and we've heard livestock growing in your area soon. Uh, if you got an empty office building at the barn available, you can put us in touch and see if it work for us. We also race horses off the trail rides or and offer trail rides. Um, so if that's possible, even better. I'm a retired truck driver, so if you need help in the area with that, I'm happy to grab gears for friends. Love the content. So uh, my understanding is Honest Dad Reviews, while he's working on getting his uh, horse trail business set up, um, he's working part-time as a truck driver um, for, um, oh gosh, Lucky Logistics. So yeah. Um, there you go. And he also had a, and of course, horse raising horses. We could work out a deal with the vet service and discount for some hay or something like that. But anyhow, um, that's awesome. Honest ad reviews. Your wife is now a livestock vet here and you work in the area. Uh, Mr. The Killer Clown said, hey, FC, I'd like to move out uh, to your community and open a veterinary clinic for the farm animals. I have been a vet assistant for a little country town a few maps over and I'd like to open my own clinic. Well, awesome. Here you are opening your own clinic. Um, so fantastic. I love it. Um, and then going down from there, we have uh, Morlocky Malfolisto. I'm probably saying that wrong. I apologize. Uh, I don't play, but love watching you and several others play. Love the thought of you adding animals to the farm, but with animals comes great responsibility. As the population of the village grows, people are moving in. Some are going to have pets. Now, two farms are going to have horses. It might be time for a veterinary clinic to think about opening up a local clinic. So here we go. Possibly a branch office from the closest city where the vet comes to town once or twice a week. Now, we even took that obviously a little bit. Uh, further on, he said, as more people move in and more animals added to farms, a full-time vet could be hired at a later date. Not a vet myself, just to clarify, but to see uh, the possibility need for one soon. Uh, and he said, F&D Veterinary for the name, named for my two daughters and two pets that have died in the last year, uh, their dog Felon and their dog, or their cat Turby. And I apologize if I'm saying any of those names wrong, but that is awesome. So you are a part owner now of this vet clinic here. And uh, uh, our Ilex Morticil Gaming says, hey, FC, I'm new to No Man's Land, but I'm a licensed veterinarian and farrier like to open a business trading, uh, tending to animals and livestock called Morty's Farrier and Vet Clinic. So there's also a farrier here as well, which is awesome because honestly, you do need a farrier if there's horses in the area. So fantastic. I know that was a lot of talking all of a sudden, but uh, 
Thank you guys. I, this was, uh, I've been working on trying to get this in here for a while, this vet clinic. And I thought this was about the right time to do it. So there we go. We have our vet clinic in. I think it looks pretty nice. It came out, honestly, it came out really good for what I wanted. So I'm really happy with it. Um, and if we need to, we can always expand around the area or whatever. But that's a pretty big vet yard and vet clinic and a pretty good setup, I think. So pretty happy with that. I love the helicopter flying over. It's awesome. But uh, yeah, so again, we're going to get that forestry done over here this episode, as well as we're going to cruise out here because I'll show you our trees are very ready to harvest. Very good to go. Um, and the other thing, too, I will note is I did get barley planted on these two fields. We planted canola here, barley on these two. And this one, I'm not sure. I don't know if I even said anything last episode I wanted to plant on it, but oh, darn it. Uh, but we'll get something planted on there um, probably in the spring of next year. So I'm not worried about that. That may not happen this year. And then obviously I'll just keep taking care of everything, getting the animals fed and all that. Our chickens are growing up slowly and our horses are slowly becoming more valuable. So that is fantastic. But here is the trees I want to get done as well this episode, uh, if at all possible. I think this is going to be a thumbnail, so I'm sure we'll get them done. But yeah. I think we got 20 trees out here, so these are going to make us a decent chunk of change as well, which would be fantastic. And if we plant any additional trees, we of course have Bank Sinatra's uh, contract where he's going to pay us if we have any extra trees in there. But uh, there you guys go. So I just wanted to get a couple things going, a couple things mentioned as we're starting off this episode. I know I've been talking for a while, and that was a lot of information all of a sudden. Um, what I might do is bring, I'll probably bring you guys back in for uh, probably when we start the contract, just so we can talk about all the different areas we're going to do and trees we're going to cut and stuff like that. I'll probably end up doing a lot of the forestry, honestly, off camera, which, um, yeah, that just is going to make the most sense, I think. But we're going to hopefully get some stuff sold and make some good money this episode. So on that note, I will see you guys later on. Welcome back, everyone. So first off, I need to be a big or give a big apology. Um, the first part of this video, the first half of this video was really clunky. I apologize for that. I put a little note, hopefully, if I remember to on the beginning of it, this should hopefully be a lot smoother. I don't know what it is. I updated uh, OBS updated. And since it's updated, it's been giving me some issues. Um, so I actually had a lower like, I, I don't know what is going on with it, to be honest, like it used to have no problems. Uh, recording at the settings I had set and it would make really high quality content. So now I lowered the frames down to 30 frames per second and uh, We'll just kind of see how it goes. Hopefully that's smooth for you guys But yeah, I apologize I didn't notice and that there was an encoder error and it wasn't as bad as until I tried to do it again But anyhow, regardless of that <laughs> we are we are here now And so there's some cones up for what we're supposed to cut down So everything inside the cones and there's a couple that are on the back side here. They put cones next to yeah, these two here we got to get rid of as well. That aren't really inside the cones, but I mean, they kind of are. But yeah, so these ones out here we're not going to worry about, but these ones inside here, well, we need to cut these guys down. I'm going to do most of the forestry type stuff probably off camera, but what do you mean? Oh, darn it. Of course I'm going to let it cut that tree. It's on our land. <laughs> oh, heavens. I knew that was going to be the case. Okay, uh, we're going to go do this, then I think this will work. If I join the other farm. I now don't have a chainsaw, but I can still drive this equipment. Oh boy. We might just have to do this. Let's join this. And then this chunk of land, what we're trying to cut is of course on two different chunks. So um, we'll probably just buy both of these. Um, let's just write down how much money we have. That's what I'll do. I'll just write down how much money we have. We have 89, 588. And I'll make sure we have that much left when you guys come back. Now, maybe a little bit less because we'll be using a chainsaw. So let's do 89,550. I think that's a fair number right there. We're not going to hire any workers or anything in the meantime. Don't need to. But so that means we can just add some money in. We'll do, I mean, that'll be more than enough. And then we can purchase this chunk and this chunk. And then we should be able to cut all the trees down. Beautiful. Now, we do need to come out here and get rid of the uh, stumps for him as well. But we have our handy-dandy stump grinder, so that shouldn't be a big issue for us. Uh, but yeah, we'll get a couple of things done here with you guys on. And then I will probably get a lot of it done off-camera um, is the plan. Uh, but yeah, so I spent probably an hour trying to fix my computer and get that encoding issue uh, figured out, which is a little frustrating. But regardless of that, at least it seems, seems to be fixed now. Yeah, it's still not giving me an encoder area, and it seems to be going smooth on OBS, but we'll see how it how it goes. Oh, it's one of those things, it's one of those days. I remember when I first started doing No Man's Land Season 1, and I was obviously still new to doing all this. I was using my old computer, and I had, oh, just some of the worst luck with everything on there. I tell you, I lost so much content, and I was going to re-record the first part of this episode, but 
honestly, there's so much stuff I said in there that I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna call it good there. So I decided not to re-record it. I think we'll just go with it. I apologize. It's gonna be just garbage quality. If you guys uh, skip ahead, or that's totally fine. Um, if you guys skip, did skip it for whatever reason, the only thing we really talked about is I added the vet clinic in over here, and I talked about doing forestry and some other stuff with the farm. Really, not anything terribly special. Um, but yeah, so we got quite a bit of stuff that was talked about on there, but uh, nothing that's going to really end the world if you don't know about it. I hate these still, these little glitchy trees. I hate them. I think they're fine if I would actually update No Man's Land. Probably they'd be fine, but <laughs> since it's not dated, just kind of is what it is. Uh, thankfully, it doesn't really matter what lengths or anything these guys are in, um, just because they're going into our, our forestry device. Any sense that doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh, goodness, it's been a day! It's been a day. I guess I should say early morning. I'm recording this at four in the morning right now because, well, my normal day is that's that's when it happens since I work graveyard, so um, or night shift, depending on how you look at it. We call it graveyard in the police world. Let me grab at least, I need to slow myself down. There we go. All right, get this guy into here, load you up, get on there. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, but yeah, so we're getting stuff done. We're getting stuff done. It's finally, stuff is starting to happen. Uh, things are happening. That is good. Hopefully nothing else terrible goes wrong. I mean, of course it will at some point, but that's just the standard for the Farmer Cop channel. But anyhow, let's see if we can't get this guy up on here. But yeah, I think I'll put another break in and I'll probably bring you guys back in when to be honest with you i don't know when i don't know when i wanted to get a lot of this forestry sort of stuff done i need to take a thumbnail uh shot actually while i'm thinking about it but uh yeah so i want to get some of this forestry stuff done at least get our stuff through here done if even if we don't get to our trees over there if we get this done this episode i'd be pretty happy with that because that'll kind of help set us up pretty good i think so uh yeah i'm gonna keep working on getting these done this episode will probably be a little bit shorter just because i had that whole mishap with that stuff and i still need to get some other videos done um, so we'll see how it goes, but I think it'll be probably a little bit shorter of an episode. So I will get this done or get a lot of this done and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, we got one load in here. This is a lot of trees. <laughs> so we're going to haul it now. Um, yep. Yeah, a lot of trees we have a lot of work to do left still. So, <laughs> um, it's not looking too promising of getting all of our trees done, but we will at least get this one load done, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, so... We're actually going to do pretty good off of this contract. I know they needed the trees cleared, but I think it's a pretty good deal for us, um, to be quite honest. So we're going to get all that forestry work done for them, and we get a lot of free lumber, which is going to be great for, well, for our forestry and being able to get stuff uh, sold off and taken care of. So it's going to be good for us. Oh, that was a weird little collision there. But yeah, I figured you guys would want to see kind of where we're sitting in terms of everything. Um, so actually what I might do, um, this is on right now. I might just go ahead and deactivate this and we'll see, cause it's at zero right now. We'll see how many leaders we get off of this contract in terms of just doing it. So we'll just kind of see that. Uh, I think that'd be kind of uh, interesting to, to do and see how that was going to work. I don't know what these priority 10 lower the priority. What in the world? I don't even know what any of this means anyhow, but, uh, yes. So we're going to go ahead and get this dropped off here. I am curious how much this one load is. I'll keep you guys in for this, and then I'll get the rest of it done off camera, and then I will bring you guys back in after we're done with that portion of the contract. And I think that'll be probably be the, the spot where we kind of wrap up the episode. I think that'll be a good spot to end. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be a good spot to end, I think. And then I'll hopefully get a couple other videos and stuff done for you guys uh, for this week, because I... Oh, that was rough. Slow down. Back up. But uh, yeah, because I'm just... I'm way behind on content, as usual, so... All right, boom, and that got us 21,000. Oh, wow, 21,000 off of that load. So that was good. Well, I'm going to keep working on it, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit to wrap up the episode. All right, welcome back, everyone. So I think we got it all done. Looks pretty good out here. Yeah, got all the trees taken care of, and we got quite a bit of logs from it, which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. This will be right where the highway will go. It'll kind of curve down here, go straight through here. I think my eventual plan is probably to have it go and then make a curve here and head across this way, and maybe just off the map over here. That might just be what it does. And then maybe another highway that goes down here, but we'll see. But that way I have uh, more space here because I want to buy these chunks of land here. 
um, at some point. So I want to have a little bit more range down here and I'm sure we'll butt up against the highway eventually. But yeah, that way we can kind of build our farm over here and do all that sort of stuff because we want to build a big farm at some point. I want to build this bigger than even we built before, which I think would be kind of fun to do. So we'll see how that goes. Obviously we own, well, we own those two right now, but we own these three chunks of land, which actually we can uh, probably sell this and sell, if I click on it, there we go, sell this. And then we need to set our money to 89 uh, 550. So I'll set that here in a bit. But um, yeah, there we go. Everything's all good to go. We got it done. They came out here at the grader and they started grading it. That's why it's all dirt. At least that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> we can see where we removed all the stumps and took the trees out. Oh, of course, we got to show you guys what we got for logs off of it. 70,408, which is awesome. We're going to go ahead and activate that, let that baby run. Um, so that thing has, yep, plenty of wood now to run, so we'll let that do its thing. And so, think... right now we are heading into town, believe it or not, to sell our tractor here. There is something on the sales that is going to replace this and be even better, and is actually a really good deal, I think. So, we're going to go take a look at that. I looked into it, it looks like it's a pretty good deal for us, especially. Uh, so we're going to go sell this. We're not going to get a ton for this, but it's going to be worth it for what we're going to get. So... Uh, yeah, we're going to be spending pretty much all of our money right now on this new tractor. However, the good news is we are waiting for silage prices to go up. In December, they should get up a little bit higher than what they're at now. And then we should be able to sell all of our silage off, uh, which we have a lot of. And that should give us, we probably have $60,000 of silage, to be completely honest. And if you remember last episode, we got that taken care of there. Got all of the uh, trees harvested out of there for them. I think they're going to start building the highway in the spring. We'll see, though. Um, I still haven't figured out who owns this. i got to figure that out here. Uh, but we'll get this up here. We just haven't had a chance to stop in. And uh, I don't think we'll need a loan. But if we do, we'll go talk to banks. I'm sure banks will give us a little bit of a loan if we need to go to the banks, of, the Bank of Banks and Sprague. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to sell this and buy a tractor. I'll show you guys the tractor here in just a second. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to do off camera, I think, after I let you guys go, is I'm going to get our wood harvested that we have up over, if I get to our map, or not over there, or our wood that we have up over here, those trees. Well, actually, I don't know, because our production chain may not have any room for them, so I may not actually be able to get those even done. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, man. Repaint. That's going to be... It should raise it by 12 grand. 12,706. So what would that be? I am curious, because I, I always pay attention to it, but it should it should raise it by 12 grand. So 12,706 plus the 13,497. So as long as that price is greater than 26,203, it was worth it. And it definitely was. Okay. And then we'll repair it. Perfect. 27, 5, 6. That's actually more than I thought we'd get out of this. So let's go ahead and sell this. There we go. 103 grand. What I am looking at... Well, see, our tractor's in there now, too. But this guy right here. Uh, so we had... It's it's a 7720S. Yeah, so it's pretty much funny because it's pretty much the same tractor. I would have been nice to have something different. But, but the torsion power range is 225 to 280. This one was 175 to 220. And plus, this one, when I click on it, it already has GPS on it. Normally, when I buy a used tractor, I have to add this, but this already has it on it. So whoever had it before must have already had the GPS on it. Um, the only really upgrade on here we're going to want is we're going to want the uh, the front loader attachment. So it'll be extra 1500 bucks. And then the one thing I thought about doing was, well, this thing currently has 225. Eventually, we can upgrade it to 280. I think we're going to leave it at 225 for now. One, because we don't have the money, and two, because I don't think we need that much horsepower. Because 225 is, that's 50 horsepower more than what we had before. So we're going to go ahead and buy that bad boy. Uh-oh, I might have had it set to deliver somewhere. 225 is here. I'm going to take that away because we're supposed to have it up here. We, we get that money back because they shouldn't have delivered it. But anyhow, we have another tractor now. I'll figure out where it went. It probably went somewhere crazy. But anyhow, um, yeah, I forgot to reset the store thing. I used the store delivery mod to... Um, put stuff out for and I put new buildings and stuff in and stuff like that but anyhow I will see you guys in a bit I'm gonna do I might do some of the forestry but I'm gonna get the silage sold um I'll write down how much we make off the silage and then I'll probably bring you guys back in in the spring um oh the other thing we should take a look at actually while we're in here is if we go down to production chains here um they're still making oatmeal okay yeah i was thought about selling some of the oatmeal off but i think we'll just wait until it's completely done and we'll sell all at once um the oatmeal prices don't really fluctuate it's way down here if I can find it. Um, but yeah, they don't really fluctuate a whole lot. Oatmeal, yeah. 736 is a good price in there. 748 is the high. 
it, see 736 at the bottom, 748 here at the top. So like that's there's not a lot of fluctuation there. So they can pretty much sell it whenever, and it's not going to be a big deal. Um, holy smokes, there's all sorts of stuff in here. I don't even know what mod these are part of. There's all sorts of different productions in here that we could do. Uh, we will do some more productions, which I think will be a lot of fun. But uh, I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Uh, okay, so going back up, oh, go back down to our productions. Uh, planks are getting made. We have some planks spawning there. I might deliver some of those, but yeah, we need this honestly just to produce more, through more of that. Um, I might cut a couple of the trees down to see if I can top this out, but at the end of the day, we're not really losing money by the trees just sitting there. Um, so I'm not, I'm honestly not too worried about this, but uh, yeah, we're just going to keep making planks and doing our thing. I know we can make furniture. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a comment, even though I mentioned it, because uh, usually even though I mentioned things, people still comment, but uh, we're not going to make furniture just because it's hard for me to, to be like, realistically thinking that we're going to make furniture in that little shed we have over there. But uh, yeah, anyhow, I'm going to get, we'll go find where our tractor went and I'm going to get back to our farm and I'm going to get some uh, stuff done around the farm. So I'll see you guys here uh, probably in the spring when it's time to get some more stuff planted. Probably do a little time lapse of that. But yeah, I'll see you guys here in a bit. Welcome everyone. It is springtime. Finally, it's April here. Um, we're going to plant some corn here in a bit. I'm going to do a time lapse of that. But before we get into that, I want to mention quite a few things. So first off, the first part of this video I recorded like three weeks ago, and then I had my little like hiatus where I was busy and you guys didn't see any videos of me posted uh, whatsoever. But yeah, obviously I wanted to get back into this series. So uh, here we are getting back into it. Um, no idea what the, the thumbnail is going to be or anything like that. I've got an idea, but um, you guys already know, of course, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. But anyhow, so, um, in the spring, I got these guys all pruned, mulched, and uh, plowed or cultivated or subsoiled, however you want to put it. Um, I also sold off all of the planks we had so far, which we had, if we go down to here, we had quite a few planks in there. We had uh, 57,500 liters that I sold, and I sold those obviously for 80,500 because we get $1,400 per thousand liters. So, we made a ton of money. We still have a lot of wood to process. And of course, we still have to cut down all of our trees in the back there that are going to get processed into planks as well. Uh, but regardless of that, we're making progress. Um, if we hop over to, let me get back up here, over to the farm here. Um, oatmeal is still processing. If we look at our menu here, oatmeal is still processing. We're going to take the corn and make popcorn, I think. Um, yeah, I think we're going to make some popcorn is what we're going to do. Um, yeah, so that's what we got going on. So we're going to plant corn and this field right here, these two, these three fields here have been planted. Um, what do we have? We have barley in these two and canola in this one. That'll finish up a subscriber contract. And actually, I think the grass is probably, I'm sure it's probably ready to go. Yeah, I might have needed to do that yesterday, but I forgot possibly, but that's okay. Um, okay, horses are still going up in value. We had a little issue where I updated the Grain Mill Plus mod and it kind of ruined all of our feed and whatnot, but I fixed it. So I'm not sure if these are actually how where their value should be or if they should be a little higher. I think they might be supposed to be a little higher, but... Regardless, they're doing fine now, so everything's good to go. Uh, we do have, that's a zero pieces, but we do have a ton of eggs over here, so we need to sell eggs soon. Um, what does that have in it? 900 pieces there. Each one of these is 1,400, so we need to at least, I think we need to move these guys uh, out of the way. So if I slow us down here, um, I should be able to just slide these guys over, at least out of that trigger area. Maybe a little bit more, get them out of that trigger completely. Yeah, so that'll at least give some more room there. Now, we need to sell these, obviously, soon. We will do that um, at some point here soon. I did buy this trailer. I think I... I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I did buy this trailer right here. This was $3,100 for me to buy. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not. And then a few things in terms of what we sold that also kind of bumped our money up quite a bit. We sold a ton of silage. We sold $142,000 in silage, all of our silage, essentially. And 24 of those silage bills went to Stafford's Rocky Hilltop. Uh, farm, which is obviously it's the one that's over here with the cows. Yeah, so we got those over there at Stafford's Rock, Rock Hill Top Farm. And then over here we have a, I wonder if I can rename that. I'm not sure. But this is Morgan the Deer Man's farm. We sent him 10 hay bales because he needed some hay. So we sent those over to him for three grand. So that's three extra grand there. But yeah, so that's what we kind of sold and kind of accomplished um, since I've last been in here. Um, and I did a little bit of that stuff off camera just now and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so it's springtime. We're going to get some corn planted. The next thing you're going to see is going to be a little bit of a time lapse. And then after that, um, I think we're hopefully going to make it to harvest this year. I think that'll be a plan. But since our money is pretty far up, uh, I did think about... There's not anything I saw on sale that I really wanted. I did think about buying that, actually, because it has a lot of horsepower, 240 horsepower. But we don't. I don't think we need it. Uh, we don't need trailers or anything like that. I'm looking for a semi-truck trailer. I think our next uh, investment will be like, you know, um, there's that trailer I bought, by the way. It's this guy right here. It's only 3100 bucks again. 
Um, but I would like to get like a semi truck trailer for our, our semi. Um, I mean, that's, that is one, but that's not the type I'd want. That is one there. Like that one is pretty cheap. 27,500. That actually might not be a bad thing to purchase. Just that little trailer there uh, to use temporarily. If we don't see one on sale anytime soon, that might be what we do. But, uh, yeah, I guess actually the easier way to go about this would be probably to go here and do combinations. That should, yeah, pull them all up. Um, not in order, I guess. It doesn't does it do in order. And it doesn't pull them all up either. There's definitely more than this in here that should be in here. So actually that didn't work really effectively at all. But uh, regardless of that, yeah, so I'm thinking about getting a trailer. I think that's probably going to be our next purchase. Uh, the other thing I thought about doing is if we go under leased, um, this guy now, if we buy it, it's 22 grand. So I did think about paying that off. The harvester we owe 62 on and the header we owe uh, 34 on. So I did think about um, getting those out of there. Now we're not paying very much every day for those. They're slowly getting paid off. And then as we get more hours on them, they're gonna obviously we pay a higher leasing cost and that lowers that price even more. So I think for now, since just cause we don't need to do anything with it, I think we're just gonna leave these in here until maybe we need to make a major purchase or buy something expensive. Um, and then and the next episode I think is what we're gonna do. Hopefully we're gonna maybe get some upgrade like to our house. Our house needs to be upgraded. So hopefully get some farm upgrades done since we're starting to get some money rolling. And I think that's kind of where I wanna start heading um, in terms of things. But uh, yeah, this episode I would like to, obviously we'll get some more, um, we'll get some more barley harvested. Um, hopefully if all goes well, corn will get made into, uh, popcorn, which we can sell. We'll sell the oatmeal that we have uh, being produced down here. Hopefully this episode, because that's almost done. That'll be done before we get to harvest. I'm sure. Uh, so we'll get that sold out of there. We'll sell some more planks. Hopefully we get those trees harvested. So we got a few things on the list in terms of to do's. I'm, I'm just going to do the tree harvesting off camera. It doesn't really make sense for me to do it on camera. Um, I'm just going to do it off camera because you guys have seen me harvest trees and everything like that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do it off camera, I think. But the next thing you're going to see right now is going to be a time lapse of a corn planting. So get the corn planted. And then after that, I'll bring you guys back in um, probably near harvest time. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. You know I want you close. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile, and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. So things are progressing. We're harvesting our barley right now. As you can see, we're getting that done. I did put some in the chicken pen already. So we've got a worker working on that. Um, our canola will be ready next month. And then our grass should be ready next month as well. I know it says harvest, but if you don't know, it's a, it has to go up a state beyond that to be actually ready to harvest. If we're down here, you can see it's that it's not quite all the way grown up like that would be around the edges where I cut before. So this will be ready to harvest next month. So we'll get another round of silage bales done. I did get a round of silage bales already done. 
which are going to be over in this area right here. So we got a lot of silage bales. I'm hoping to get a lot more. So we're going to make some good money again off of silage this year. And then over here, bees are still producing. We probably need to sell some honey relatively soon. And then we still have plenty of hay for our horses. And then past that, if we go over here, I'm slowly loading up um, oats into this trailer here as they get produced. We only have a little bit left there. You can see 3,748 liters of oats left to be produced into oatmeal. So that'll hopefully get produced soon. Uh, but past that, everything's going well. Um, yeah, we'll get those guys harvested. They're all this almost done. And then we'll fast forward to the next month. We'll get that guy harvested. And then hopefully we'll be down to get this harvested. Well, actually, these two both need to be done tomorrow. And then and we, before we know it, it'll be time for the corn to get harvested. And then um, our grapes as well over here. Now, if I hop over here, our saw, oh boy, it's not really where I wanted to be in a sawmill, but there we go. You can see we got our wood chips in there, but uh, yeah, so obviously we're producing some more of these bad boys right here. Um, I do have super strength on because I had to move something in the town a little bit ago, but um, yeah, obviously we don't really feel like get that. Yeah, the usually what I have to do to move these is, uh, well, I use this guy and then I have to hook this thing to the back of the big tractor and that usually moves them pretty well. Uh, but yeah, so those are keep going. Um, we're still trying to get raisins done as best as possible, um, which is very slow going. So, yeah, this is just. Well, it says. Building storage, it says raise. Let's go back into our production menu here. It says storing. Oh, I bet you we have to spawn those out. So it's seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're actually getting pretty close to the raisins being done. So that's after this year, we actually probably will have that done. Because if you don't know, to finish our first contract we ever took on, I believe it is, we need 12,500 liters more of raisins. And then of all that canola that we have over there, we need 10,738 liters to get shipped off to, I can't remember the name of the person, but we have some subscriber contracts out for that. And again, I apologize, it's been so long since I released one of these videos. It's been a crazy month for me. I've been working, I've either been on vacation or on trips. And then when I get back to work, it's usually like I'm working, um, you know, 50 hours a week is like a, a conservative estimate of how much I've been working. I've been working 50 to 70 hours a week. So work has been just a little bit wild for me, which uh, yeah, so it just, it just is what it is. But uh, yeah, so we're making progress. We're getting some stuff done on here. Um, yeah, we're doing things. Things are happening. Our, our, we're making more and more money. I haven't seen anything pop up on sale. they be worth buying. I mean, there's lots of stuff that I kind of want. 52% off that harvester is great. If we wanted to do cotton, which I would like to do at some point maybe, but we just can't afford to do that right now, so. I would love to get a semi-truck trailer, but we haven't had one of those pop up on sale. That would work for me. How's he doing? Oh, he's almost full. Probably should get, uh, get our truck over there, or tractor over there to get them unloaded. But uh, yeah, so, and our little harvester's over there ready to go for uh, the corn when it's ready to go. But yeah, that's what we got going on. A lot of stuff going on, but a lot of good stuff. We're making some progress. We're making a lot of money. We've made a lot of money this episode. And we're going to make still, I think, a fair amount more this episode, if not next episode, the worst case scenario. But uh, we're getting things done. We are getting things done. So that's what we got going on. I do want to go check on the road project. So I guess they're working on the road over there. So I might go check on that in a bit. But anyhow, guys, I'll keep working on getting harvests done and stuff like that. And I'll bring you guys back in here in just a bit. Welcome back, everyone. So it is October now and our corn is ready to harvest. So we're going to go ahead and our money... It's probably gone down, I think, since the last time you guys see me, probably a fair amount. Um, not because of anything weird or anything like that. It just that's just the cost of doing business. We did make a couple purchases, but just more administrative purchases. But anyhow, we're just gonna get a worker working one of our workers working on the corn harvest, and it's gonna take a while with this little guy here. But that's okay. Good for this guy to get some action there. Uh, but things that we got done. So we got another silage harvest done. If we go up to the top here, so another silage harvest done, refertilized it again. We can go over to this and actually see what's going on. Um, we also obviously finished harvesting the canola over here. Um, we got a decent amount. We have, um, if we go in here, we have 12,000 liters left. I delivered the final 10,700 some odd liters we needed for Hostinator's contract. Um, he was paying us for that. So we got paid for that already. We made about 10K off of that, just under $10,000. Um, so the yeah, Hostinator has an oil mill and he had a very poor canola harvest. We needed help with that. We've been working with them for a couple of years now, trying to get that back up. So we finished that contract. So there you go, Haas. That contract is good to go. And actually, before I forget, let me uh, let me go over to my my contracts here and uh, highlight it red, which indicates to me that we have completed it. Because otherwise, I'll forget. And then, there we go. Okay, beautiful. So, um, yeah, we got that contract now, which is great. Um, I also bought uh, twenty thousand dollars worth of fertilizer, about that much. It was about ten thousand, or excuse me, about ten thousand liters. But uh, yeah, I also got all of our trees harvested. 
And I harvested a bunch of like the little bitty ones that were just kind of scattered about this plot, but all the ones in the back I got harvested and you can see um, some of it's already been processed through, but if we go down here, we still have a lot of wood in there. And it's, oh my gosh, we have a lot of planks too. Those we sell for $1,400 per thousand liters. So we have a lot of money sitting in here in planks, which is great. We're not gonna worry about selling those this episode, worry about that later. Our oatmeal is completely done processing. I mean, there's still some here that can't fit in a trailer, but that's okay, so that's done. Um, so what I wanna do before we wrap up the episode is I would like to, I would like to sell some eggs, which I have this thing loaded with eggs in the back. Um, this will auto load eight pallets, and then I put four pallets on top because they would fit. Um, and we have a couple more pallets here, which I think we should be able to grab. Um, we'll go ahead and load them just in the back of the truck. Now the truck bed actually won't close with these guys in there. Well, it kind of will, but it causes them to, to glitch a little bit. So I don't want to do that if I can avoid it. But we'll just load a lot of eggs up here uh, so we can sell. Then we'll also sell our oatmeal off. And I think that'll probably be the episode if we sell that off. Um, oh, and I also did the grape harvest. Oh, we can sell our raisins. If there's a good price for raisins, we can sell our raisins off as well. So we're just going to sell some stuff off before we wrap up this episode. I think that'll be a good way to end out making some extra money. So again, we've gone through a little bit of cash, especially since we spent um, $20,000 on fertilizer. But uh, yeah, we've gone through a little bit of cash this year. So how many eggs do we have total? 25,000 liters of eggs, which is great. And you can see in the back, oh, I got to fold that up. That actually, they're not glitching too bad. We'll leave that the way it is. But very back here, you can see the bottom eight pallets auto loaded, but the top four didn't. So I just kind of had to make it work. But yeah, that's quite the load of eggs. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, horses and everything's doing well. Horses are slowly gaining value. Our chickens are going to make us, this is going to be a lot of money here for eggs, which is going to be great. Oh, we got to check the prices though, to we'll see if it's actually worth selling. Uh, the oatmeal is pretty much always worth selling. Um, you can see there's our, there's our oatmeal trailer there. The oatmeal is pretty much always worth selling. So regardless of what the oatmeal price is, I'm sure it'll probably be worth it. But let's check, uh, and this is a new mod. If you guys haven't seen this, this is the time saving stock check. What it does, it looks at how much you have in storage. Um, and then it'll show you, you can tag or show locations. We'll show you where it's in storage at. We only have one place right now, but if it's in multiple places, I'll show you, show you the, the best price right now. If you, or excuse me. Yeah. The price. Yeah. Max. Now, yeah, yeah. I'll show you the best price right now. And so you, and if you sold it, it'll show you how much you're going to get. If you sold all that at the best price currently, and then I'll show you the max price over here and the max value or the max amount you could get for it. And the month you'd want to sell it to get the max price. Now, if it's this dark green color, that means it's a really good price for it. So actually, that's really good. Raisins look like they have a really good price, which is great for us. So let's go ahead and look at what we have to sell. So canola, we need to sell that last canola off. We don't really need to hold on to it. So it's not a good price for that right now. Um, if we go down to honey, we actually also need to sell honey, which honey's not great yet. So we'll probably hold on to the honey. Um, raisins, yeah, 1557. So right now is a great time. So yeah, 1620 right there. Yeah, we'll sell the raisins off. Um, and then we need to take a look at, um, oh goodness, well, we're gonna take a look at eggs, eggs, yes, eggs, 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 eggs. Um, so, and Spirit Fang has a contract with us. He said, I got an ex excellent <laughs> proposition for you. I'll pay you 10% above market price for every thousand liters um, of eggs that you delivered to the farmer's market because he likes scrambled eggs. And I'm assuming he's gonna sell some of those eggs as well. Maybe not though. Uh, so it's a good price for eggs, 13.79. 12.47, actually, I think that's where we'd want to take it anyways. So 13.79, yeah, that's the best price, but as we look at 12.47 um, times that 10%, that's gonna be us 13.71. So let's just go ahead and sell it there for 13.71 a piece because we're getting that extra contact. And I think that's, if I, I think that's where we were trying to take it anyway. So there's a little, a little place that we can sell it at the farmer's market. That's pretty cool, so we'll sell that. Um, this episode actually might be, now looking at my time, um, this actually might be a touch longer episode, which I'm sure you guys will be okay with. Usually you guys are. Um, usually you guys ask for longer episodes, actually. But just because we're going to be doing some driving and some selling of various things, we're going to try not to roll this as we're going into town here. I do like to be able to get in there pretty quick, but at the same time, I don't want to lose all of our eggs or roll our truck or have to call tow truck, and that would probably cause some damage to these eggs. You see they're dancing a little bit in the back, and I think that's just because that tail tailgate's up. But... Uh, so is that, where is that sell point? I did tag it, right? Yep, there it is. Yeah, that's where I wanted to sell it to anyways. So we'll probably just, uh, what are we at? 17565, one, we'll say 650 because the worker's going down. So let me write that down real quick. 17565, and we'll just go ahead and sell all this off. Which it doesn't matter where it sells, as long as it sells, and then we're just gonna subtract that amount and give us the right amount which we can just, there it goes, slowly selling. It's actually a slower slower sell process than I thought it would be. 
I guess we can also open that up if that's going to make it less dramatic. There we go. It's hopefully getting them. Yep, we're still getting... That one's going to be a little bit tricky, I think. There we go. And then out of the back... Oh, it did sell all those off. Okay, perfect. So, since it sold all that off, let's go ahead and go into here and we'll set our money back to our old price, 175650. Okay, perfect. So that's where our money's at. So it took out 30 grand, which I mean, we're going to make more than that. So one, um, we sold, oh gosh, how many liters of eggs we have? 12, 25,000, something like that. Um, it was like 25,200, wasn't it? I'm trying to think. Okay, how many pallets? How many is in a, pa a pallet of eggs? Now I couldn't do the math. This is my fault. I should have paid more attention to that. Uh, let me just do this real quick. Um, let's just do, yeah, we'll do, we'll just find eggs in here. I can't remember. I can tell, I could figure out how many we had based on how I loaded them. Eggs. Okay. How many are in here? 1400 pieces. So 1400. And then we had one, two, three, four, five. Um, oh gosh, six, seven. Let me write down the price. Gosh darn it. Oh, this is just the regular train wreck. Me trying to do math and everything like that. So we had how many in here? I think 25,200. I think 25,200. If that divides out by 14, it does. Okay, I think I'm, I'm confident that's what we had, 25,200. So 25.2 uh, times uh, 1371. So we made $34,549. So if we go to here... $34,549. Make sure, yep, that's right. Beautiful. So we made a great amount of cash just from that and that egg pallet there. We can just, we'll just get this, throw this. Actually, let's just do this just so we don't have to worry about that. There we go. Okay, perfect. And our harvester is full. So let's get him unloaded real quick, which is why this guy is sitting out here. And then I think we can sell the oatmeal and the raisins and call it an episode, which, well, we're running low on time, though, to be fair. Uh, yeah, it's going to take us a little bit. So but why don't we just sell the, uh, I don't know, we don't really have any time anyways, because I've been just babbling along about the eggs. We sold the eggs. You know what? That was a good way to end the episode, I think. Oh, goodness, that's not going well. Um, it has been a hot minute since I've been on this map playing and recording. I did get a couple of things done off camera. What I got done off camera is, well, we'll show you here real quick. I got this done back here mode bailed this and fertilized it again i'm actually going to turn off our it's going to bother me have that pop up down below in this bottom right hand corner but anyhow did that and finished i need to pick all the bales up to be fair but still it's done ish um here we have the corn harvested um and the amount of corn we got uh right there forty one thousand liters which is incredible um i think we're going to probably make all that into popcorn yeah i can't think of uh, another use for it um, we do have some contracts we're going to try to get done today. I think we have enough raisins. They're pretty close to enough raisins. If we go down to... Where are we at? It's here. Productions. Uh, so yeah, we'll make some popcorn. We have our oats, which we're going to sell off. There's some in there. We're not going to worry about that. But we have our oat trailer loaded up in front of us. We're going to sell that off. Uh, we have a ton of planks to sell, so I'm probably going to do that off camera here in a bit because it'll take a long time to load all those up and get them sold off. Uh, but yeah, we have 10,000 uh, liters of... Uh, raisins right there good to go 10,600 and i think we needed was it 12,000 12,500 liters is how much we needed to deliver and we have a couple pallets i think already out there so uh we'll take a look at that here in a second but that's uh actually yeah let's go take a look at that real quick we might just deliver those right now if we hop up over to this farm do we have two pallets we do and these are oh three pallets even so a thousand yeah maybe we'll lift them because of the okay yep 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 it's fine I was like, why can I lift these? But uh, it all makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's from the easy uh, or the liftable pallets mod. But yeah, so we have uh, 3,000 here. So we definitely have enough. Uh, we'll probably deliver 13,000 since there's no like half pallets, which would be fine. We have exactly that. Uh, if we want to do that plan. What's this guy doing up over here? Oh, he's just parked. But uh, yeah, let's start with getting these oats sold off. So we'll sell these oats off. And then I think we'll go pick up those raisins and get those sold off as well. Um, so if we take a look. Oatmeal should be down here. Holy smokes, there's so many products and so many things we can make in this game. It is quite honestly a little ridiculous, but uh, 
Yeah, it's all good fun. Oatmeal. It might be what down at the very bottom. It is very bottom. Okay. Um, the best price, seven forty-five. Yes, that's. I mean, oh, seven fifty-eight. That is a great price there. Selling station plane. Um, let's tag that just so I make sure I know where that's at. Can't even see it from in here. Where is that at on the map? Oh, right there. Oh, it's literally up at the. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyhow, we'll head up there. We're gonna sell all these. We have twenty-nine thousand liters of. Oats, we have a good amount of money in the bank, which is really good for us. Um, I think today we may buy some, either buy some new equipment or buy some land. We might actually buy some land, and we have a ton of silage bales to sell. We probably have $100,000 worth of silage as well, um, and we probably have one or $200,000 worth of wooden planks. So we're going to have a, quite a bit of cash in the bank here today, and we'll hopefully add in some new businesses as we go. Um, yeah, I know if you guys have uh, commented a business or any of that sort of stuff, I still have it on my radar. I'm working through them slowly. There's a lot in there. And I don't want the town to expand too rapidly. Um, but yeah, we usually do this series through 100 episodes. So this is episode 39. So um, we're still, we're not even really quite halfway done with this series. So I would typically do it. I may end it early. I don't really know how it's going to go. Um, I've never done a 100 episode series where I've done like basically an average of one episode a week. So with only doing maybe one episode a week, it seems like it might be a little tough to um, accomplish that. But we will try to get as far as we can. We may only go to 60 or 70 episodes. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Uh, my new series on Silver Run Forest is underway, but that's the other thing as well, is I'd like to um, do other series in the future on different maps. Um, and it's just kind of difficult to do that if I have too many other series that are taking too much time and going too long. Not, I mean, to be fair, you guys seem to be enjoying this series quite a bit still, which is great. Um, so I'll keep doing it. Um, but yeah. Okay, anyhow, let's get these sold off, see what we're going to make off of this. Should do decent on it. 20,000 plus 2,000. 22 grand. We'll take it. Let's go pick up those raisins, sell those off. That'll be in our contract out of the way. I think that's the last part portion of that. Yeah, it's the last portion of that contract. So that'll be uh, that'll be really nice to get that out of the way. Yeah, that'll be perfect to get that out of the way. That'll be our, our serial contract finally completed. So we'll drive over that way. I think we can head this way. Road construction still underway. I'm excited to get that highway all finished up and add some stuff along it um, and do some of that sort of thing. I don't know how I'm going to... I don't want this to be the same layout. or the. I know it's already a little bit different, but I don't want this uh, layout to be the same as No Man's Land in the past has been. I want it to be different. So I'm not sure how I'm going to accomplish all that and what I'm going to make it look like to make it different and everything like that. But I'm sure I'll be able to... Is there a weird collision over there? Or is it just this trailer? That was a strange, strange collision. But anyhow... Yeah, so I'm not sure exactly how it's all going to work out and everything like that, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Ah, fantastic. Get a sip of coffee there. We'll just cut through the grass here since we can. But everything seems to be going well. I'm not sure how long I want to do grapes. Grapes are pretty time-consuming. We don't have that much. I mean, to be fair, if we get a large grape operation underway over here, we could buy some really big equipment and actually make probably some decent money. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Should we expand the grape operation to make it much larger, like two or three times this size, or should we just call it good? Um, but yeah, just, just let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, open production menu, and then we need to have these guys spawn. As many pallets as possible. I don't know if it'll spawn all ten. Oh, it spawned, spawned quite a few of them. Let's see here. Let's get these guys loaded. So we need 13 pallets on here. Two. Sorry, my pallet skills are not great. This is, I thank goodness I'm not using like a forklift, though that'd be, this would just be a disaster if I was trying to load these with a forklift. I mean, it's a disaster anyways, but it could be a lot worse. There we go. Should have strapped that back one down before I put this guy there. Let's do this. Actually, let's move this guy over here. Boom. Get that done. Get it locked in that corner if we can. There we go. Perfect. Let's grab this guy, get this guy loaded up. I don't know if there'll be a time lapse this episode. Probably not. Probably not. I don't. 
Yeah, I don't think I will put one in this episode. I'm just not sure what I would do, do to be honest. Uh, we'll probably get to springtime before we uh, end this episode for sure. Um, just to see how things are doing then and everything like that. But uh, let's lock these guys down. There we go. Okay. Throw this guy on there. That's nine on there. And this will be ten. I mean, we're gonna. it's going to be all the full pallets that we have are going to go. Oops, going to save us up. That's fine. Perfect spawn items. There we go. Three more pallets, beautiful. It's not sitting down there quite right. That's okay, we'll fix it in a second here. Oh, geez. It's all sorts, I'm surprised that landed like that. All right, that's good there. I'll just put this, it doesn't really matter. Honestly, it does not matter. Okay, there we go. And now we have 13,000 liters. This is the first contract, by the way. This is a big deal. We're getting this done. This is the first contract we accepted in the series. <laughs> we're finally going to finish it. Oh, that's just madness. I can't remember what the payout is for it. Actually, I got to look at that real quick. What is the payout for this one? I believe it's by the item. Um, so let's see here. Um, it's by this is Tyler Kent's um, Tyler Kent's uh, contract. Cereal factory needs products to produce twenty five thousand liters of cereal. This will get us right there. So there's not anything in terms of how much we're going to get paid. So I think we're just going to get paid the standard amount, which is going to be a okay. I'm not sure if that'll work as a sell point. If not, we'll just take the um, highest price and pay it to us. Um, at least the highest price that's right now, I should say. But uh, yeah, we'll go in there and see what it gives us for this one. I didn't realize that when I built that, I put the garage door in the back. It's a little bit odd to have a garage door going to a stone wall, but hey, that's fine. It's all good. Yeah, this is one of our first businesses right here, and this is our first contract was at this place right here. There's a lot of beams. There's so much wood there. Um, but let's go ahead and get these guys in here. We're not getting paid for it, which is fine, because we'll just take some money here in a second. Perfect, and they will actually start producing cereal now. Um, let's take a look at, thankfully raisins will be towards the top here. <laughs> we probably won't do a ton of the, uh, I should say, newer productions um, that are from the Platinum expansion, because we'll probably save a lot of those for the Silver Run Forest series and do them in that series, uh, just as an FYI to you guys. Uh, okay, who's buying them for the most? 1597. 1599, I think 1599 wins. All right. So, oh gosh, let me get my calculator out. 1599 times 13 for the 13 pallets, 2787. So we'll add 2787 in. There we go. Now, the sad part is that's all the money we've ever made on our grapes is $20,000. So, years of doing grapes, we have only made that, which is really sad to be completely honest. I need to get out of here somehow. Here we go. Yeah, we've made almost no money on our grapes, which is kind of, that's why I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to focus the energy on them because we're really not making any money on them. I'm still going to drive, I'm going to drive this over this way uh, because I'm going to need this trailer at the other farm, but I think I'll put a break in. I'm going to get all that stuff sold off and I'll probably see you guys in the springtime and we'll kind of figure out what we're going to plant and all that sort of good stuff and go from there. So see you guys here in a little bit. All right, so it's not as far along as I would have hoped to get before I brought you guys back in, but some good news here. So first off, I moved some of our corn into our uh, facility to make popcorn. And so that's underway and it's, uh, oh, it's on selling. We do not want that. Oh boy, change output to distributing, uh, storing. Yeah, yeah, we'll put it on storing. Yeah, I don't want it to do anything with it. Uh, geez. Um, okay, well, at least I checked in here on that. Um, it does produce a lot of popcorn, but you do make a little bit extra cash on it. So I don't know if I'll put, I mean, it's going to take a while to transport it, so it may not be worth the extra uh, time. So that's why I'm kind of being careful. Um, I'm waiting to sell silage. Haven't sold any silage. You can see our money's gone up quite a bit. I sold $63,000 in planks. So sold quite a few planks, which is great. Um, but the th reason I brought you back in is because I just spent $34,000 on a new vehicle. That was in the sale, so none of these guys in here already bought it. Uh, so yes, $34,000 for this guy right here. 
Now this may look familiar to you. That is because it is the same harvesters we have over here. Now, we don't have a header for this one yet, um, but I think everything is pretty much the same. Yeah, harvesters, yeah, that's the one we own. I think we go to least equipment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all the same. I don't know if this one has, we definitely don't want to return it. Um, if we purchase it, how much is this one? See, 55 grand. It's crazy how much that's going to cost us to purchase it um, if we end up purchasing it. Um, compared to we just got one with, well, nine, I mean, given this only has four hours on it, but we have one with 19 hours on it right now because I think we spent 60 grand on this. But yeah, only 19 hours on this bad boy, which is incredible. Incredible. Long pipe needs a little bit of work, but uh, not that much to be fair. It's in great shape and I'm excited that we have two harvesters now. So uh, we will probably have to buy another header, which is going to be probably the, uh, well, that's going to be the costly part, to be honest. If we go to, I can't remember how much we paid for our header. Um, I think it was fairly, yeah, we owned one of these leased, one of these owned. Uh, so screaming deal. Uh, we'll back, let's go to, oh, it doesn't have an option for that. Let's go to headers then. Let's take a look at the one we have. Um, is it this one? No, this, this one is what we have. One lease, zero owned. That's a base game header. That's so expensive. It's crazy how expensive that is. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's going to be the big cost extra there, but still $34,000 for a harvester. Really couldn't argue with it. So um, we have it. Now we may actually sell um, this guy back here now. Um, I did use him for the corn harvest because he has a nice corn header and everything. But if we can actually buy a corn header, which probably won't be, well, I say it won't be too much. It probably will be quite expensive. Six meters for 53 grand. Yeah, headers are expensive. So that one's, yep, nine meters. That would be the one we'd probably buy. Combinations, what is that supposed to go with? Oh, just any any old harvester, it looks like. Um, yeah, I don't know what's super special or different about this one. Everything else here is the same, but it's only $2,000 more for um, an extra three meters. So we'd probably buy a couple of those. But um, if we do need to do our corn product or something like that, we can definitely buy this. But we'll probably end up buying a grain header this year. But uh, regardless of that, everything's going well. I've been taking care of the animals, doing stuff on the farm. Um, I just want to bring you guys back in because I thought that was really cool. So there we go. I'll see you guys here, uh, hopefully in spring this time. We still didn't make it to springtime yet. And, uh, well, last night when I was sleeping, I heard some sort of rustling or some noises or some banging around outside. Didn't think anything of it. Came outside and our brown trailer's gone. So I, of course, called the police, but I guess it was over here. So they're out here. I talked with Darren Duell. He's he's here talking with me about what's going on since he's over at the F-12 patrol. I love the love the patrol car that he made for me. And then, of course, got another one out here. But, uh, yeah, so they're hoping to be able to figure it out. It's just our little brown flatbed trailer. I mean, there's a lot more, obviously, more valuable stuff out here. But to be fair, if you... I mean, they probably could have stolen our truck. That worry would have been helpful um, if they're looking for just like normal vehicle because most of the stuff is pretty useful if you own a farm, but otherwise not really useful. So flatbed trailer, I could see having some other uses in the truck and this trailer even, but they may have not wanted to get this close to the house. So they probably didn't go for this stuff. But uh, yeah, out here is pretty far away from the house. I still heard some noises, but it wasn't as bad. So I bet you that's why they went for this here. But uh, yeah, so hopefully they can find it. If not, I guess we'll just have to buy another flatbed trailer, but it is gone now. Um... But yeah, they're going to work on that uh, in terms of trying to find out where it went. So yeah, that's craziness. But anyhow, um, we did a couple things I want to note, actually. We did sell off all of our silage. We got a good price of $193 per thousand liters. So I sold all of it off. Um, we made $140,000, $140,000 off our silage. That's absolute madness. That's why our money's gone up so much. I also sold $21,000 in planks um, in addition to that. And I also did a little bit of kind of a test. So we have a mod installed that's supposed to exercise our horses and do all that stuff every month. It's They're just not doing it. So I, I don't, yeah. But anyhow, I rode Ivory. Um, one of the days, I didn't touch any of the other horses, but I rode Ivory and cleaned Ivory. And I cleaned Remington and I didn't do anything to any of the other horses. And Remington jumped up by a thousand bucks. Ivory jumped up by just over a thousand bucks. Um, so the riding didn't make that much of a difference, but the big deal was um, the cleaning them. Because even though I'm not riding him, his health has gone up significantly. So just by cleaning the horses, their value has gone up a lot. So like these guys were about a thousand or eleven $1 hundred dollars or so. And then over one month, they went up to 1900 bucks. So 
I was wondering why they weren't going up very fast, so I'm just going to keep cleaning them. I'm not going to worry about riding them, but as long as we're cleaning them, they'll slowly go up in a little bit more value. So just kind of a note there. Um, chickens are doing good. They're producing eggs like crazy, of course, and their reproduction. Yeah, there are 360 of them. Actually, that's that's their maxed out, right? We probably should sell some of them. Pretty sure that's all this pen holds is 360. Yeah, we probably should sell some of our chickens. Um, maybe if we, I don't know, sell like, how much does that go up to? I don't know how much this is going to go up to. I think it's up to 60 or is it? Yeah, 60. We should have just gone backwards, but it's okay. Um, yeah, we'll just sell. Um, yeah, we'll just sell 60 of them. Well, let's sell, let's, let's sell 120 of them because I think that's how many we'll get when they reproduce. So we're down to 240 there. So a little bit of money from that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, they're doing good. Um, the other thing that I wanted to uh, note as well, and I think, um, yeah, I'll show you here. Um, I noticed a couple things that came up for sale. So one, this guy got me thinking, because uh, it was $61,000, we finally had something for sale that was on sale that could be towed by our truck that we bought a while ago. And I thought about buying that, but I don't think we are going to. I still think we're going to buy a trailer, um, but I don't think we're going to buy this one. So this is $61,000 for a 43.8 or 43,800 liter capacity. Um, to be fair, it can hold 34 tons. So let's take a look. I didn't look at that, but the cheapest trailer is right here now it only holds 6.6 .6 tons that's a good point actually 35,000 liters 6.6 .6 tons so i don't think that's going to hold a lot of stuff to be fair which could be a potential issue so it's actually probably going to be because we are playing with trailer weight on so it's only going to oh wait no 29.4 tons how much it holds sorry 29.4 29.4 compared to 34, yeah, that's going to be plenty for that. So let's just buy that. I think we're just going to buy that trailer. Um, and I think that, oh, we're just going to save, of course. That's fine. Uh, I think I'm going to have them delivered. Um, I know we have to pay an extra fee, but um, one thing I think we're going to do is just do that just to save us some time. So I think we're just going to buy that trailer. I know we don't need it just now, but just while we're in here thinking about it, um, this is a good starter trailer for us, I think, right here. Um, is that changing the prices? No, I don't know why that's going to matter. Oh, the, that's a, oh, there's, those are the wheels. Okay, we'll just go with that one. Um, how much does it cost to change the color? I think we will change the color because um, it's not going to be that much. Mm. That doesn't look half bad. I don't know. I don't know. I think that just the red is a little too abrupt, maybe. Um, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe if we leave that normal red and then go with like a gray on that, that might not be bad there. Yeah, it's a good looking little trailer. All right, so we'll buy that. It's an extra thousand bucks for the paint. No big deal. And then the delivery fee on that was uh, $730. So that's not a big deal. Um, I'm going to reset that. Now, the other thing we're going to do, the reason I reset that, we are going to buy something else. I don't want to be in this tractor. I want to be in this tractor. Here we go. We are going to buy a new stone picker. Now, this is a good stone picker. Don't get me wrong. This is a great stone picker, as a matter of fact. This is plenty, plenty for what we need um, right here, this guy is. But... There is a better one. So as we're driving, I'll show you. There's one on sale right now, and they're going to keep working on that. They know I'm doing my thing. But uh, there's if we go to the sales, this guy right here, this is the big Mambo Jambo modded one that does... Well, let's get around this corner so I can have them drive while we're talking. Um, it does a crazy, uh, crazy large... Uh, what am I trying to say here? Crazy large width. It's a lot wider than this guy right here. So if we take a look at it, this guy right here is... Uh, 9.5 meters. The one we own is, um, oh gosh, where is it? 5.5. So it's four meters wider, which is significant. So I think we are going to buy it. Switch since it's on sale. 41% off isn't the best, but that's, where, I mean, the chance of that coming up again. We don't use it that often. We are going to get the wide tires. This thing's massive. Um, we're going to buy that. Okay, good. No delivery fee. That means it reset back to the shop as it should, or at least the the buy point did. And the reason I reset it didn't have it delivered because we got to drive down there with this anyway. So we might as well not pay the delivery fee since we can just pick it up while we're down here anyways. Now, I don't, I know we don't do a ton of stuff. Well, part of me just wants to hold on to this too, actually. Oh gosh, we could just hold on to this. No, we don't do enough stone picking, I think, to do we? Gosh, darn it. Well, you know what? I don't think we do. I don't think we do enough stone picking to justify having two stone pickers um of this caliber so i think that will be plenty so i think we are just going to sell this off um i just think about it because we don't necessarily need to sell it off for the money 
but I think we might as well just sell it off. Because if we're going to get, if we need two stone pickers anyways, we probably should just invest. If we can afford that, we should probably just invest in getting another big one anyway. So um, we're going to repair this. And we are going to repaint this. And sell this. Boom. 13 grand. So yeah, we spent a little bit of our money there. But I think that's a good start for us. I know we didn't make it into spring. I've got some good things we'll get done in the spring um, as we're going through. We are going to need the stone picker this year, to be fair, though. Um, because we are going to have to, I believe, plow this. Yeah, this guy's going to need to be plowed right there. I don't think anything else. Anything else need lime? Nothing needs lime. That's good. But yeah, we're going to have to plow that because we had corn in it. So when we plow it, it's going to dig up some stones, which we're going to need this for. Uh, anyway, so there's that. But uh, um, yeah, it is now spring. Woohoo! We made it, finally. Um, I just put our truck and trailer, did a little bit of reorganizing around here. Um, I moved some stuff around, got some stuff set up in town, and actually I can turn off super strength because he's in, in town to move some stuff around. But uh, yeah, so everything's organized around the farm a little bit better. Um, I did buy this guy right here. I know you guys are going to have some stuff to say about it. It was only $32,000. 360 horsepower was used, used tractor, of course. Um, yep, 17 hours on it, so we'll be able to use it for a while. The reason being, I know we don't have anything right now that really requires that, but as we start getting bigger and more land, we're going to start wanting to pull bigger equipment and need to do kind of some field work jobs like that. And honestly, a tractor like that works really good on hills, which we have a fair amount of, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, so it is springtime. Um, things I've also gotten done. Um, well, I've been taking care of the chickens, horses, all that good stuff. Um, I got this um, good to go over here. Uh, so it should be growing up. It's growing as in I just got it subsold, which actually I need to hop over here. And yeah, they don't need to be mulched yet. We'll come over here and mulch it once it needs to be done. Oop, get rid of that. So we'll deal with that once we get there. But uh, for now, hop back over here. We need to plow this field, which I'm tempted to use our... Yeah, I might use this guy over here just to get him something to do. But let's see, the plow requires, let's go to our garage here. Plow requires how much horsepower? 320. Now, obviously we've been doing it with this guy and it's been fine, but this guy 360, yeah, you know, we might as well give that tractor something to do. And then we can use our tractor for other stuff that matters. The other thing we need to do is sell some honey. We have a ton of honey over here. We need to sell some of that um, ASAP. Let's see if we can't. There we go. Say, so please tell me to like make one of those mods that doesn't shift when you want it to or anything like that. I know it takes it a little bit of time to slow down. But other than that, it seems to be pretty good. It has a three point link attachment or option that was available when I bought it, which was great. Yeah, I think this will work good for what we're doing. This will obviously dig up some stones so we can get the stones picked up as well. We'll get this guy over there rolling, working on that. Yeah, not a bad little tractor. It's going to be good for field work, I think. It's a good little workhorse for us. Not too expensive either. I mean, honestly, a $32,000 workhorse, even if we did no field work task with it, but just did normal driving tasks and other just, like, just like, you know, I guess not no heavy duty field work tasks, but just regular field work tasks. Um, this thing would be more than enough um, in terms of value with 17 hours on it. Because we get, what, probably a good 84 hours off it is what we'll get before we need to probably replace it. Um, so we'll get some good we'll get some good work out of it, that's for sure. That should do the trick. It's going to, yep, start digging up some stones. Go ahead and have our worker work on that for us. Uh, what's his name? I can never remember. Is it over-engineered tractor? Is that the name of our worker? Oh, boy. Well, this is so far not going great. I hope he speeds up. Why are you going so slow? If I rehire you, will you actually accelerate? Well, five miles an hour is better than three. There we go. I say it should actually get going. It's just weird. Maybe it was just because I stopped or I got out and I was blocking it for a second. Oh, I was like, why is there still areas that need to be plowed? But that's the that's the stones that are on there, so that's all good. Now we'll hop back over here. That stone picker, I think, is going to require 170 horsepower, so I doubt. 
yeah, 170 it's going to need to use. We're going to need to use our other big tractor on it. So that's fine, though. That's what I figured. So we'll grab it, get over there, set up. We're not going to be ready to do anything with it yet. And then our other tractor should be able to pull the planter of cedars, uh, depending on what we're going to do. Now, I have uh, something kind of specially surprise planned uh, for episode 41. And then I think 42 is probably going to be the Christmas special. Um, so a couple of special episodes. Some of you guys... Oh, why did I grab this? Well, I might as well leave it there. We're going to need it eventually anyways. But uh, let's grab the stone picker here. But yeah, so a couple of special episodes coming up. Um, nothing too crazy. They still, I think, the Christmas special and everything will still... All of it will still kind of fit into um, the guise of what we're doing. But the Christmas special, honestly, is more a tradition than anything else. Um, I did my first Christmas special ever in season one of No Man's Land. And I continue to do... Christmas specials on No Man's Land. So I think that's what we're going to do. I don't know if I did one last year or not. I can't remember. I swear I did. I must have done something. I can't imagine I wouldn't have. But uh, yeah, so of course I'm going to do a Christmas special. Might as well unfold this guy. And then he's going to chill out here until they get more ready for the stones to be picked up. I'll let him get some more space. Now, is he actually... Yeah, so it must have just been because I hopped out and got in front of him for a second. But uh, obviously missed a little bit at the end, but that's okay. But yeah, they are cooking along, doing just fine, getting this field plowed, and they'll make pretty good time with it. So there we go. Okay, that is rolling. Now, the one thing we are going to need for the special reason I mentioned that is so we're going to need some uh, flour. That's the only thing we're going to need that we're not going to be able to get right now. So I think we are going to build, and I know this is kind of crazy, we're going to build a flour-producing facility, and this is the one I think we're going to do. So there was this option, and then this one over here is a little bit cheaper, but I don't like to look at this one as much. Um, I think this one looks a little bit more, I mean, it doesn't, professional is a strong word. I think it looks less ghetto than the other one. Um, and I think, I know it kind of looks like that's the front of it, but since all the, you can see if we put it out here where it's maybe somewhere where it's actually flat, you can see where kind of some of the stuff is required. We have to be able to access the back of it there. So I think what I'm going to do is place it, and here right up against the chicken coop a little bit, like maybe like right there. Problem is that's not quite flat. So I'm actually gonna save the game in case I really hate what it does um, before we do this. So let's go ahead and save the game. And we'll actually turn auto save off for a second, just so we can see, uh, there we go, how bad it's gonna be. I think just right there. Okay. That actually worked out really well. We're gonna do some landscaping around it. Um, first off, the chickens need grass, not this other garbage. So let's put some grass back in there. That should be grass there, I think. Um, I think that should be grass through there. Perfect, okay, let's scoop plants. Um, let's see, where's our grass at? There we go, put some grass back in there for the chick chickens are gonna want their grass and all that good stuff. Okay, now, I think we will do gravel around it in terms of just like for looks and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be super crazy, I don't think. Um, I think just like that into there is gonna be good. And then on this side, gravel in here. And then I think we'll just hook it up to right there, right there on that. And then I think actually this is still gonna be grass through here. Yeah, I think that's still all going to be grass right through there. Um, and then plants. Let's put some more grass back in there. There we go. Okay, fabulous. I took a little bit away from that dirt path. I think I'll maybe add it back in here a little bit. There. Okay, perfect. So now we have grain mill. I have no idea what the production is going to look like on this thing. Oh, wow. We can make a lot of stuff. Sorghum flour. So I think we'll grow <sighs> probably oats for our flour. I think that'll probably be best. Maybe we'll grow, I mean, because we already have some sorghum, but we'll grow some oats. I think we'll use the oats to make the flour. And it's kind of nice. We also can make oil if we really want to, which isn't a bad thing. So maybe we'll grow some sunflower just to make some sunflower oil just for fun, just because we can. Um, we can make pig food as well if we'd like to. We're not going to do that, but uh, we can do that. So I think we grow some oats and some sunflower. So if we look at our crop deal on the jig up here, um, sunflowers get planted now and so do oats. So oats and sunflowers both can get planted now. And then other things that we need, how are we doing on sorghum? Sorghum's fine, barley's fine. 
Maybe we do do just like one field of sorghum just to make sure we always have some sorghum in here. Um, we have some canola, which actually that we just need to be selling. Um, so we just need to sell that off when we get a chance. So we need some probably some oats, sorghum, and sunflower. Sunflower is a good cash crop as well. Um, so that's that's not a bad way to go about it either. And I can't remember. I'm actually going to check real quick with you guys in here. Look at that. He's making some good progress over there. Uh, we probably can actually get this guy started. Well, he's going to need to get those edges there first, actually. So we'll just wait till he's probably completely done. Though I should turn him off so we're not wasting any of that. Um, but I do want to check and see. Because I did do a... Um, I did do a test on all the different productions to see which one was the most profitable and such like that. And I'm going to look at that list real quick. Uh, okay, so base products. Uh, overall profit. Uh, planks were the best, it looks like. Closely followed by rays and stuff like that. Let's take a look at uh, the flowers. Um, wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour. Sorghum flour actually makes more in terms of profit, so you probably get a better compared to selling it. So maybe actually we do a couple sorghum fields and we make some sorghum flour. That actually might be what we do then. So we'll do some more sorghum. And then the other thing I was gonna take a look at, what was that? Uh, oil, sunflower oil loses money. There we go. So we're not going to do that. Olive oil makes good money, but sunflower oil loses money. That's why I thought. So we actually are going to, if you actually do sunflower oil, you lose a little bit of your money instead of selling sunflowers. We still can grow sunflowers because I think they're great. Um, well, we don't have really the, instead of, because then we'd have to buy a corn header. So we do still have our little John Deere, but I think we just focus on maybe just sorghum. Maybe we just do a whole round of sorghum this year. Um, I don't think we have anything else needed for any other contracts that we can do. Let's take a look at uh, the crop calendar again. We also could do some soybeans, which soybeans actually are kind of nice too because they're a good cash crop and we can use our planter to do that instead. So we're sorghum at. Sorghum we can't plant yet either. So yeah, maybe we actually, maybe we do sorghum and uh, yeah, sorghum and soybeans. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to write that down just so I remember. Uh, soy and sorghum. So if we do soy, and sorghum and I'll probably plant off camera just because you guys have already seen me plant and do all that sort of stuff so maybe if we do because we got these four fields so I don't know maybe do soy soy sorghum sorghum these two sorghum these two soy maybe that's what we'll do soy soy sorghum sorghum I think that's what we'll do that'll be a good a good round for us that'll be good so I think that's what we'll do so off camera I'm probably gonna do a time lapse of this just because I think it'll be easier but off camera what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all those fields taken care of because if you think about it we have uh, well, this planter, uh, which I'll do, we'll use to plant our soy, is also a direct drill, which is super nice. And then we'll use our cedar, obviously, to do their stuff. So then we can have two tractors working on that at one time. We can't do it just yet because it's March still, so we'll have to wait for um, April to be able to plant all those. But we'll get all those done, and I think that'll be a good uh, a good way for us to get going into this year. Um, and yeah, we have our new gray mill, which is probably honestly going to be my thumbnail, to be fair, for this episode. But uh, I do like that gray mill. It's such a cool gray mill. And actually, if we turn it on... I wonder if it actually will, we're going to be doing sorghum flour. If I activate that, yes, it starts turning, which is fantastic. Uh, we can deactivate it for now. But uh, yeah, it starts turning. That's cool. So this thing will just be kind of, this will be just kind of cool to have on the farm anyways, which is sweet. Uh, but there you guys go. I'm going to work on getting some of that stuff done, and I will see you guys when it's time to probably sell. We haven't gotten our trailer back yet either. The police, if you remember last episode, store, or not the police, the police didn't steal it. But someone stole our trailer. At least I hope the police didn't steal it. Um, but yeah, someone stole our trailer and the police are still working on finding it. So if we have to, we may use this to transport honey. Just have to do it in smaller amounts since we haven't have our trailer back yet. But uh, regardless of that, I will get some of that stuff done and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right. So just a quick update. Um, we have gotten everything planted. That's where we're going to sell our honey in a second. Where's that beacon's at. Um, we got ourselves soybeans here. Obviously, our grass has been harvested here. I need to refertilize it now. Then we have uh, sorghum here and sorghum in this far field over here. And then we also have soybeans in our small field here. So everything's in place. I think what I am going to do, uh, if we go to our, I should go up here to crops. Um, we do have, so first off, um, $1,100 is a pretty good price um, since 1109 is on there. So uh, we're going to sell it at Sims Restaurant, all of our honey off, because I think we'll get some good cash for that. Now, we do have sorghum in storage here. I think we're going to take about 10,000 liters of that and go ahead and put it in our grain mill here. Uh, the reason being, the reason being, because I think 
we'll have plenty of sorghum to make it until harvest for animals, so I don't think we need to worry about that. But um, yeah, that's kind of what we got going on. Um, obviously, our trailer is still missing, unfortunately, so I loaded the honey up, or at least as best I possible over here, I'll show you, but, but I loaded some of this stuff up and got some of the ones off of here. And actually, this one we can probably just move over here just to get it out of the way for a second. There we go. But yeah, I'll get all this honey sold off here. Uh, but I have it loaded in here. I have a few pallets sketchily loaded there. And then I have, uh, oh gosh, I think I have uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 pallets in there. Yeah, 12 pallets in there. So 6,400 liters at a time we're hauling. But that'll be fine. Um, I'll show you guys. We'll just go haul the first load over here. Because I can't remember what Sims restaurant is or where where that's at. But we'll haul the first load together. You can see the back is absolutely loaded. So the first, the bottom 8 pallets, they're auto load, And the top 4 I had to load manually. But that's okay. Yeah, so I got to be careful. This is actually got yeah, really heavy. I don't want to tip it. It's not the call tow truck, so I got to be a little careful about that. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd just bring you guys back in for us selling our first little round of stuff here um, over to where we got to sell it. And then, uh, yeah, so we're going to prep some stuff. I mean, we're getting well, we're getting stuff prepped right now for what's going to happen in the next episode. Um, I'm sure the thumbnail for this one was the uh, grain mill. But yeah, so this so this year, in terms of what's going to happen the rest of this year, just oh geez, with this series, I kind of want to fill the oh goodness, I kind of want to fill you guys in on that. We were not having this many issues before. It's all of a sudden we way more somehow. But uh, we'll have this episode that'll come out this year, 2022, since it's what December 17th right now, as I'm recording part of this episode right now. Um, yeah, and we'll take a look at all that stuff later. Don't even worry about it. I know it's there, but we'll we'll look at it all later and explain it all later. But uh, yeah, so. We'll have this episode, and then we'll have another episode the next, and then we'll have an episode after this that's going to be kind of what we're, we're prepping for this episode. Gosh, I knew that was going to happen. No, no, no! Oh, goodness. Okay, well, we do have to pay for a tow truck. I'll just take out uh, $500. Seems reasonable. We'll have someone come flip us over, and then I'll just use super strength here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Go figure. Go figure. We almost made it. That flipping it? All right, there we go. See, we can turn around without crashing. We're rolling again. There we go. Nice and easy does it. Yeah, probably 18 is probably the fastest. It's going to be a pain for me to haul the rest of them over here. Because uh, I'm going to try not to crash again, obviously. But uh, yeah, I just need to go a little slower, I think. But yeah, and then we'll have our Christmas special. And that'll probably be all the episodes for this year, so... I think that's all of it. Yep, there we go. Seven grand for that. Makes sense based on the price. And we'll just uh, do that so that doesn't have to be there anymore. Seven grand for that. So we'll probably have two more loads. So another 14 grand or so. Which would be great. That means we're making good money off of our honey. Um, now I should be able to speed and not lose control of the vehicle, which is good. But uh, yeah, this is a little coffee factory because we're going to make some coffee, I think, for part of our prep. Which we'll do that at the very beginning, probably the next episode. So... Uh, yeah, we're just getting some stuff ready for the next episode, honestly, in this episode and get some stuff done. Um, I'll probably bring you back in to wrap up this episode once it is time for harvest to take place on the farm. So, um, yeah, I will probably put a cut in here again and I'll bring you guys back in after harvest. I'll keep getting the grass cut and taken care of as needed, um, getting the stuff done. Now, one other thing, too, we're going to do, I think, this year, since it takes me so long, it took me like 40 minutes, 30 or 40 minutes of real time. Oh, geez, I don't know what weird collision was there. It took me 30 or 40 minutes of real time to haul all of our silage bales that were over here, get them all loaded up and haul them to market because I had to make so many trips. So what I think we're going to do, since we have Lucky's Logistics in town, I think I'm just going to pay them um, a fee to, to haul them into town. We make plenty of money anyway, so it shouldn't be a big deal, and that'll save us a lot of time. Um, and then I've also thought about a couple of uh, capital improvements, you could say, for the farm. Um, so one thing I actually think we're just going to buy right now, and I think I will use... Uh, well, you know what? It's the truck, so I'll go pick it up at the store. It's not going to be that big of a deal because I'll show you what I'm going to buy here. Let's actually make sure the, the shop delivery mod is reset. So what I'm thinking about buying is a low loader for our truck because we have some money. And I think it'll be helpful for loading like all of the lumber and hauling all the lumber away. Uh, that's not necessarily... I don't really like any of these. This one over here actually would technically work and it would hook up with our semi-truck, but it's not really what we're going for. It would be nice to have one that we could, I guess, haul equipment as well. This is kind of what I want to get right here. Um, 45 grand. How much bigger is that one? It's not that much bigger. Extent, extension. 
Yeah, I'll probably put that on the end to keep, I guess that just kind of folds down. Yeah, we'll put that on there. Oh, it's two grand, we don't really need it. Um, chrome rims, of course, look nice. That's two grand for chrome rims, never mind. <laughs> White rims will be fine. But yeah, I think we're gonna buy this, um, this trailer right here. I don't think there's any others on here that I would want more than that. Yeah, I mean, there's some auto load, whatever's on here, but we don't need an auto load trailer. Um, these things we don't need because we're not hauling big pieces of equipment. We're just using it mostly for lumber. So yeah, I think this one's going to be, it's not that much money to be completely honest. And I think it'll be worthwhile um, for selling lumber. So I'll just buy that for us. And then the other thing I'm thinking about buying, and I'm not going to buy this episode, but I thought about doing this as well at some point is um, getting ourselves a bigger mower. Like, oh, actually, you know what? This swather, that with the header is not that much money. And that's 9.2 meters. It swaths it for us. It just cuts it and puts it into a windrow for us. Uh, 9.2 meters wide. How wide is our windrower? Our windrower almost gets double what it is because it has to go up and down. But uh, where's our windrower at? Uh, oh, boy. 9.7. Oh, that, that's 9.7. Oh, wow. So those wouldn't be very wide windrows, actually. So it'll probably take us more time. Uh, it's tricky because I was just trying to think of ways to speed up that process, our mowing process. But I think the only way to speed it up would be honestly get, I mean, what is this one? 10 meters. That would still make pretty much, yeah, we still have pretty much double the windrows because that's, I know we have a good uh, windrower, but the problem with our windrower is that it goes, we go, go down one way and it puts it all to the left and then down the other way, it puts it to the left again. So basically it's twice as wide as it actually is because that's how wide the windrows are. But yeah, we'll think about it. That's too much money to, I think, invest. That would be more reasonable, and I could see us doing that, but I don't think this is really worthwhile. I think our setup that we have now is more than enough. We also could potentially invest just in, if we wanted to speed stuff up a little bit, we could just invest in a bigger uh, windrower, which I don't know how that would look. So that one does. So we need almost 16.8 meters to make it even worthwhile. Um, or no, we have this one. Oh, wow. We would need, yeah, we need almost 20 meters to make it worthwhile. Oh, nope, get out of there. 12, 12, 14, 19. So that one will be worthwhile um, uh, as an, an upgrade there. That's only 74,000. Yeah, so that actually is a, it's a good possibility we could invest in this at some point. But honestly, we don't we don't need, oh, sorry, my phone went off. We don't need any of that right now. So yeah, I'll keep getting some stuff done and I'll bring you guys back in to wrap up the episode once it's harvest. So it's not quite harvest yet, but I think we'll wrap up the episode now. I'll talk about a few things and we'll get going. I think we're good, well set up for the next episode and what I want to do. Um, so oh, yeah, we'll let it auto save there. Um, if we actually, I gotta show you guys this. There's so much not here. Um, there's so many pallets of wood. I just sold off another seventy thousand dollars in wood planks. There are so many pallets here. So many pallets. Pallets over here. Pallets here. So many pallets of furniture. But I mean, there's so much wood here to process, <laughs> which is awesome. But yeah, um, let's hop back down to our farm. Um, here. So. Um, as you can see, they are working on, um, well, it's almost done. We're working on getting this stuff all windrowed up over here. It's already been mowed, which I don't know where the mower's at. He's over there, of course. So it's already been mowed. It's good to go in terms of that. Um, yeah, we'll get it figured up. We got uh, over engineer tractor. That's our name of our worker. He's working on that. So next episode, we'll start off with harvest and get that going. Um, everything's going well. Um, but yeah, so obviously we made $70,000 off of wood. Um, our sprayer, this guy right here, I had to spray some weeds because I sprayed weeds and fertilized in all the fields. Before I sprayed weeds, I upgraded that. Um, I, it was $20,000 to make it like a 40 meter working width instead of 18. So I figured that was worth it since we had the cash. Um, we're still doing good on cash in terms of that. But uh, yeah, so that's everything I have to mention in terms of that stuff. Next episode is going to be pretty fun. I'm excited to do it. We'll do a couple of special things and focus on that. Um, another thing I want to note is I think... And I haven't read your guys' comments about it or anything yet, obviously. Um, but uh, I think we sell our grape farm. It's not making very good money. Obviously, we'll harvest the grapes this year since we've done all the work on it. But I say, this is what I say we do. I think that we somehow calculate how much it would cost um, if we sold all of the equipment, all the grape equipment. That is, all the grape equipment that's over here, um, the tractors and everything. Um, now, all the way, by the way, our fuel company, remember Russ's Petro, who's based right here, Russ's Petro. Um, I think, yeah, Russ's Petro, those are all labeled there. Um, he put a tank out here. So yes, we quote unquote own this, but not really. This is his tank. Um, we just have it here. He pays for the tank and we pay for fuel from him exclusively as part of the deal. So um, he has one of those out here. We have a bigger one on our main farm. But yeah, so I say we just kind of sell all the stuff here together as a package. Now, yes, our sawmill would go with it. 
Um, and by the way, I sold a partial pallet of wood planks at the same time to make sure this is completely empty. Um, we'll sell the wood chips off here later on. That's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, so I know that we would end up selling off this guy. I don't really care for this. We don't need this anymore. This guy will make, uh, yeah, we'll just, um, we don't, we don't need any of this stuff here. Um, we're not making anything after we do all of our grapes and everything like that. We do have some raisins in there, which we can spawn a, a partial pallet if we want to, but we'll wait until we put our grapes from this year. But yeah, I think what do we make? Maybe 10,000, maybe that's like pushing it, maybe $10,000 off of this grape area. And this is like the most work. And even if we look at the map here now, yeah, I get it. Um, we could expand this, right? But if we, even if we tr uh, quadrupled the size, made $40,000 a year, and it was just this corner was grapes. I mean, that is so much more work um, to get that done. And it's just, I just don't think it's worth us keep working on it. And I don't even think we'd make that much money off it. So I think we're going to sell this whole plot of land here, um, right here. We won't sell it for the value listed here. That's a terrible price for that. That should be way above that in terms of value. But uh, I think we'll sell it off. We'll come up with kind of a package price um, for, you know, I'll calculate how much. Basically, what I'll do is I'll calculate how much all this would cost if someone wanted to build it and buy it in all the factories and stuff. And then I'll probably cut that like down by like 30 or 40 percent to give them a pretty good deal. And um, we'll end up making pretty good money off of it. Um, now, actually, one thing we need to do, though, if we go to leased equipment is if we're going to sell. How much is how much we owe left in this? 20,000. We only owe 20,000 left on that. Um I don't really want to sell it back to the bank. I think it'd be worth more as part of this real estate deal because a brand new one of these is, what is it, $40,000, I want to say? Landini little guy in here. If I can actually find it. Holy smokes. Yeah, it's, yeah. Okay, 39500 So I think it'd be much more worth it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and, well, I won't do it right now, but yeah, we'll end up purchasing that. Um, and then we'll sell probably that, this, this, um, this can probably come with us. We'll keep its front loader attached and we can use that. Sell the grape harvester and the strange <laughs> lady that comes with it. Um, probably this tractor, the manure spreader. Um, we'll keep our weight, this guy right here. Um, and then obviously they'll get the buildings because the buildings are here. We did get some wood harvested off of this, so we actually did pretty good on it. I'll leave some of the trees on here because I think it looks nice over here. But I think we just solved this operation and then we can condense it back down over here. And I think we expand out maybe. Um, we didn't, last time I we did the No Man's Land series, we didn't buy this land through here. And I think we maybe, like that one's actually a pretty good deal for that. Oh gosh, I actually might just buy that right now. $64,000, it's 23.6% less than it normally would be. Um, I, th I think we just actually just buy that right now because I think that'll be a good deal for us. So there we go, 64 grand, we just bought that. Um, so yeah, I think this is where I want to expand out. The highway's coming down here, but I think that the highway's just going to turn maybe that way, or maybe I'll send the highway this way since we're not going to go this way now. Maybe, yeah, maybe because the highway last time went this way. So maybe what I'll do is I'll kind of angle it this way and send it off, off into the, this way over here and through the trees and then kind of off the map out this way. It's just kind of there to be there. Um, we can do county roads and back roads and stuff through here and all that, but the highway is kind of just, there's extra. Maybe it'll just, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll kind of decide what I want to do with it kind of planet. We're kind of in the way for where it would be. This is obviously the main road going down here. So we also could, I mean, if it's starting right here, we also could just kind of curve it off this way and then do right across here and out that way um, and over this way. But I think I kind of want to farm this land over here and I don't really want to have much interest in here because it's mostly forestry. I'm not going to do a ton more forestry on this series because we're going to do some on Silver Run and stuff like that. But yeah, anyhow, guys, um, that's where we're going to end it for today. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments about selling off our great farm. I think that's probably going to be the best way to go about it. Um, I just think it's too much work for not enough. Uh, I mean, it would be, honestly, we'd make way more money instead of making this whole thing grapes. We'd make way more money way faster if we just did a big silage field here, which I'd rather sell this off because I think we have some valuable stuff here and we can make some good money and then kind of condense down here and kind of maybe incorporate this field here at next and then start incorporating some of these and make a big farm through here. I think that'll be just more valuable for us as we're expanding. So I think that's probably the plan, but let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been farmer cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.